Yes. Mm. 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 <laughs>
Bro, drum, drum lines and beats always sound so fucking hype. Why is that? Why is that? Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? For the scare of a lifetime. Are you ready to be mind freaked, mind flayed? Are you ready to feel like you're not alone? On this stream today, we are going to get very scared. On the stream today, we might see something a little bit disturbing. I gotta make food, BR BRB. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, we're, we have to wait for them to make food. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Well, today, you will be. Today, you will be so scared. You won't be able to sleep. Today, your dreams will be haunted by visions of things that are simply unexplainable. Today, there is no laughter, no fun, no joking, no silliness. Today is just scary time. Scary time. Today, you better say your prayers because the boogeyman is on his way and he knows where you are. And a boogeyman might come. What will you do when the boogeyman comes? No, not the booby man. The boogeyman. Will you be ready when the booby man comes? Where will you be today? Will you be alone in your room in the dark? What time is it for you? 
little strangers, little wanderers. So many strange wanderers in my chat today. Where are you guys? John Wick is coming for me, but I haven't done anything yet. He knows what you did and you will pay for your crimes. It is the highest crime for which a punishment must be dealt out. I bit my tongue! Tonight, nothing will protect you. When you're alone and you feel like there might be something there in the darkness. Something disturbing. You might turn around and see nothing there. Maybe you feel a chill up your spine. Maybe you look around under your bed. Maybe there's a monster under your bed. Maybe something is lurking inside of the shadows. When that time comes, will you be ready? Are you ready? www.scarytime.com Are you ready? Mind flag! Mind flag! What if there's an invisible man sleeping in your bed? What if your sister turns into a bat? Anything can happen. Anything. So be ready. This is going to be a very, very, very scary stream. Do you accept? Or are you too scared? Are you not courageous enough to go beyond into the unknown? You are like the Robinson Crusoe of watching a scary stream. You are like you're stranded on scary island with no boat to get off. No hiding your head under the covers. No, no hiding from the booby man. No farting. You will not sigh away when it gets too scary, when it gets too intense. You will go beyond scared. You're going to be scared straight. You're going to make big Any boom boom. Any more spooky talk and I'll straight up shit my drawers, Nyaners. I mean it. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, that sounded like he was actually mad at me. <laughs> you don't want to be straight? Well, too bad. Today, you're going to be so scared. You're going to want to go to a baseball game. You're going to be so scared. You're going to want to go outside and work on your car. And you're going to know what every single wrench and every single screwdriver in your toolbox does. And you're going to know the names of all of them. You're going to be so scared that you're not going to want to watch Hamilton the musical anymore. It's just going to sound kind of lame. <laughs> yeah, I might... I might scare, scare you so bad that you go from straight to gay to straight to gay again. You're going to be phasing in and out of alternate realities. You're going to be so scared that you're gonna clip through the floor. <laughs> it's going to be very cruel and unusual. This is going to be like an episode of Black Mirror for real. But without the, the weird Please, Niners, shit. I already have feces running down my legs. This is too much. You are going to sit with the feces running down your legs. No, and you're I'm going so to say calm. Niners. No, no, wait, what is that? Oh my god, it's... <laughs> Baz and Co. <laughs> B 
Big T Psycho Boy is getting too scared already. Is this too much for you? Are you getting too many goosebumps? You sounded so scared. What's the matter? Is it too... disturbing for you? Do you feel like you need to turn the lights on? Or maybe get a little stuffed animal to cuddle up with? I'm not doing either of those things. I swear. There will be no stuffed animal cuddling today. The training wheels are coming off. We are going to be very scared. Today, I'm gonna be downright chilling. For real, for real. I'm gonna smacking tin my water bottle tin and go to. <sighs> go into the abyss without looking back. Being chilling. What happened to the seal? Uh, it's just chilling in the, in the corner. I like to look over at it. It's like protecting me. It's only Tuesday? We have to get started early. I know October is still over a month away. I hope I don't blow my load too early. I just really felt like playing scary stuff today. There's that, um, fuck. There's a couple Chilla's art games that I want to play. There's that new one that just came out, the parasocial one. I know like a million people played it already, but I've, I'm like, I, I love those games so much. The style of them is so unique and they, they actually give me a pretty good fright. So I'm gonna go on blind. I haven't watched any streams of it, so I have no idea what any of the jump scares are. And I gotta play the uh, the other one too, the the night security one. And I also, in addition to those games, I have uh, this indie game of like liminal spaces that I downloaded. It's like a little demo, and I want to check that out. And then I think there's another one I kind of wanted to try. I don't know. I also have some scary videos too. There's a uh, one of those most disturbing YouTube videos on the internet videos that I've been saving up. It came out like three days ago and I'm like, oh my fucking god, I have to watch this. Yeah, we're getting very scary tonight. No smiles, no laughter, only chills, thrills, and screams. Oh, by the way, do you guys want should I go 3D or 2D today? What do you think would be best for scares? Bah ha 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 ha. 3D? 3D? 3D is good for scares? Okay. Okay. Here, let me load up my 3D. Thank you, guys. Also, how how was your guys' weekend? How was your guys' yesterday? And how was your guys' today? Um... I'm definitely not struggling to find my program. You had tacos for dinner? It was great. Oh my goodness. Taco night is always a slammer. A real slammer jammer. Ooh. Oh, whoa, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I got my 3D. I'll queue it up. I also connected the heart rate monitor. Miraculously, it's like still full battery, even though I haven't used it in like almost two years now. I think the last time I used it was when I was playing uh, Silent Hill 2, which I still have to finish. Oh my god. Would you guys be mad if I just started over in Silent Hill 2 and just did like a proper playthrough of it? <laughs> in all seriousness, I hope you're feeling okay after the zoo. I was worried about you, big guy. Oh, what? Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry you were worried. Thank you so much. That that's so sweet of you. I'm I'm good now. I just uh I just needed a day to recover. Sorry, my voice is kind of dry cuz I got to hydrate. <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. I I didn't almost die or anything. We were we were being kind of we were we were just being dramatic, but yeah, it was it did kind of suck. I I got pretty sick. Oh, really bad. I felt like I was gonna pass out, but thankfully Aethel knew exactly what to do and he, he helped me calm down and helped me cool down also. 
and I just like we just sat in the shade for a bit and he put cold water on my my wrist and my neck and that helped a lot and then afterwards we just went home after we walked around the zoo for a little bit and saw the butt cloud and yeah <laughs> wait have I not streamed since since the zoo stream yeah the butt picture was so cute I'm so glad we happened upon that. I actually, like, he was so worried about me. I felt so bad. Like, on top of the stress of the stream malfunctioning the way it did, uh, I just felt really bummed about that. I was so excited to go to the zoo, and everyone seemed so excited, and he, most of all, seemed, like, the most excited just to, like, put on a fun stream for everyone, so I felt really bad that he was so bummed, and... I did my best to tear him up, and then on top of that, I got fucking heat stroke symptoms. I felt so fucking bad. I was just like apologizing the whole time. Like, I could barely talk, but anytime I talked, I was just like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. But he was, he was like the best. He, he helped me cool down, and then I got up and I was like, man, I could not live with myself if we don't go see at least one cool thing at the zoo. I don't want this day to be a waste. And he was like, no, bro, like, we, sh we shouldn't walk around in this heat. Like, what if you, like, feel like you're going to pass out again? And I was like, no, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll let you know if I feel bad. So we, we got up and walked around for a little bit. And the sun had gone down quite a, quite a bit. So it wasn't as hot. And the zoo is almost closing, too. So almost all the animals were asleep at that point. I felt so bad. <laughs> But we did manage to see a snow leopard and it was so cute. It was just like basking on a rock, just chilling. And yeah, that was really cool. And we happened upon that, like the weird heart in the sky. Like someone drew it was like a chemtrail from a plane, I guess. <laughs> Maybe it was like a government conspiracy. We were just like walking and we looked up and he was like, wait, what the hell? Is that a heart? And I was like, what the fuck? We looked up and there's a, there's a butt in the sky. It was cool. And then we proceeded to stand there and take like 50 pictures of us pointing at it like idiots while people <laughs> walked by us. It was so cute. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta unlock my phone. Me, 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 Nine, you gotta let him start with the backpack or give it up earlier when you're suffering, girl. You Aww. should be his backup. <laughs> when you're suffering. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm I'm really bad about that. I I don't know. I, like it's a it's not that heavy, but I feel bad like especially like, like if it's his stream. I want him to be on camera most of the time so he can like show you guys around. And I like being the cameraman, honestly. Like I like capturing stuff and like following him around with it and getting some good shots and stuff. So yeah, I I also, I have a problem where I, I just say like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine, even though like inside I'm like, oh god, because I just won't, I don't want to be like a, I don't want to drag anyone down, you know, but in like 100 degree weather with the sun beating down on me, I probably should have been like, uh, yeah, you take it, bro, <laughs> but I'm dumb, I'm dumb, and I, I, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to, I don't know, pass off burdens to anyone else if I, absolutely don't need to i don't know i'm just overthinking it but yeah um you just say that everything's okay but it's not okay <laughs> Fuck, what was that meme was that from like Katy perry you tell everyone that you're fine but you're not fine <laughs> yeah i just bro i just wanted the, the stream to be okay i felt so bad like, in a way, like, maybe it's a good thing that the stream went down as much as it pains me to say that, because if I, like, pass out from heat no, exhaustion, I would feel so you guilty. I'm glad you're okay. Also, get a pith helmet so you look cool next time you go to the zoo. A pith... a pith helmet? What's a pith helmet? What's a pith helmet when we go to the zoo? Yeah, I would have been all over LSF. Well, I mean... It would have been a funny clip, for sure, but I would have felt ultra guilty if, like, the reason why the stream went down is because I'm a dumbass and got heat stroke. <laughs> Think about it, Nyan. Instead if you of just, like, the to technical Henry difficulties. Golfing, Giraffalope would have never been able to make that cute gif based on the drip. 
Oh, true. The oh my god, that travel of animation where we're golfing with like Bradley. Here's an I idea. love that. Just get a wheelchair and let him push you around. <laughs> Pull aside as you get to cut lines. <laughs> no, that's evil. <laughs> that's too evil. It's honestly like, bro, like, I'm fine carrying the backpack. As long as it's not like a hundred degrees outside, I'm very sensitive to heat on a good day. I don't know what it is. I'm just like, I guess I run warm. I don't know. I'm always like, ever since I was a kid, I've always just hated hot temperatures. I can't stand humidity. I get overheated really easily. And yeah, it's just been a thing my whole life. But on top of that, apparently... I wasn't aware that the ADHD medication that I'm currently on makes me even more sensitive to heat and more sensitive to like sunlight too. So I guess that was a factor that I probably should have like made myself more aware of before venturing out that day. And I tried to drink water, but it's hard to like to juggle like open it like, you know, just when you're doing stream stuff, especially like walking around IRL, handling the camera and stuff. And like fiddling with like holding a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I drank like a whole bottle of water before we left because I was like, I want to make sure I get this down because I know that when I'm walking around, it's going to be tough to like get enough water. But I probably should have, I don't know, hooked up a fucking IV or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Those beard hats, but with water. Oh, with like the straws that are connected. Yeah. Mm hmm. Good thing you love water and also drink it regularly. Oh, come on! I, I don't hate water. I swear to God. I've actually, like, I finished here. I'll crush this bottle so you can hear the proof. I finished one wild, wild bottle today and I'm on my second one. I also got a Gatorade and a Gamer Slops. Last time I went to the zoo in the summer, I wore a Camelback water backpack. You can a just sip as you need when walking. What? That sounds so cool. So you can be like a camel I with a hump? I want like a all day IRL stream where you guys are camping in the mountains chilling around a campfire. Oh. The mountains are cooler and the signal would probably be better. I wonder, I wonder if the signal would be better. I'm not sure. Yeah, like the stream problems at the zoo were pretty much completely out of our control. There was absolutely nothing we could have done, unfortunately. Like, no like super modem, nothing like no kind of like finagling with the... I don't know, all the IRL backpack stuff could have fixed it. It's just there was no cell signal there. And I think it might Nanners. because of the... Ah! You can't fool us. That was just a ranch soda bottle. A ranch soda? Don't remind me, bro. Last time I drank that shit, I got sick for a week. I think that shit gave me a sinus infection just from smelling it, just from the fumes. Hold well, on, let me switch my... my stuff. Let me switch my stuff. Yeah, you sound so angry. Oh yeah, you can see my, my heart rate already. It's a whopping 67, 66. Even with my ADHD medication, it's not really that crazy. Because my normal resting heart rate lies in like... the 40 to 50 range, for whatever reason. Ever since I was young. I don't know why. Because like, I'm not the most like, cardioactive person. I probably should be more these days, but... Maybe it just carries over from all the, like, sports that I did in my youth, I don't know. It's so low. Yeah, am I, am I a vampire? Even my, my doctor was surprised. My doctor was like, what the fuck, are you like a, a marathon runner? And I was like, god no, I, I sit at my desk and play video games for a living. Maybe I'm just built different. Wait, hold on. Sorry, guys. I have to... My 3D capture is separate from my 2D capture, so I have to find that in the fucking thingy. Fucking thing sucks! Fucking thing fucked. Sucked. Fuck the suck up. Listen, we get it. It's not that you don't like water. It's that you're trying to never ever get up to piss. Be real. Yes. You, you actually, you found me out. That's actually the real reason. <laughs> I like drinking water, like it's refreshing, especially if it's not the shitty LA tap water. We got like bottled water 
like some it was like a five dollar pack of like 40 bottles of fucking water and i've been chugging these bad boys but it's so annoying to have to like get up and pee every 20 minutes i hate it i absolutely hate it because i don't like being interrupted when i'm like in the middle of doing something like if i'm like in a game i don't want to, have to get up and pause that's lame Ice Mountain bottled water is... Oh, yeah, I like Ice Mountain. I like Fiji water, even though it's a little bit bougie. Now, I'm just drinking the, the Signature Select store brand Refresh Purified Drinking Water with minerals added for taste. Hmm. Where's the plastic? What if I told you I was saving every plastic bottle that I drink from to make into a sculpture? Like a life-size sculpture of myself and auctioning it off. Mmm, I crave the minerals. Okay, yeah, I, sorry, I was I was saying something and I uh, I got distracted, I'm sorry. But I was saying the, the technical difficulties of the zoo were unfortunate, but there is nothing we could have done. And I think it was because of the the mountains. Because we were like kind of close to that like mountainous region of LA. It was in uh, Glendale, right? And yeah, like right next to the uh, the observatory. And also, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like the amount of trees that were there in combination with the the mountains. I'm not sure. But apparently, a lot of IRL streamers have had similar problems and haven't been able to stream properly at that zoo. So I don't know what it is. Maybe they put like signal jammers inside of all the animals because they don't want people to leak the animal secrets. It was the hurricane. <laughs> Maybe. It's the Hollywood sign giving out too much 5G. Yeah, it's so strange. Like, you think... It was still pretty much within the city limits of LA. Like, it was in the city, so you'd think the signal Just would be so bad. Just you drink and piss in them so you don't have to get up. Water oh. in, water out as clap. And then you don't waste the plastic because you could just store your piss in them. That's actually genius. Thank you so much, Nubinator. Did you guys film off stream to make a video? Unfortunately, we weren't able to due to uh, like pretty shortly after we were we were troubleshooting for about an hour after the stream went down, and then pretty soon after that, uh, Ethel had to troubleshoot me, so to speak, because I I just like I felt like I was gonna pass out from the heat, and also because my my medication that I was on made it worse, so we we weren't able to because. After we were done, like, uh, recovering from that, the zoo was pretty much almost closed, so we weren't able to do anything like that, but... <clears throat> excuse me. We we do really want to go to another zoo at some point, and possibly see if we could stream there. Maybe the San Diego Zoo, I think, would be really cool. And if we can't stream there, because I have a feeling zoos are just a no-go zone for IRL. I did some research off-stream, I was looking up like various streamers. I saw like Mizkif went to the San Diego Zoo. Uh, Hachubby, I think is how you pronounce her name, went there. And it seemed like kind of kind of pixelated and like they also have like a lot of drops. So I'm not, I my hopes are not high. I'm trying to manage my expectations so we don't have another depressing, like, oh, like a uh, stressful time with that kind of stuff. But fingers crossed, we might be able to do it. I don't know, but... If we can't, we'll definitely bring our all our equipment for making a video because I think it would be really cool. We could make like a whole ass like documentary style like edit of it. Like a, like a Zabumafu episode kind of. And we can get like an even more cool and baller safari outfit set up. <laughs> Steve Irwin episode, yeah. Zoos are federal bases. Do you think like underneath the zoo there's like some kind of like clandestine government operation going on and they got signal jammers for that reason <laughs> go to Aethel's zoo you mean his, his twitch chat or do you mean the zoo where he killed the panda <laughs> <laughs> the seals are nuclear ICBMs <laughs> oh, big lion is in charge under zoos Oh, you have to get into his pride. It's like a, a lion mafia. 
just an entire military base under a zoo? Yeah, what if all the animals aren't even real? Maybe all the animals are just like fucking animatronic robots with hidden weapons. And they all they have to do is press a fucking button and the animals go haywire. All the birds just fly off and start like dropping bombs and shit. <laughs> what do you mean, it, what if? <laughs> Bro, what if the reason... Oh my god! What if they are real animals, but they implant, like, chips into them to make them do the government's bidding? And Harambe rebelled against the chip. And maybe that's why they had to shoot and kill him, because Harambe... <gasps> maybe Harambe gained, like, sentience and was gonna go, like, tell. Tell on them. They assassinated him. Maybe the kid didn't actually accidentally fall into the enclosure. It was just like a paid actor, like a child actor. And they're like, all right, we're going to pretend that the kid fell in the enclosure and that the kid was in danger, even though he's obviously not. And then assassinate the gorilla. Easy come, easy go. He knew something about the Clintons. He knew something about all the flight logs. Kid was chipped as well. Wait, do you think the kid was also chipped? Do you think they put kids in the kids zoo? Oh my god. That's what school is. That's what school feels like. I feel like an animal pacing around in a tiger cage. And the, the zookeepers come up and throw fish at me. Tell me to dance for them. Kid was a Chinese secret agent trying to get Harambe's chip so he can learn all the intel? Holy fuck. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually highly plausible. Oh my god, we shouldn't be talking about. Oh my god. Guys, we have to pretend we are talking about something else. If my stream goes down in the next like hour or so, you know. You know what happened and who did it. We have to change the subject. Uh, what are you guys gonna have for dinner tonight? I think I'm gonna make pasta. I got I got garlic bread for the pasta. It's gonna be really delicious. Do you think that kid talks about the fact that he was the Harambe kid? How old would he be now? How long ago was Harambe? What's that laser on your forehead? Oh my god. Get down! <laughs> Mr. President, get down! Leftover chicken katsu? Oh my goodness, I haven't had chicken katsu in so long. Wait, I think I have to calibrate my model. I look more crazy than usual. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> Bro, that must have jump scared so many people unintentionally. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, you oh god. Crazy Nianas, you almost passed out. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, merp. Oh, merp. <laughs> Wait, why are you doing the merp thing now? <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! I got I got a little too hot at the zoo, and I almost had to go to the hospital. It was actually kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. I felt so bad. Like uh, even more than feeling scared, I just felt guilty. I felt so fucking bad. <laughs> like, uh, I was just like sitting at a table in front of like some like food court in the zoo, just with my head down. I could barely move, and my legs and arms were just shaking uncontrollably and like cramping up and I I felt like I was gonna throw up and pass out at the same time it was not a good time bro don't do not go out in 100 degree weather and walk around with a fucking backpack on without drinking like 10 gallons of water don't do it it's not worth it it's not fucking worth it but I'm okay now I, I had like a nice day to recover after that we went home after and just we got a ton of like really good fucking Korean food and I just like passed out on the couch. It was nice. So yeah, everything's everything's good. Everything's good now. Drinking 10 gallons of water would literally kill you. Everyone who has ever drinking water died. And that is a fact. The Harambe kid was a three-year-old boy, so ten-year-old now? Oh my god, do you think he like plays Fortnite and stuff? What is his life like? Do you think he feels like survival guilt over the gorilla? I'm not late for scary time, right? No. In fact, you might just be just in time for scary time. 
This is going to be downright chilling. Wait, is this too scary? I'll, I'll change it back tonight. I'll change it back tonight. It's too scary. Laura Knight is this Nyan running from the FBI. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be checking my windows, checking my, watching my six every now and then. Make sure that they don't have me in their sights. I'm scaled. Are you going to see it? You might see it. You might see a lot of unexplainable, mysterious things today. Who can tell? Sniper, get down! Mrs. Slima is too scary. 60 BPM, what the fuck? How is it so low? I don't know, man. It's just, it's always like this. Even though I'm, I'm like gesticulating with my hands and like bouncing around in my chair while I'm talking to you guys and it's still like 60. I think the highest it ever got during like a horror stream was like 200. Is Nyaner going to react to scary videos or play a scary game? Well, I'm offering you guys a choice. We can fluff ourselves up a little bit. We can get some pre-gaming going on by watching a scary video first and then hop into the, the scary games. Or we can start just start fresh with scary games, maybe watch a scary video in the middle. Three is what around when lifelong memories start. Imagine your first formative memory being Harami. Harami. <laughs> oh my god, that's so true! Because you don't really remember too anything before then. Harami, the Sia is banging out my door. Oh god, they're almost. Menti silly, that, that's, that's Uber Eats bringing you your din din. Open up, don't be shy. Let them in, let them inside your home. Play Five Nights at Freddy's? You want a video warm up? You guys want to warm up with a scary video? I will warn you guys, this video that I have in mind. It might be actually pretty disturbing, if you guys are okay with that. It's called... The Darkest Moments in... I think YouTube history or... It's a Nick Crowley video. I fucking love these. I've been saving up this video, just like chomping at the bit to watch it on stream. Okay, it's Darkest Moments in TV History 3. It might have some disturbing content in it, if you guys are alright with that. You guys have to sign a waiver, okay? That you won't get too uncomfortable and too scaled. If you get too scaled, don't worry. You just pull open a tab and search for, uh... Dachshund videos. You like being scared? Me too. I've been really excited to do this. I love scary streams. I like getting jump scared. It can be really annoying when like games rely on jump scares a lot, but a good jump scare just hits so different. This makes me feel alive. That adrenaline rush is just unreal. Wait, how do I take off my jacket? After only a few Whoa, minutes. shit! Take off my jacket. There we go. It was getting a little too hot in here. Yeah, I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. You can probably tell why, because look at my fucking heart rate. Look at this shit. Normally, like... I guess I'm kind of chilled out. Sometimes, when I've had this heart rate monitor on, it's like it'll jump up to like 70 or 80. When I'm just like talking on stream, because I get just like a little bit of stage fright, but maybe I'm more... Maybe I'm more chilled out these days. No, it's just a nice, comfortable 60. It's like right over my, my heart, too. Directly connected to my skin. How are you still alive? 63 is not that bad, is it? You should see me when I'm just like, when I'm not even talking, when I'm like vegetating. I was just sitting here before stream, setting stuff up. Very casually. Bro, that shit got to almost like 49. 60 is normal for a healthy person. Yeah, it means my heart is very efficient. I have a very nice, healthy heart. I've actually had like several tests done on my heart because I have uh, a lot of history in my family with heart problems and like heart disease. So we've had to be really on top of it. Just like checking and making sure my ticker is working properly. And I've actually had like a... What's it called? 
an ultrasound done on my heart uh, a few years back. I've had a couple ultrasounds done on my heart. I had one done when I was uh, in high school, I think, and then another one done like a few years back, just just in case, just to do another checkup on it. And each time, bro, the nurse was amazed. The nurse was like admiring my heart so bad. She was like, holy, holy shit, you have the coolest heart ever. Actually, what she actually said was like, I have a beautiful heart and it is one of the most healthiest hearts she has ever seen. High praise. Yeah, you sick heart, bro. Nice heart. That heart's got a good pump. Your heart's fucking pumping. Your heart is skinny legend. Your heart is fucking iconic. Oh, I remember the first time I got an ultrasound. The nurse like complimented my abs too. I had a nice heart and nice abs. And I I carried that that compliment with me for about a year. Every time I would feel kind of down about myself, I would just think, well, that one time I got an ultrasound at the doctor, the nurse said my heart was really healthy and I had nice abs. It was cool. Doctors actually love me, bro. I've I've seen so many doctors in life and they're they always chill with me. Probably because I don't bring apples into their office. <laughs> You're just chiseled from the gods of Olympus? Well, not anymore, I'm not. That was back in high school when I was like on the check team. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you flexing your guns on April's stream yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> when he was putting my eyes on his chin. <laughs> Look. Was the nurse a babe? Uh, the nurse was like a 58 year old, uh, mother, I think. <laughs> did you run long distance? Uh, I did like the, what the fuck is, is it called? The baton pass and the fucking just run around and sprinting and sprinting. Fuck hurdles. I hated hurdles. Never again. Hurdles are the worst part of track. They're so fucking dumb. Yeah, I never did like cross country kind of stuff. I have really long, stupid looking legs. And I can run very fast if I put my mind to it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I did the I did the 100 meter, 200 meter sprints. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did those too. Yeah, I sprint like the wind. It was kind of fun. It's fun just going fast. Running fast just feels very satisfying. Can you run really slow? Yes, I can pretend that I'm running in slow motion. And I can do the matrix move, like in bullet time. Why am, why are my eyes like looking down? <laughs> it's like I'm I'm too scared to give eye contact. Hold on. Hold on, I'll fix it one more time. Fix me, baby, one more time. I don't think it fixed it. Why is, why is it like that, guy? Am I just... Am I just stupid? Okay, there we go. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, now now it should look like I'm not averting my gaze because I'm too shy. <laughs> I thought it was intentional. <laughs> no. <laughs> Time to lean back. Get back, get back. You don't know me like... Oh my god, it looks like I have a double chin. Look! Look! Look. Uh. Uh. Me poo. Me poo poo. Me poo 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 poo. It's my little tubby chin. Oh shit. Yeah, that's my gamer lean. Let me see your gamer lean. <laughs> my redditor chin, yes. Oh yeah! I've had an ultrasound done on my heart. It was very strange to look at my heart on the screen. Hearts kind of freaked me out, I'm not gonna lie. Just like, the idea that there's just an organ pumping all your blood and keeping you alive. When I become too aware of my heart and my heartbeat, I honestly get a little scared. Same thing with my brain. I do not like being aware that there's like a brain inside of my head. And the fact that when I'm aware of it, that means my brain is aware of it. My brain is me, you know? 
Why would you say that? Yeah, I hate being aware of my organs. I hate it. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm trying to... I don't know. Stoke the flames of the, the scary times. Are you guys getting warmed up yet? We are all electrical impulses controlling a meat mech. I'm a big meaty mech. The truth is scary. But accepting it is how we can move forward. You have a dry mouth right now? I do, actually! Okay, let me chug some water. A big meaty peptide. Oh no, do not do the manually breathing thing. You know what I hate the most? When you become aware of your, like, tongue in your mouth. And how your tongue isn't, like, sitting comfortably and it, like, feels too big for your mouth. Or when you be become, like, too aware of your teeth. You now feel your teeth rubbing up against your, the inside of your lips. I'm aware of my bones and my skeleton! Fuck you guys! No, fuck you! Start mewing? Yeah, I gotta start mewling. Wait, it's, it's mewing, right? Not mewling? Mewling is when you go like... Mew! Mew! Mewing is when you... You put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and it helps your, your jaw. Helps you get a... a Giga Chad jaw. Well, okay. Do you guys sign the waiver for the... the spooky video? It is about... Let's see... It is 36 minutes long. There might be some disturbing content in it. Like, usually these videos have, like, subject matter that is a little... A little bit dark and, uh... Deals with, like, death and, uh... All that kind of... Gruesome stuff. Anything macabre. It's going to be downright chilling. You will be very scared. You're going to get very scared. You will not be able to not be scared. You will not laugh. You'll not smile. We're not going to be laughing and joking around today. We're going to get very scared. We're going to enter into a world of darkness and there will be no light, only shadow. Are you ready? Take Bino before there will be no gas. Why does it sound like Twin Peaks music? There cannot be shadow without light. That is so true. Okay, buckle up everyone. Buckle up, buckaroo. You're not gonna get too scared, right? You're not gonna be like, Oh no, pause the video! I want off Mr. Bones Wild Wide! It sounds like Twin Peaks and the Psycho Mantis... It does kinda sound like the Psycho Mantis theme! What the fuck? Damn, I was waiting for that one second Samsung 120 <laughs> BPM spike. You almost got me. Fuck! Not again. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I've been banished to the corner. I'm in my react corner. Can we just watch DNSL videos? What is that? What does that stand for? Wait, hold on. Let me recalibrate my, my ticker. <laughs> Why team ND? You're the man now, dog? Here, I gotta go into the widget thingy. Cause there's no way- Bro, there's no way my heart rate's only 64 right now. It's not true, it's not possible. Okay, I'm reconnecting it, just to see. Ooh, ooh, ah. It's still 60. What the fuck? Why am I so chill? Why am I so chill, guys? Maybe- okay. I'll move it a little bit. I'm literally a clock. Yeah, 60 beats per minute. Mm. Oh, fuck yeah. I got a nice clock. Okay. Get ready mm. for the react of the century. We'll watch this video to warm up and then we can... We'll choose whether to start with uh, the parasocial one or the, mm. the night security one. Whatever you guys want to start with after. 
I show Everyone you my clock, please, for... Rupley. What? <laughs> please, Rupley. <laughs> please, Rupley. Oh my god, it's too scary, you guys. There's nothing happening yet. I, I'm, I'm trying to p capture the, the screen. No way you guys are too scared already. I haven't even... There's there's nothing going on. I haven't even turned the video on yet. You guys are babies. Ooh, baby, baby. Little baby. I'm sorry, that was too mean of me. Okay, this is gonna be the scariest shit ever. Holy fuck. Let's go. Also, should my heart rate be like over me? So it's not taking up too much screen real estate? You guys care about that? Will you guys be mad if I move it? No, I changed it! No! No, no, habíamos querido decir nada antes de chequear bien lo que estaba sucediendo porque compromete a personas que September 3rd, 2011. The Chilean news station TVN is hosting a live game show called KA7, or 7th Street, is in which young adults die? compete in a series oh, of challenges a to avoid being eliminated, the with the winner it's going the on to eventually earn a cash prize. <laughs> in Chile, the show was considered a success during its run, though it was never anything too out of the ordinary, especially as far as game shows go. And many okay. familiar with it would probably be surprised to Kinda see it discussed like in a video Gladiators. like this, as its family-friendly setup made it the last place you would ever expect to encounter a dark TV moment. No, what and kind for of dark of TV run, moment? This was true, except for that fateful September day. There's a gap. I'm so fucking sorry. How can I make it up to you guys? I didn't notice. Oh my god, my OBS screen is so small on my monitor. I didn't notice. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please. Mm. I fixed it. Is does it look fine now? Does it look okay? Send me a pizza? Okay. I'll send you a pizza pie and and a large Diet Coke. Restart stream? Oh man, I have to start all over. I feel like Jesus Christ. I'm gonna be reborn. This is the cross I must bear. What kind of dark TV moment are we talking about eh, here? Nos acaba de llegar una información muy difícil Did somebody de die? No, Was there no, a crime? No, we didn't want to say anything before we were checking out what was happening because it compromised the channel. What is he saying? As the participants were engaging in a heated competition, the host, Jean Philippe, unexpectedly halts the program in the middle of a game with breaking news that what? a terrible, terrible accident had occurred. No. Though not one on the show, but instead within the network itself. That morning, a team of workers from the TVN station, including famed presenters Felipe Camaroga and Roberto Bruce, along with numerous staff, had boarded a military aircraft to document the recovery efforts after the 2010 earthquake which had ravaged oh, the country, shit. with the plane heading for the island of Robinson Crusoe, a destination that they would sadly never Wasn't reach. Wasn't that around the As time of like the, the earthquake in Japan with the really bad tsunami? Fuck, this isn't even scary. This one is just sad. Philippe would interrupt Kaye 7 to share the devastating news that the plane had crashed into the ocean and that everyone oh. aboard had likely been killed instantly, including the entire team that TVN had sent and some of the network's most prominent presenters. The news sent shockwaves across the entire country and especially the TVN network, with the on-air oh, team having sad. to report that their close friends and colleagues had tragically passed away. And over the course of the following days, numerous bodies would be found floating near the crash site, Jesus. along with debris and eventually the craft itself. It was said that the flight had encountered heavy winds upon reaching their destination, leading to two failed landing attempts. And while making a large U-turn to try their third landing attempt, Plane the flight would disappear into the water, likely as a result of the craft running out of fuel. 
The interruption of the television program was and is considered a truly grim moment in the world of television, but the situation only gets more eerie as upon searching the wreckage, divers would discover that the network's cameraman had been filming minutes before the crash, no. getting shots of each and every person no, aboard, no, no, all of no, whom no, were no. clueless to the fact that in just a few minutes' time, they would all be dead. Oh, fuck that. They don't have the footage, do they? That is just unreal. Fuck, man. I hate, like, footage of, like, people's last moments or, like, all the worst is, like, recordings of people. It's unexplainably haunting uh, watching a group of people unknowingly experiencing their final moments on this earth. Dark, man. But evidently, this footage wasn't the only morbid discovery. Yeah, this is more depressing. Within one than of the scary. camera's SD cards, wait, what? Was a curious set of six images. No. Images that, at a glance, are not directly discernible. But once some effects are applied, start to become a bit more clear. What As in the it? most infamous example, we see what appears to be a plain window, along with a large amount of water covering the lens with the image being timestamped after the plane had impacted the water. No. And to make things even stranger, Did the SD card that was storing these images was allegedly found inside an empty water bottle. And though, to my knowledge, it has never been proven, these images introduced the idea that, at the very least, the cameraman, Romina Irazabel, was alive and even conscious after the crash. What? He snapped the pictures before placing the SD card in the water bottle in order to save oh, them from corrupting it? in the salt water which would also mean that he was alive and trapped aboard the broken vessel as it slowly no sank to the bottom of the way, ocean, ma'am. drowning with no hope of escaping the wreckage. That is like legitimately the scariest thing that I could possibly think of. God, at least like there's a chance you could die instantly in a plane crash like that, but the thought of like being stuck in the wreckage and just like slowly drowning is just honestly like that is actual hell. Oh God. Salt water is bad to drown in too. Oh my god, because when it gets like in your lungs and shit. Oh. No, man. I almost got over my fear of flying and now I don't know anymore. <laughs> this is too sad, man. To this day, the broadcast interruption, the footage, and the haunting unexplained final images cultivate into what can only be described as one of the darkest moments in TV history. No, Mr. Nick Crowley, and that's too scary. Oh, these videos. This is unbelievable. We don't know what has just happened right there. There's so, there's just like guilty pleasure. I don't know. I can't watch these alone. I try to watch them alone. I get too fucking scared. So the only time I can watch them is either like if me and Aza watch it together or if I watch it on stream. Oh, God. And I'm still gonna have fucking nightmares about it. Oh, yeah, the edits are so good. I, I I can't help it. I just get like, I hate scary stuff, but at the same time, I love it. Because like, I get this just like morbid curiosity to look up like spooky stories and like unexplained mysteries and stuff like that. And then inevitably at like 2 a.m., I'm lying awake in bed thinking about what I watched and just there's no hope. All across my channel is endless calm. proof that the internet can be a dark, unforgiving place. And unfortunately, it's shirt? become far too easy for data brokers to find our personal information, like our full legal names, personal emails, home no! addresses, and even our relatives. That's and if you don't believe too, me, try Nick Googling Crowley. yourself, and you'll probably see all sorts of information that you likely <laughs> had no idea was just out there in the open. I'm sorry, and someone I'm sorry, like Nick Crowley. I'm sorry, Nick Crowley. I'm sorry. The availability of this information. I'm sorry. I didn't want to double add you guys. It's fun playing like ad roulette. Like, I wonder what this ad read is going to be we for. Is it for a VPN? Is it for a meal service? Is it for OJ Simpson? Is in at this time. OJ Simpson. There's something inherently captivating about watching a live police chase or standoff. Perhaps it's the danger of it all, the feeling that at any moment, anything can happen, as you sit there watching it all unfold with no way of knowing how it'll end. Bro, I have this like almost every day because I live in LA. I notice like a lot of like police activity outside my window. I get so fucking nervous. Like, 
I'll like stand there like watching like oh my god what's going on like someone's getting arrested and sometimes there'll be like so many cop cars just like lined up sometimes they have like guns I get so fucking nervous now some of these turn out to have comedic finales going on to gain notoriety for just how outrageous they are this is like a comfortable stroll that this situation? guy's just taking through the neighborhood somebody you know making the decision said just let this guy go while that? others conclude in complete disaster Luckily, not a lot of people are just, wow, just missing those cars into oh, that power oh, line oh, wow. there. Wow, and that is quite the, uh, the ending to this pursuit. And throughout the history of televised police chases and police standoffs, certain moments have left viewers shocked and traumatized by their abruptly disturbing endings. With one of the most recognized no. examples coming from all the way back in 1998, in the world's capital for this type of content. This is gonna be more depressing than scary. This is today in LA. Who, who's watched this video already? Can you give me like a load, like a, a rundown, the Cliff's Notes? Is this more like. Yeah, of course it's in LA. <laughs> oh god. We watched the OJ chase in elementary school for some reason, El Mau. What? You. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> this one's depressing, it's not spooky. Yeah, I feel like if this is just like a fucking police chase where people fucking die, that's not, I don't know, that's not spooky. It's more like, man, that's a bummer. <laughs> I wish that didn't happen. Yeah, it's just sad. Still good vid. This one is shocking. Yeah, is this one just depressing? We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll take a taste. With Carla Abago. It happened on April 30th shot? at approximately okay. 3 p.m. when residents in LA had their evening programming interrupted by breaking news. A standoff of sorts had been developing on the Harbor Freeway, one in which numerous stations, even those showing children's cartoons, would cut to. And glued to their screens, adults and children alike would watch as 40-year-old Daniel V. Jones would exit his vehicle and display a homemade banner that read, HMOs are in it for the money. Live free, love safe, or die. What? Which was neatly placed on the ground as if he knew helicopters would be arriving to capture this unfolding dilemma. This. Daniel had been sick with cancer for some time and had just recently been diagnosed with HIV, something that he only blamed himself for. However, these illnesses led to a growing disdain for HMOs or health maintenance organizations, and he would express his displeasure for them in a phone call to 911 at the very beginning seriously. of the incident. During the call, he relayed how he believed the organizations valued profits over the lives of him and countless others, and he wanted to expose them and all their harmful practices in front of the entire world. And now, he had his audience. So, with the whole world watching, Daniel entered his truck with his dog Gladys, lit a Molotov cocktail, oh. and ignited a fire inside with the vehicle, dog? all while the broadcast stayed riveted on him. The scene was absolutely brutal, but it got even worse as he eventually exited the car, still on fire and now badly burned. And despite knowing that Daniel clearly they had the intention of ending his life, the cameras just kept on, on rolling, live TV? and they continued to roll even as he brandished a shotgun, and followed through on his ultimate desire, as his life came to a gruesome end. All the what while, the thousands what? of children at home who were just trying to see their favorite cartoons, watched on. The incident became a PR nightmare for the multiple stations that were live on the scene and seriously called into question the morality of broadcasting incidents of this nature. But it seems that the ratings they received were just too good to ever stray away from the practice. In fact, if anything, oh, this incident Jesus probably Christ. boosted their intrigue, as it was the Show ultimate example on, like, that anything can happen on live TV. TV. And yes, despite the tragic result and its human toll, this incident ultimately gave rise to even more broadcasts of this nature that are still to this day a commonplace, with one in particular leaving a lasting impact on myself for nearly a decade now. Oh no, what is it, Mr. Crowley? It started the same as any other live police chase, with multiple stations interrupting their broadcast with that classic flashing breaking news text. It was the 27th of July, 2007 in Phoenix, Arizona, where we're thrust into the action of a high-speed chase this? occurring at roughly 12.30 p.m. According to the broadcast, this white pickup truck had crashed into a police cruiser upon being pulled over and took off for unknown reasons. Yeah, prompting I guess not only you could say, like, people inherently, they just can't look away. It's like, 
they get that morbid curiosity and they want to watch this kind of stuff but at the same time it's just so shitty of like I don't know how like television stations to see good ratings and just they're like oh cool sick content hefty response by local police it's like, they but broadcast local news it stations so, like, as well as after only a few minutes news helicopters were already in the sky streaming the whole situation out to the world at some point in this chase, I mean, police were able to use a spike right strip now, and guess. seemingly shred all the tires from the man's truck, prompting him to slow down drastically and eventually bring his car to a complete we stop. Were, I think like and, uh, humans were not meant to be exposed to so much stuff like this, like through the news and through like the internet. We're not meant to like know about all this depressing shit. Back in like, I don't know, medieval times when we we're just like peasants toeing the fields and eating bread or whatever, milking a goat. Maybe, like, someone would come to the village and be like, Oh my god, a dude died. Or uh, a criminal got beheaded in the market square. But they weren't, like, getting, like, drip-fed, like... Like, on Twitter, you see, like, trending, like, Oh, fuck, uh, 20 horrible things happened today. Read about all of them. Or watch a video of this, like, police stand-down. Uh, here's, here's a random video of a guy getting crushed by a fucking... Fucking... <laughs> construction equipment just out of nowhere why is twitter so fucked with that nowadays i swear it didn't used to be that bad i used to never see stuff like that on twitter i'll just be like browsing my for you thing looking at like funny memes and dog videos all of a sudden there's just like a video of someone getting shot what the fuck we're, we're not meant to be exposed to all that stuff it's like doing things to our brains yeah elon happened of course fucking elon happened i wish he never happened in Minecraft. You uh, it looks like look at that video quality. Like was this taken at the LA Zoo? Zoo? Yeah, Bad. Yeah, exactly. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Oh wait, I just realized. I'm so sorry, you guys. You guys are hidden under the uh the fucking video. You guys disappeared. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Now you're back. This may be the end of this thing. This led to the cameras in the sky scrambling to get that perfect shot yeah, as the dramatic are. finale of this chase was growing oh, ever so close. With me. Yeah. Though no one could have imagined the tragic end that this was all headed for. What a tragic end. Okay, now, okay, now it's a foot chase. Okay, now he's jumped into now another, he's in another vehicle. vehicle. Okay, okay. Alright, they're Doors closing in. Police. Looks okay. like they've... Oh, geez. What? We don't, what just we don't happened? Know what has just happened right there? It looks like the police Did have closed explode? in on him. We don't know uh, what exactly has transpired between what? the police. What? As the camera is fixed in on the action, we see a brief moment of static before the, the broadcast cuts back to the studio, crash? followed by a hurried commercial break as confusion seems to fill no. the set, leaving the audience baffled at how they could pull away from the footage at such a tense, important moment, causing many to change the channel in a hurry to see just how this thing would end, what? which is where many would be faced with the reality of what exactly they had just witnessed. He commandeered another car. Wait, 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 wait. I got a problem here. Okay. I got an accident. Go north. Go north. I got a helicopter down. Oh, uh, no. Down. Connie is telling us she has a helicopter down. I... Oh, no, Ooh. Connie. This is unbelievable. All right, Was well, there like a mid air collision? Find out. Oh, <gasps> this is miserable. This is. Oh, this Jesus. This is unbelievable. Connie, uh, can you tell us? Are you getting chatter? You would know more than us right now. What the fuck? Was that like At completely moment, unrelated to the police chase? At this moment, helicopter, piloted by Craig Smith, along with cameraman Rick Krolak, was capturing the action. A separate helicopter, piloted by Scott Bowerbank, and cameraman Jim the Cott from away? the KTVK station, had been unknowingly heading directly towards them. And with all four oh. men blinded by their obligation to capture this chase in real time, oh, the two man. aircrafts would unexpectedly collide leading to the free fall of both helicopters and the deaths of all four aboard. Oh the footage was God. captured by both parties involved and shown live to who knows how many people, with both providing equally chilling moments, like in the original KNVX TV broadcast, where you can hear the faint yelling of one of the men on board. Well, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't know what has just happened right there. It looks like the police 
And in the oh KTVK helicopter, God, no. when Jim Cox says the line, Now he's hitting eastbound and he just hit some more barricades. Absolutely unbelievable. God, this guy doesn't fuck. care what he hits. When in reality, the very craft he was in was mere moments away from barreling straight into the other news chopper. Do they still film like police chases like this? For like live television? Like after all this shit? Yes? Yeah, I don't really like watch live TV. So I I'm not aware, but man, that's so fucked. They don't they don't need to film that. Ah, oh, LA is famous for it. Jesus, man. Yeah, I guess there is like a lot of like I see like body cam footage and stuff on like YouTube and stuff like that. Boomers love that shit. Man, it sucks though. Like. Just like the things that they do for ratings. Just putting people in danger like that. Ever seen Nightcrawler with Jake Gyllenhaal? Oh my god, I need to. I need to so bad. I heard it's so good. But I've been, uh, it's another one of those things where I'm too scared to watch it alone. And I think Aethel's probably already seen it. And he's like, he doesn't like to watch movies like more than once, I guess. He's like a... Unless it's like a certain kind of movie, like if it's like a really, really good movie, he'll be down to watch it again. But yeah, I, I don't want to watch it alone. I'm too scared. It sounds so fucked. <laughs> it's not super scary. It seems like it's like a particular kind of scare, like more like psychological. And that really gets under my skin when I watch stuff like that. And maybe we could do like a Discord watch along. <coughs> Also, sorry if you hear me eating and shoving food into my gaping, disgusting maw. I'm eating a little cookie, because if I don't remember to eat, I will die. The entire scene is certainly one of the darkest police chases ever recorded. And to me, what makes it all the more gut-wrenching is seeing the other news stations swarm to cover the crash. With many of those people forced to cover the incident being acquaintances and even good friends with the people they had just watched perish, oh, leading to some genuinely man. heartbreaking reactions. Oh no! Oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh my gosh! Hey! Oh my God! Is Jump he trying not to swear? Because it's like live? Thing. I'm good. I'm not sure. I'm good. 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 How fucked we are. We're just like wanting to film that kind of stuff. Nearly 18 years ago, now, a strange phenomenon hit British tabloids as the papers began to report on a seemingly mundane man named Mick Philpot. As far oh as I God. could tell, he never seemed to go out of his way to acquire this fame, but rather the lifestyle he lived what did this caused guy it to do? occur organically and for all the wrong reasons. The then nearly 50 year old man had Fuck recently this become guy? a father oh, of no. 15. What with did the this children guy do? split up between five different women, two of which he took turns living with in a sort of love triangle situation. Oh. And if the living arrangements and the sheer number of kids wasn't intriguing enough, he further gained infamy thanks in large part due to his attitude on working, as he Is refused he like to get a, a job and instead would allegedly scheme his way into getting exponential amounts of government benefits. And he did so all the while his pregnant wife and his pregnant girlfriend carried out full-time jobs. Please, I it's hope easy these to find women their living arrangements strange and maybe even a bit comical. But behind it all was actually a very legitimate dark side, as oh, Mick no. had a habit of finding young, vulnerable girls to essentially groom and impregnate. What? His now wife, Marie, was just 18 years old at the time they began dating, and she was one of the older ones, as when he was 37, he what struck a up a relationship with a 14-year-old girl who eventually ran away with him at the age of 16. And this dark side of his gets worse when it's revealed that he was also a notorious domestic abuser, slapping and violently beating his past partners on numerous occasions, Wait, including so one instance when he stabbed his ex-girlfriend 12 times, before then turning the knife on her mother who attempted to step in and help. His reason for doing this? Well, he didn't like that she spent so much time watching over a baby she was caring for. Thankfully, despite the traumatic injuries, the mother and daughter would survive the attack and go on to live normal lives. Okay, and because good. of this assault, Mick would receive the staggering prison sentence of seven years. And Only by the 80s, he was a free man. Seven years for that? 
What? No fucking shot. What the fuck? Bro. Is this... Yeah, because it's in the UK? I heard they're more lax with, like, prison sentences there. Do they try to focus more on, like, rehabilitation or... Yeah, double attempted murder. Seven years? Bro, you could get seven years in the US for just having, like, weed on you. Which is fucked. <laughs> no, they don't focus on rehabilitation. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this was in the... In the 70s what and is 80s, this guy right? trying to be? Is he Hugo, who respects women from high school? That's, it looks like this guy's trying to have a complete harem of his own. What the fuck? <laughs> no. no, that is uh, an anime character. And uh, this is uh, a real guy who uh, tried to kill people. Continuing his nefarious activities all the while. What, the what if it was an anime harem? A better word, Nick was a menace, who somehow was not only a free man after all the crimes he committed, but was also having his entire life yeah, funded by the very like government that should have locked him away for so much longer. And with his name now in the press, mainly for his number of children, he would use his platform to complain that the benefits he received weren't enough, and that he wanted well, even you. more. This caused an even bigger stir in the tabloids, and it was only a matter of time before someone called him up to appear on TV, with Mick and his two lovers eventually being invited onto the Jeremy Kyle show, where Mick's temper would be put on full display. Mm. You had a go at me. I said your kids, when they came here today, were well-behaved and well-mannered and well-groomed. No newspaper said that, so you should be apologizing to I... me, because I hadn't even started on you. Listen, you want to start? You start! Oh. You... Oh, that was terrifying. They put him on TV. Eventually, Mick would settle down, and his wife, Marie, and girlfriend, Lisa Willis, were brought out to discuss Please their relationship these two further, women were able to which the two surprisingly him. seemed very content, not backing down from their stance that there was nothing wrong with their feelings towards Mick. Do you not get slightly peeved that she is Mrs. Mick and your mistress Mick? No. I'm being serious. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't bother me one bit. It's okay. You Ending the program off on a surprising note for the run. host, who likely expected some sort of reaction from the pair, even getting frustrated to the point where he would Dude. lambast the group. No, no judgment to anyone who's like, I don't know, into like a polyamorous situation. I don't give a shit. It's not for me personally, but I am always suspect of like the like sister wives shit. That people sometimes do. It is very, it's very, very suspect. Like it almost always is like a dude just like pressuring people into weird shit and abusing them in some way. Is it's fucked. I do not trust like that, man. It would about brother? No, no brother husbands either. Or I mean. Wait, wouldn't that just be two gay guys? <laughs> no, no. For, for guys and girls, it, it's fucked. Yeah, it's almost always like there's always some kind of like unbalance going on there. I don't trust like that. Yeah, it's just, it feels like a mini cult. Yeah, someone just like power tripping and like pressuring people into doing stuff for them and like pretty much brainwashing them. And it's like, oh, they seem happy. They seem content. Bro, you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. This guy, he, he's fucking stabbed people and is, he's grooming minors. It's fucked up, man. Oh, I don't trust like that, yeah. Like some, in very like fringe scenarios, it, it's fine, I guess. But like, bro, this like, a lot of people do it in Utah, apparently. Because it's like associated with like Mormonism, I guess. And a lot of the time, it's just so, it's just too sketchy, man. It's, it's freaky. Swinger shit is weird. Yeah, I'm, no, no offense to anyone, but personally, like, I feel like a lot of the time, it does not end well. It's not. Uh, some people just, 
they they cannot be trusted to do that kind of stuff for real for real so ethel was wrong about there being tax benefits to you two being related <laughs> wait what wait can, can you really have like tax benefits if you have like a sibling or only if they like i think it's if they are considered uh a, a dependent on you right mm. i'm an independent woman I fuck my sister all the time. I'm from Alabama, though. That's really nice to, to hear about. Thank you. Girls for their laissez-faire attitude. Where is your dignity? You're 22. Don't you want to bloke to yourself? He just said I agree with you. When you grew up, did you think you were going to share your bloke with a, another woman? Escape, please. Get out of there. What, two moms is better he for brainwashed you. He doesn't care about you. Or confusing. No. It's just the using you as a fucking end, baby factory. So it makes 15 minutes of fame. As the paper she slowly began to find their next... She just needs to go to Greece and she needs to find a nice man that will take care of her and only her and love her forever. She deserves it. ...target. And the world continued on with Mick, his 15 kids, and multiple lovers out of mind. Until no the year dignity. 2012. When People his... always like... It can be easy to like maybe criticize the women in these situations by being like, oh man, why don't they run away? Like, they're so dumb or like, have some self-respect and shit like that. But you don't know like how much their minds have been worn down by like the guy or like whoever is in power in this situation. By just like wearing down their self-esteem, making them feel like, oh, you can't do anything without me. And like, you need me. You're nothing without me. Like that kind of shit. Just wearing them down and pretty much like gaslighting them into being okay with the situation. It's so fucked, man. Name would pop up once again for a much different reason. Yeah, it's violent. I mean, I could be. Hey, yeah, terrorist times. Yeah, we've got some. We've got the police on the way. Have you any idea what's caused the fire? Please tell me they didn't die. On May 12, 2012, Mick's home would catch on fire in the dead of night while he, his wife Marie, and their many children were sleeping peacefully. In the panic, the couple what? managed to escape with some of their kids, but tragically, six of them, all of whom were below the age of 10, would pass away in the blaze, having been stuck upstairs and inaccessible to any form of rescue. By the 16th of May, the story had reached far and wide of the tragedy that unfolded, with Mick and Marie garnering widespread community support. Locals in the area would even band together and raise the money for the children's funeral, Jesus prompting Christ. the emotional pair to give a heartfelt thank you through the media. I've actually been down to my, our, our home, and what we saw, we just, we just cannot believe it. <laughs> to see this community to, to come together like the have is just, it's just too overwhelming. But there's one thing I, I would request is please, please leave my family alone. <laughs> if you've got any questions or anything at all, Please don't come through me or my family. Please go to the police. And for many, this would have likely been the last they'd ever hear of this broken family, had it not been for a single discovery found within the home's debris. No. While sifting through the burnt remains of the house, police would discover gasoline in the mailbox, which when found at crime scenes is typically associated with arson. And coincidentally, the very morning of the fire, Mick just so happened to have a court hearing to obtain custody over he and Lisa Willis's children, oh the second woman who had God. appeared with Mick on the Jeremy Kyle show. What Given that the, the general fuck? public had immediately stopped caring about this family after their appearance on TV, not many knew that Mick and Lisa had actually split up in the following years and were in the midst of a bitter custody dispute, and leading to speculation that Lisa may have intentionally set that, Nick's probably. home on fire as some sort of vindictive act. Or at least, that's what Mick wanted us to believe. What? What did you say? Tell me what you said to him. What did you say about me trying to get rid Tried everything you could to get in that. I said to him I wanted to run through the flames. Was he trying to get rid of what you evidence find him say, of something? How bad? Not really, really bad, but I did cry. That's very good. 
fingerprint on the minigun. That's it. A few discrepancies. It's all of this. What? It's my fault that the family's gone. It's my fault we lost our children. Upon doing an in-depth investigation, which included bugging a hotel room that Mick and Marie were staying in, police would eventually capture a verbal confession that proved the married couple had actually been the ones to initially set the fire, along with their friend Paul Mosley. But why? Well, their goal wasn't actually to kill the children. It was instead to save them. In reality, they had planned on setting the fire in a way that Mick and Marie could swoop in at the last minute and save all the kids, as a way of making them appear as heroes, oh, before going on to pin the fire on Lisa, and in turn so having her arrested stupid. while they obtained custody of her children. It was an evil plan that was made so much worse when the fire spread too quickly, making the rescue of the children upstairs almost immediately impossible. And in his desperate attempt to gain even more children under his roof, Mick ended up killing six of his very own. Six kids, man. I know that I probably missed out on one moment in the middle of the stream, but there's one creepy 911 call I heard about that involves a monkey. Oh, is that the, the Travis the Chimp incident? I've never heard the actual 911 call because I've been too scared to listen to it. I don't think I ever will, man. Oh, God. That lady, she survived, right? She just got, like, permanently disfigured in, like, the face. Yeah, it sounds so bad. Being in unison on that fateful program, none of whom knowing Wait, just how bitter things would it turn, in a and how two of them would eventually become murderers, all in an oh, attempt to frame the other. Got her face ripped it's off. unspeakably Ugh. dark. And thankfully this time, Mick Philpot will be kept in prison till the day he dies. Thank exactly God. Where he belongs. There Jesus. are a lot of accusations and Some allegations about what's happening. Some people need to be somewhere else. Because there is no hope. Our next case is by far the most requested topic that I have ever received on this channel, as it seems to strike a chord with so many who watch the situation unfold live. What? It all started on the evening of June 25th, 2007. What, the night in which happened, the WWE had been preparing to air a live three-hour program known as Raw. The oh. event was set to feature their usual star-studded list of wrestlers going head-to-head -head in Corpus Christi, Texas. Though the morning of, I out of the group of those star wrestlers, fun? One man was missing, Chris Benoit. What According happened? To oh my god, I've never heard of this. I'm not familiar with like WWE stuff. Did he die? Like during... Oh... Wrestler Chavo Guerrero. Oh. He had received a voicemail from Benoit two days prior, where he was told that Benoit's wife Nancy and son Daniel had come down with food poisoning before telling another co-worker the following day that Nancy was so sick that she had been vomiting blood. Guerrero would go on to state that the oh. following morning he received vague text from Benoit, with some simply stating his address and another giving directions to where the dogs were being kept and how the side door to the house was left unlocked. Texts that were sent around 3 a.m. and ignored by Guerrero, as he knew he would be seeing Benoit in just a few hours, given that he was going to be picking him up at the airport in preparation for the show though he would never hear from Benoit again. Was it not food poisoning? Was it just Good evening. Poisoning? In reality, WWE superstar Chris Benoit, his wife Nancy, and their son Daniel are dead. Their son too? Oh, man. With the program growing nearer on the 25th, news would be relayed to the WWE that Chris Benoit, along with Nancy and Daniel, had been found dead within their home. What? The news came as a shock to the entire wrestling world, and not wanting to carry on with the regularly scheduled Raw event, the decision was made to cancel the matches and instead showcase a tribute to the famed wrestler who so suddenly lost his life. And so on the evening of June 25th, 2007, the WWE would reflect on some of Chris Benoit's best moments in the circuit, along with their biggest stars giving personal accounts of just how much Benoit meant to them. With it all happening live and in real time, the very night that Chris was found dead. Oh, man. Throughout the program, wrestlers like Stone Cold Steve Austin, John Cena, and CM Punk, who was originally scheduled to fight Benoit that night, shared heartfelt memories of just how good a man Chris Benoit truly was, oh, emphasizing no. his talent, work ethic, and the love he had for his family. 
Jesus. It was. I'm, I'm see, I respect. see where this is going. It meant everything to him. Respect for this business, respect yeah, for the fans, respect for the wrestlers, fuck. respect for his family, respect for himself. And for a moment, this all seemed to be exactly what the wrestling world needed to bring everyone together in remembrance. But near the end, a shift seemed to occur following an interview given by William Regal, whose comments towards Benoit felt far more reserved than the others before him, who poured their hearts out over their fallen friend. At a later date, I'll be quite happy to sit here and tell you all the things about Chris I mean, Benoit that no I'd idea. like to tell you. Um, but now all I'm willing to say is that Chris Benoit was undoubtedly the hardest working man in professional wrestling. According to some watching the program, the interview did feel a bit out of place, and apparently slightly threw off the vibe of the remaining show, as things felt far more stiff and reserved than at its opening. And there was good reason for this. Oh no, did he when not Regal was preparing that? to do this live Ooh. interview, he was allegedly approached by fellow wrestler John Layfield, who pulled him aside and asked, you think he had anything to do with it? Oh! Initially, the thought had never even crossed his mind. In fact, he had a heartfelt message fully prepared to read in the moments leading to his interview. But something about that question made him pause, leading to his subsequent words being rather short and cautious, as the hesitation led to the creeping thought of, what if he really did have something to do with it? Oh. A thought that very few at the time had even considered, which looking back seems so surreal. As for those familiar with the case, you know exactly know. where this is headed. No, not the sharp music change. Uh, we are at now looking at this case and ruling it as a double homicide. Uh, evidence in the home leads Do us to believe to, that Mr. Benoit have to censor that had word on YouTube murdered now? his wife uh, by asphyxiation. Uh, <gasps> sometime shortly after that, uh. the same for his son, Daniel. Over the previous Christ, days before Chris's tribute was aired, him? he would be the one to take the lives of his wife, son, and eventually himself. Benoit did so what? by drugging and strangling his son and wife, while leaving Bibles by their side, seemingly as a result of some type of mental breakdown. To this day, an exact motive is still not fully understood, but it likely had to do with a combination of multiple factors, with the most glaring being the head trauma that Benoit had suffered <gasps> as a result a of his profession. As following his death, Benoit's brain was studied by a neurologist who would go on to state that Benoit's brain was so severely damaged, it resembled the brain of an 85-year-old oh Alzheimer's God. The gruesome scene uncovered at the family home by the hands of Chris Benoit makes this whole memorial program for him just seem so much more chilling, as not even 24 hours later, the man that was being so highly praised as a loving family man would be revealed to have been the one behind his own family's murder. And as disturbing as this all is, there's plenty of other chilling moments left behind by Benoit, with perhaps none more eerie than the promo he shot for another Raw event no. just a few years before his death. Please don't be a weird foreshadowing thing, I my hate wife that. And my children will not be watching Raw because I am going to do something that is unthinkable. I believe you. With my anger. What the fuck? His signature move was no joke, straight up head trauma? What was his signature move? Jesus Christ. Oh. Flying headbutt? Is that what caused all the brain damage? Bro, like, wrestling and boxing and, like, football and shit is so scary with the amount of, like, head trauma they can get. Can it, it can really just, like, make you go crazy? Oh. After years and years of doing it. Oh. Yeah, it must have added up over time. Jesus. Swiss cheese brain? Lots of rules changed after that. Yeah, hopefully, like, it's it's a lot more regulated now, right? Oh, I mean American football, sorry. I forgot. Are there, like, European bros in here? My apologies. 
that we call that shocker here. I think you can get... Your head can get fucked up playing soccer too though, right? July 7th, 2012. Sports are scary. Television host Beto Ortiz opens up the very <laughs> first episode of a brand can, new TV like, show uh, called El Velor de la Verdad, yourself? or The Value of Truth. Throughout its airtime, the show would challenge contestants to answer a series of questions honestly while strapped to a polygraph test. The oh. test then monitors if the person is telling the truth or not, and with each correct answer, you earn more and more money until you either choose not to answer a question or until someone. you're caught lying. Though there was a catch. The questions would get increasingly more difficult and embarrassing, and all the while you're answering them, you're seated directly next to your loved ones, with whom oh. the questions were often based around. Hey there, Nero oh. Barker was annoyed, like most other WWE wrestlers, also in severely a way that you used anabolic steroids oh, in addition to CTEs. Steroids. Yeah, do you think like the the steroid use gave him a lot of like anger problems too, and can like in combination with that? Take your eyes off. That's fucked up. And in Peru, the value of truth was poised to become a breakout hit, thanks in large part to the success of this very first episode. In it, we're introduced to the contestant Ruth Thalia Sea Sanchez, a 19 year old call center employee hoping to gain fame from the show, while being accompanied by like her parents bullshit? and boyfriend Brian Romero Levea. And they could not have selected a better inaugural participant. Up until this point, Ruth had lived her life in a state of poverty, and the type of money offered by the program would be life-changing for both herself and her family, Ooh. which might explain her openness on air, as throughout the entire program, Ruth answers Are each and every question with court? painful honesty. In one moment, she admits that she wishes that she were white, and in another, she stated how she was often embarrassed by her parents' manners, oh. which she says as they sat directly across from her. Would you guys be able to go on a school like this? If they give you like a million dollars. You can feel the tension as each answer seems to drive a dagger into her parents' no. hearts, eventually leaving you her mother have a lot in of tears. Dark secrets. And it only gets more painful from here as she was asked, Are you with your crush until someone better arrives? To which she says, Yes with her boyfriend oh. watching on, just feet away. Bro. And following this, the questions would become more and more intrusive, with Ruth eventually having to admit that in order to pay oh. her bills, she worked at a nightclub as a stripper, which was news to all of her loved ones who sat there stunned by the revelation, especially her boyfriend, Brian. Well, I, I a revelation like that leads us to Ruth's more final question than and the, the most painful thing. one of all. Have you ever accepted money in exchange for sex? A question which she would answer, yes, before promptly ending her time on the show, three questions away from the finale. There's a US version of the show and it was fucked up? Did it air after this one? Me retiro. Se retira. Me retiro. And she just lied? The whole ordeal left everyone, including the audience, know, like, completely stunned. The lie detector on one thing hand, many seem... applauded Ruth for being so honest, and on the other, she was criticized for putting her family and her boyfriend specifically through this embarrassing line of questions, broadcast what? for the whole country to see. The cringe-inducing episode became so popular that the station like the supposedly aired it each weekend for a staggering anything. 12 weeks straight. The show and Ruth herself became instant phenomenons, and in a sense, this did bring Ruth some of the fame yeah, that she so desperately fault? desired, making appearances on multiple news programs in the following weeks, and becoming a legitimate household name in Peru. And the finances helped her situation too, as she walked away with 15,000 souls, or about 5,800 US dollars back then. And for a moment, it seemed as if the pain of releasing all this private it. information might have actually been worth it. Until the day she vanished. Out of nowhere, Ruth suddenly went radio silent, missing appointments and failing to answer her phone while her home sat vacant. What? For 10 days straight, there was no sign of the young star, prompting a massive search of the area she lived in, with those same loved ones that had accompanied her on the value of truth helping lead the search efforts. Until eventually, police would happen across her lifeless body buried in a shallow grave. What? She had died of asphyxiation, a clear-cut case of murder. 
and there was only ever one suspect. Her boyfriend? Just before Ruth had vanished, she would make an appearance on TV in which she appeared lower energy than normal, expressing her sadness in the fact that her and her boyfriend Brian had broken up, oh, likely as a result no. of the embarrassment brought about by the show. And with this in mind, Brian had been questioned about his role in her disappearance and eventually admit to everything. Angered by the embarrassment that Ruth had caused him in front of the entire nation, and feeling as if he was owed a certain percentage of the money that Ruth had earned, oh, Brian would on. visit Ruth's home and drug her with sleeping pills before proceeding to assault Asphyxiation. her. Asphyxiation? Was it the wrestler again? Her. No. He would then bury her body <laughs> no, in the man. hopes that she would never be found. Years later, Brian would be found guilty of Ruth's he murder died. and receive the punishment of life in prison. Despite its very first yeah. episode leading to a prolific murder case, The Value of Truth remained a hit show for years to follow, until it would eventually fizzle out and be taken off the air, leaving in its wake a multitude of embarrassing memories. It has still and stayed one of the on after that? In TV history. Well, at, least, at least he has life in prison. Holy fuck. Wait, what is the Daily Crapper? <laughs> okay, this, is the, this video is from Nick Crowley. They make a lot of really cool, spooky, deep dive videos. Here, here's the URL. Here, here, take it, take it. Don't do that one. Wait, why? Why, is it bad? The Daily Capper? Yeah, that was, that was heavy as fuck. Yeah, I've seen the Seattle Zombie Woman one. That one's pretty sad, too. I think that lady... She just had some kind of, like, health issue. Oh, yeah, the capper is very bad. Oh, it's... Oh, it's that kind of... Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's... That's too depressing even for me. That kind of subject matter. Oh, he does haunted house stuff? I want to do a haunted house stream. Do you think me and Aethel could do, like, a in October? Just, like... I just want to go somewhere spooky as fuck, man. I want to see a ghost. Yeah, I want to go ghost hunting. Okay, I think I'm sufficiently warmed up to start our scary game adventure. But I'm honestly kind of worried. Is is my heart really beating that slowly? Sorry if that or... joke was too spicy. That wasn't necessarily spooky, just sad. Yeah, that video was like... I guess it was pretty scary just to see, like... Just all those moments that were aired on live TV. Without people knowing, like, the, the dark side of it. That is pretty fucking spooky. But yeah, pretty pretty depressing on the whole. Yeah, it was a it was a downer. It's scary because it's real. Yeah, it's like that real fear. It's a normal heart rate. But I I got scared throughout the video a little bit, and it, it didn't even go above sixty. Am I am I dying? I feel like it, here. Let me recalibrate it one more time. Wait, it's still it's still like moving. You hit ninety at a point. It was in the 70s for a bit. It went up to 80 and 90. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm just really chill. I'm just really chill. Ugh. Sorry. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thanks to Nick Crowley for making this video. Check, check out the channel. He makes videos like this uh, pr pretty often. I cover all kinds of creepy stuff on YouTube and TV. Mmm. Quite pungent indeed. I burped right when the clock went off, too. The beat go off? My meat go soft? Okay. Do you guys want to start with... I definitely want to do one of the chill art games first. Because I've been chomping at the bit. Do you want to do the night security one? Or the parasocial one. They both seem really good. You guys are gonna have to backseat me through them too. Because when I get like spooked out in scary games, my, my brain ceases to function even less so than it normally does. And I get really bad at puzzle kind of stuff. Uh, do you want to pull it? Yeah, they're both really good. I've seen a little bit of the night security. I've barely seen anything from the parasocial one because I've been wanting to go in blind so I get properly spooked. A proper spooky time. Vote, 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 vote. Parasocial sounds perfect for you. Yeah, all I know about parasocial is like it deals with like a 
Like the main character is like a streamer. It might hit too close to home, guys. I may I might get a little too scaled. Okay, I'll boot up Steam. A V two It's about a VTuber? I thought it was just like a normal streamer. Oh shit. Okay, let's spooky him first. Uh okay, it looks like Parasocial is winning by a landslide, so I'll just boot that one up. Also, sorry if the audio or anything is a little too... A little too crazy at first. Use headphone for best experience? Oh, Jesus. Am I gonna die? Is it safe to play a scary game after taking uh, ADHD medication? Will I be okay? Okay, here's the game. Oh god, this looks so bad. <laughs> I love the style of these games. It's so uniquely creepy, like the way they model like the people. Uh credits, new game? This is a new game. Oh Jesus. Is this me? I wouldn't get out of bed that fast. I would be in bed for at least an hour. I'd let my alarm go off at least three times and get really annoyed at it every time, even though I'm the one who set the alarm. Stream? Jeez, they have a fucking alarm set to tell them their stream schedule? Wait, 1930, is that 7.30 at night? Well, I got a new message. 7.30 p.m.? Oh, from Asuka. The Niku Jaga I made is in the fridge, so heat it up and eat it. Wait, is this my roommate? Oh, this is my mommy. Chillis Cafe. Who's Rikia? Who is Rikia? Well, she has a, a serial killer bedroom, just like me. This is so... Kind of small. Am I a diva? I feel like... I don't mind, like, smaller bedrooms, but I feel like this is too small. It feels like a prison cell. Oh, shit. Eat the Niku Jaga, made by Asuka. God, it's so dark in here. Can I turn on the light? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, this kind of reminds me of my apartment. What the fuck? Got a nice kitchen. Pretty pretty dim though. A little microwave. Oh, where's that Niku Jaga? What is Niku Jaga? It looks like a it looks 2D. Is it like beef and it looks like peppers? Pimans? Potatoes? Meat stew! Oh mm, yummy beef stew. Help me stop my day! I'm gonna have beef stew farts all throughout my, my stream time. My viewers are very lucky today. Mmm. First time viewer. To your swim. Notice you're feeling very farty today. Did you have some Niku Jaga? Oh my god, is this her stream setup? This is kind of sad. Like, this is how my room kind of used to look before I decorated it. Is this her? Her VTuber model is cute! Senra Nina. Senra Nina. Oh, and she's got her first name in, uh, what is it? Katakana. That's fancy. Those kind of look like my room. Yeah, bro, I have a cl Oh, no. I have a closet right behind me. There's not gonna be, like, a part where there's, like, someone in the closet, like, watching, right? That's gonna... That's gonna fuck me up. It's too real. Too much pink shit on her desk. I mean, uh, the PC is pretty cute. This chair is a scam. It's gonna fall apart in like two months. But she's probably got like a sponsorship for it, so it's all good. Guess I'll sit down and eat my Niku Jaga. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those shitty ass racer chairs. They're, they're, bro, I'll tell you straight up, 
invest in a high quality office chair it'll be way more comfortable way more better for your lumbar support than any of those shitty fucking like race car chairs they suck wait what is this mug Aww. damn why doesn't she just turn on the light in here oh oh we ducky what that means is this the security system like the the intercom It just says stream, <laughs> bro. It's like my day to day life. <laughs> I just get like a pop up in my peripheral vision that just says stream, stream. Guess I'll guess I'll do a cheeky little stream. I wonder what we're gonna do today. Maybe I'll react to some videos. Use PC. Uh, yes. Maybe we'll play some funny games. Maybe there's a, a game that's trending right now. Make sure before stream run virtual me, have a game ready, hit stream. Bro, this girl has her shit way more together than me. Wait, I actually used to make like little notes to myself like that, like like a to-do list before starting stream. I shouldn't start doing that again. Because I'm always like, oh shit, sorry guys, I forgot to open my model. Virtual, virtual me? What the fuck? That's me! What the fuck? Why does that look like me? That's like my hair. She even has my creepy witch hands. Look at those decrepit old fucking hands. How old is this girl? Oh, she's got a fucking razor mic. It looks like the razor siren. This PC does kind of look like an Ironside PC. Oh, she's got the RGB RAM. Good fucking shit. Oh, and the fans. Looks like a pretty good graphics card, too. Not bad. Transform. <gasps> I'm pretty now. No matter how many times I look at it, my avatar is too cute. It was worth the money. Senra Nina is a great name, too. Let's enjoy streaming today. Aim for 10,000 subscribers. That's like my inner monologue every day. Have a game ready? Oh shit, I don't know what game to play. Nothing sounds fun. What the fuck is this? Akamanto? This looks cute. If I remember correctly, this game has no saves. This sucks. <laughs> Are you sure you want to play this sucky game, bro? You're gonna be in a bad mood the entire stream. Just like, oh man, like pretending to like the game. And just like soldiering through it. Bro. We should just play fucking, uh, we should play Overwatch. Or Dark and Darker. How do you play this? I don't know how to play! Oh, fuck. I don't know how to play! I, I hope the chat will backseat me properly. Alright. Akamanto, let's finish this. Oh, she's in the middle of it. 100 viewers? That's pretty good. I'll do my best today. All we I need to do is deliver these two pieces of paper. I hope I can clear this today. Oh god. We can do this. We can do this, Senra. Okay, the chat's pretty dead right now. Oh god, I gotta say something funny. Fuck. Oh. Uh, man, what is this? A uh, hallway simulator? Uh, are you guys seeing this right now? Uh, <laughs> Just two more, only a bit to go. Thank you, you guys. I'm doing my best. This game is pretty tough. Oh, I love Nina is in here. That's her biggest fan. Oh, okay. I wonder what's in this room. Need to get some papers. How far are you? Um, I started playing this the other day. I think we got a few chapters in. I just have to get the rest of the papers. Yes, I have two more pieces of paper to deliver. Thank you. I love Nina. Oh god, I hope my camera doesn't glitch out and show me leaning over, picking my nose. I hope everyone doesn't see my distended, fucked up butthole. Wait, you can run? How the... Where am I going to? I mean, oh shit, I sound like a bitch. Uh, guys, I'm kind of nervous. I don't really know how to play this game. <laughs> Do 
you guys know what to do? Maybe I have to go into the bathroom. Oh, whoops, I almost went into the wrong bathroom. <laughs> that would be embarrassing. If I went into the b -b -b boys' bathroom, I wouldn't want to go in there. <laughs> I'm just a shy girl. I don't really like to go around boys or anything. Don't, uh, don't get the wrong idea, I was just making a joke. Like, if I accidentally went into the boys' bathroom, that would be kind of embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> but if there was a guy in there, I'd probably scream. Because, uh, it would be terrifying. I wouldn't like it at all. I can't get in here, chat! I don't know how to get in! Eee! Eee! Boys? Nina, say your catchphrase? Uh... I'm... So ha-ha uh, ha happy! I'm ha-ha ha happy today! Ha-ha ha happy, run away? Okay, I'm running, I'm running. Do I have to hide? OMG? Ninjin, that means carrot. Are you a carrot? Okay, I managed to avoid the danger. Oh my goodness. My heart started beating so fast. Almost as fast as when I almost accidentally went into the boys' bathroom. Oh! These are the papers! Wait, I think this is like the hub. Whoa! <laughs> I'm the worst. Oh my god. There's 868 viewers and they're all let down. I can't even finish one fucking game. I should just fucking end it all. Fuck. So fucking bad. Why am I even doing this? Why did I even start this game? I hate this game. Ah, I died. We have to start from the beginning again. No saves is too cruel. Why did I choose this game? Should be playing like... I don't know... Farmville or something. This game is not suited for me. Do you guys have any other recommendations? Like what kind of... What kind of games do you like to play? If you'd be interested, try this. Oh, what is this? I love Nina. Oh, it's on itch.io. Horror game only for San Ranino. Wait, is this a fan game? Oh my goodness, thank you so much! This is so cool! Let's take a little look. New game site. It's a site that I always use. Let's try this game. Plan is to update the game for every stream. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Is this a virus? This looks sketch. Don't do it. I don't want to play that other game. That game is too hard. No one was backseating me, too. They were just saying run, and I was like, run where? A new game has been installed. Uh... What is this? What's all this? What is this? Whose room is this? Oh my god, they got a fucking triple monitor set up! Jesus! And they got like a... They don't need to get, get a couch or anything. They can just stack up the bags of trash for it. They got like a, a bean bag. Trash bean bag. What is this? Five? Oh, there's numbers. Do you have to collect them? Guys, I'm getting kind of scared. <laughs> Four, five... Pringle? E? What does E do? But this is hard to control. E? E? Can you get out? Maybe check the entrance? What is this? I'm looking forward to it. Is there no escape? I don't like the music. What's up the, the window? What's up with this window? Oh, seven? Oh my god, look, my my VTuber avatar is like looking around too. Okay, I'm gonna try to E. E? Oh, wait! It's like a... We gotta put in the code. Okay, what number is it? It was five, four, seven? Do you think there's a fourth number? 
You want us to backseat? Yes, please, as much as possible. I get too scared. It makes it difficult. Wait, I think each color corresponds to the, the color of the number. The four I remember was... was green. Green four, red five, I think the seven was blue. We just need to find... What numbers have we found? So... This is so difficult to control, holy shit. Never mind, this game fucking sucks. Okay, the five was red. Green four. Blue seven. So we just need orange. Do you think it's like on the ceiling? Ceiling cat is watching you. Three. 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 Oh, thank you, Avery. Mm. Three. Yeah, maybe if I open one of these trash bags. Oh, God. Guess I'll try to put in the code. Wait. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So the order is five. Five, seven, then something, and then four. Because it's like red, blue, orange, green. Well, I don't know what the orange is. Five, seven, three, four. Is it three? Five, seven, three, four. Five. How do I enter? How do... How do enter? E? Five, seven, three. I'm doing it. I'm actually playing a game successfully. Cleared. I do. Wait. What? Huh? Nice face. A well proportioned. I like it. I came to see. I like it. So white. What? What do you mean by that? What the fuck? Too cute, kawaii, gorgeous, so white. Your face is nice, lol. What? What do you mean, face? <laughs> white woman jump scare. No. This game is already too scary. That's my literally like, worst fear when I'm streaming. No, 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 no. Who's an unknown? Keep streaming the games I sent. I Otherwise, the bad things is. happen. Nina used to literally do face streams all the time. <laughs> it was missing one of those comments. Guys, you haven't seen my fucking like secret archive of every time. Every one of the five times she streamed ten years ago and showed her face. Blocked. Get wrecked, kiddo. Fuck out of here. I got I a message to my roommate about my meat stew. My face got exposed during the stream. I also got a strange message from someone. What should I do? I'm scared. <laughs> Please message back. Everyone's gonna know that I'm white. Oh god, thank god. Wait. That's not good, I'm sorry, but I'm at work and can't talk right now. Can we meet tomorrow? I'll hear you out in person tomorrow. Don't overthink and it. And for the yeah, next thanks. time you do face reveal, the chat says a thousand versions of so white. <laughs> so white. <laughs> so bad, Omega oh Log. <laughs> so fucking white. <laughs> Honestly, she is way cuter than her VTuber avatar. I like her little sweatshirt. Is she not wearing any pants? Can't wait to hear Senra Nina go to the bathroom and accidentally leave her microphone on. Maybe I can catch a little in the background. Maybe I can clip the audio and enhance it, enhance the waveform to hear every little bit of it when her when her butt hits the seat. Get me out of here. Get me out. Get me out. 
computer in hands. No. The worst part of this game is when you're like out walking around outside. Wait, why am I like stuck? Is she just checking? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I can't stop looking at her toes. Her feet look kind of dirty. I'm always watching over you. No. No. At 53.25, you can hear the moment Nina takes a dump. You can hear a little bit of a poo-poo in the bowl. You can hear a little bit of a reverberation of her f farty butt. Did she fall asleep at her desk eating... Wait, did she install an antivirus? <laughs> oh shit. Trash pickup day? Damn, this girl is so organized. Antivirus. It's like a, a little mantis. Manti. Mantis virus. No current threats. There's no use blocking me. Just listen to what I say. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Put a little stick bug in my computer. Shit. I guess I'll go take care of the trash. <laughs> Thank God the the lights are on. No, no, no. Damn Nina, you frying chicken in there? <laughs> God damn, your pissing isn't the same since you become a VTuber. <laughs> I like the way Senma Nina's pee pee sounded before she became too popular. She let it get to her head. Pee pee just doesn't sound the same anymore. Wait, does that say gamer trash? Oh, it says <laughs> gather trash. Wait, what? What is? Huh? Huh? How do? How do click? I mean, my game of trash. Is it from this side? Oh, oh, this is the thermostat. Forty C. Isn't that pretty hot? That's like ninety degrees, isn't it? Turn on the fucking air. Ah. Uh, oh, damn. She lives like in the city, city. Uh, Kokokara Hajimaru. Mm. There's another one up there. Nice the place you got here. Be a shame if somebody broke into it and killed you. I wanna make Nina scale. Okay, here we go. This is her bathroom trash. There's probably like wadded up toilet paper that has like poo poo on it. No trash in here? Good. Where else she got trash? You got trash in here? She's so tidy. She's got like alarms for everything. She's got like a schedule. Even with alarms and a schedule, she had that mishap with her, her face showing it's over. Don't fucking tell me. Is there gonna be a part where I have to hide in this closet and I just hear someone walking around outside about to stab me? Oh, it's the water temp. Oh! Oh, yeah! Doesn't that say... Isn't that bath... bathtub? I don't... I can't read a lot of clumsy. Can you, like, preheat your bathtub water in Japan? When are you gonna hide in your closet, midstream? I stream from inside the closet. I like the darkness, it comforts me. Where's the where's the fucking trash? In here? Oh. Ha Oh that's right, in Japan they have like a separate they have a fucking uh toilet separate. That's right, that's right. That's right, that's right. Wait, and this is her bedroom? What's this? Storage? Oh god. T sh shots. T shots. T shots. Where I keep all my T shots. Oh god, this closet is scary. Gimme out, gimme out, gimme out, gimme out. 
This is where you get clean. Holy shit, this is nice. Bro! Get like a whole big ass soaking tub and the shower right here. Is this so you can like shower off before you get in the tub? Wait, shit. Damn, that's nice. You don't have to worry about splashing around in the bath either because like the whole floor is just shower. Japanese people, they get bathrooms right. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I'm sorry if that's a hot take. Oh god, my reflection is scary. Oh god. I think it's nice that they have the, the poo poo room separate. You ever like take a shit before you take a shower and then you just have like the poop smell in the shower and it gets like amplified by the, the hot water? Just like the steam? I used to hate when I lived with my parents and my brother. My brother would take like the most like nuclear shits. And we only had one bathroom we had to share with like a shower. So my brother would be in there for like 30 fucking minutes taking the worst possible shit a human being could expel from their body. And I'd have to go in there and like shower because like I need to get like ready for school. And I couldn't waste any fucking time. And the shit stench would just like waft and mingle with the, the shower steam. And I would never feel clean. First time joining a stream and this is the conversation I jump into. Classic. Uh, it's not normally like this, I promise. Where else does she have trash? How many fucking trash bins do you have, lady? Is there one in here? That I'm not noticing? Do you have something in her drawer? I think you got it all? Yeah, do I have to click this now? E? It's not letting me. It's not letting me get the gamer trash. Any shit in your fridge? Her fridge is empty. I guess she doesn't have a roommate. I guess she just lives alone. Maybe it's like her neighbor who comes by and like, like a neighbor friend gives her food. About this bin. Nothing on the balcony. She has to get in the can too. Asuka is her friend. Yeah, it's a friend, right? Patio view. <laughs> Wait, is this a shared balcony? Oh no! I would hate that. I like to go out onto the balcony and like bask a bit and think about stuff. I would feel so awkward if I like went out there and there's just like someone sitting in their like lawn chair. You'd have to like talk to them. I think you got softbox somehow. Did I? I'm like clicking on it and it's not working. Say it isn't so. Please. Is there anything in the microwave? Hit tab for inventory. Oh. Oh! Sally, I'm dumb. Holy shit, that's a big trash bag. Can I even lift this? I'm just a swimmer. Okay, off we go to the trash pickup area. Do I have to sort all the like recyclables and stuff? You just had to click on yourself. Ah, what a nice day. Wait, what happened here? Are they renovating this place? There's like tarps down. Hey, I guess I'll just, uh, make sure that's locked. Wonder what kind of neighbors she has. Maybe some weird people. Toss it over the balcony? I could kill someone. It's a liability. Okay, here's the elevator. Every time I get into the elevator, or like any elevator, anywhere... I always have that split second thought like this could be the time the elevator breaks and just drops me and I plummet like 10 fucking stories to my death. Uh, clothes? I wanna go to floor one. Ah! 
Jesus. Or this could be the time I get stuck in the... Oh, hello there. Uh, you going up? Uh, sir? Oh, sorry. Was I in the way? Looks like a package delivery. Oh, fuck yeah. This is that boss coffee. Chief coffee. Pippi C. Pippi C. GG Lemon. White. Woman. Mokari Sweat. Oh, do they have strawberry milk? I wanna drink that and shit myself instantly. Alright, no more dilly dallying. We have to take care of this trash. I have to stream today! My viewers are gonna be very upset with me. Why did he just walk so fast? Maybe that's how Amazon delivers so fast. Okay, here's the... I think this is a delivery truck. Oh, hello there, sir. Are you collecting leaves with the grill tongs? What are you doing? Well, I'm here. I got my twash. Is this a police officer? Is this what being a VTuber feels like? For me, I think I go outside way less than this. I'm resting the leaves. <laughs> Freeze! It's right to remain silent. Shit. Who's this guy? A nice, nice day we're having, huh? You look pretty happy. Oh god. Whoa! Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll hold it open for you. Yeah, just taking out the trash. Uh, pretty chilly today, huh? I preheated my bathtub. I'm gonna take a nice soak. Yeah, you enjoy that shit. Enjoy it. Why am I creeping on him? He was creeping on me. He was breathing heavily. Probably because he saw a girl. Is that a female girl? Ooh, I wonder what's down here. She's not used to being outside and like interacting with people in the real world, okay? She's an internet content creator. Oh. Wait, I have a... Would you rather... Scenario for you guys. Would you rather... A... You cannot enter any bathroom... Without your phone signal being jammed. You cannot use your phone. Any bathroom. Doesn't matter if it's like a porta potty public bathroom, your bathroom... Your friend's bathroom. Anytime you go into the bathroom, your phone ceases to work. It just doesn't work. Can't use it. Or B. Anytime you're eating anything, TV and YouTube doesn't doesn't work at all. Like it just like does not play. It senses that you're pu currently putting food in your mouth, and the TV and YouTube just doesn't work. Would you rather do A or B? A. Hey, easy. But what if you gotta take a poop and you need to like read something? Alright, I guess I'll go back up to my apartment. What floor was I on? Floor 8? Jeez, I'm up high. She almost has a penthouse. Oh, I have a new message. Oh, it's from Asuka. I'm almost there. I'll go to your entrance to wait in the house. Is Asuka a girl? The icon is like a flower, so it's probably a girl. Yeah, bro, what if you need to shower and you want to like listen to music or like a uh, YouTube video? Oh! What was that? God, it got so dark already. Open up the blinds, bro. You need to get some sunlight, some vitamin D. You're gonna get depressed. This apartment? Reminds me of my apartment in Seattle, just how fucking dim everything is. It was depressing as fuck. I guess, we'll, I guess I'll just wait for Asuka. Oh, is she here? I'm here! Oh my god, my friend Asuka! We are gonna have so much to talk about. Oh my goodness. Oh uh, shit. Uh, I guess I'll look in the little peephole. Isn't Seattle very scenic when it doesn't rain? 
Oh, it's my friend. She looks so nice. Nice little sweater. Is it like chilly outside? Everyone's all bundled up. Oh, should I let her in? Should I trust her? Oh, oh god. She looks like a mom. Is she my mom friend who's always like checking up on me? I'm here. You okay? Did you sleep at all? You don't look too good. We'll talk later. It's probably better for us to see the sun right now. Yeah, I agree. Get out and stretch your legs. Why doesn't she blink? <laughs> Ooh. Is that behind me? Wait! Is this the same? This reminds me of the other game where you're like the... The coffee store person who has the stalker. Do these games all take place in the same universe? They got like a serious, creepy stalker problem going on. Look at all these like VR chat avatars. Suki Tsukimi roast coffee! Italian roast. Dodo Brothers. Whoa. I'll take the house blend. The stall blend. Wait a minute, that's the... The Niji Sanji. What is this? Mono image? Who's that? Hojicha. Hojicha is pretty nice. White mocha. Matcha. Really go for a nice matcha right now. Devil blend. Jung jungle blend. Oh, spicy blend. Oh. Oh, are these all like people who supported the game? This is Selen Tatsuki from Niji Sanji. Hey guys, it's me, Selen. You guys want to play some Apex? Whoa, this food looks so good. Was that a Belgian waffle? A little strawberry roll cake? What are these things? They look like churros. That are like rounded up. Dunkachino. Oh, and these are little breakfast sandwiches. We got subs. Ooh, I'm hungry. Wait a minute, I'm kind of hungry. What do you want, Asuka? Well, oh, she's on that phone. She's looking at the menu on her phone. Maybe she's got some good deals. Hello, this up. I'll be happy to take your order. Oh shit, this is the hardest choice ever. Hot coffee is good on like a nice cold day. Maybe, maybe it is pretty chilly out. Maybe a hot coffee would hit the spot. Do we get hot coffee or iced? Iced coffee will make her shit her pants. Let's get hot coffee. Hot coffee. What's up, y'all? <gasps> I want food. I want to look at your food menu, please. A matcha cake, please. Please grab your order from the counter on the right. Finished ordering? I'm still debating what to order. Oh, Asuka, you're always so... It's always, you're always so choosy. You're always so picky. It takes so fucking long every time you go to the coffee store. I hate you. Could you hang, on, hang around a little bit until I decide? Fine. Fucking bitch. Whoa! It's a foreigner! He looks like the bald and bankrupt guy. Oh no, I don't want to go near him. Who are these guys? Whoa! Is she wearing a tuxedo? Are these like famous people? Who hey, what's up? It's been a while. How have you been? Been since high school graduation, right? How are things going? Been a long time. Too bad we couldn't go to the same college. <laughs> we were always together in our high school days. Time really flies. Lately, I've been trying my best to learn from my seniors at work. How about you, Mayumi? Yeah, work's been fine for me as well. Actually, I've been eyeing someone. He's my colleague. He's both handsome and hardworking. Stupid slut. Stupid fucking bitch. He said he liked skinny girls. Oh, really? Time to go on a fucking diet then. You're eating all that? I'm in the mood for sweets. Mayumi is kind of based. Um, well, I'm seeing that you're trying to convince the guy to like the real you. 
Not really. I do want to be his ideal woman. Then you should stop. That's different from this. It's not different. You're gonna gain weight. Why is Mari being like this? Is she jealous? It'll be fine. A bite or two won't make me fat. That's true. Hey, you're already fat and I can't stand you gaining even more. <laughs> Got like a little custard, strawberry roll cake, and like a, a sandal. Marius is jealous. Why is she dressed like a butler from one of those old, like, bro? She looks like the butler from the fucking uh, Laura Croft tomb, tomb Raider game where he like follows you around and it's really creepy. God damn it, you're still deciding, aren't you? Okay, let's go talk to Bald and Bankrupt. Excuse me, young lady. Good evening. I would like to ask you a quick question. Is that person over there your friend? Uh, kind of? Japanese people sure love being ambiguous, don't they? I don't think of it as a bad thing, however. Just be careful who you speak to. I'm currently observing that person sitting over there. I can't help but find him suspicious. No matter how safe Japan may be. Not everyone is in the right mind, so we must not let our guard down. I have a feeling we will meet again. Until then, take care. Do you think he's like an undercover cop? He's eyeing this guy over here. What's this guy up to? Just drinking a coffee? He's just like holding the coffee even though he's sitting at a table. Kind of weird, but... Maybe he is harmless. What the fuck? There's little pussies over here having a meeting. What are you up to, sir? Erm... Um, Hasaku-san. Where have you gone? You haven't finished teaching me yet. I can't go on without you, Hasaku-san. There's still so much to learn. Why? I have to go grab my order. Oh shit, my matcha cake and my hot coffee is ready! Let's fucking go! That looks so good. What happened to his friend, Hasaku-san? Alright, Asuka, what did you get? You got the strawberry cake? Good choice, bro. That's why that's why we're besties, you know? Even though sometimes I think about killing you at night. You said your face got exposed during a stream? What happened? My avatar was removed before I knew it. How is it even possible? Have you checked for viruses? I did and found nothing. Is that so? Is it possible that your PC got hacked? Do you remember what you did during your stream? I don't want to remember that stream. That was such a bad stream, man. That's the kind of stream I would do, and then I'd go, like, I'd immediately go just, like, lay in bed and just think about my decisions. That game was awful. I played a game a viewer sent to me. That has to be it. Oh, bro, the game, like, hacked my computer and turned my webcam on. They may be your fans, but you don't know who they are at the end of the day. You can't open random files like that. Don't play that game anymore, yeah? I want to stop, but... He's kind of threatening me. <laughs> Is that a problem? I received a threat message after ending the stream. Told me to keep playing the game. So that's what you meant by a strange message. Wait, who is that? Why is he looking over here? No, please don't sit near me. The fuck? He got a matcha cake too. That's terrifying. Ignoring it might make things worse. If the game itself seems okay, it might be better to continue streaming it. Right. In hindsight, isn't making your streamer name Senra Nina taken by your real name, Nina? A bit too stri- Whoa, Jesus! She doesn't know the first thing about hiding her personal information. Sorry, I know it's too late. That was all I could come up with at the time? Bro, just use like a fucking name generator. Either way, you won't be in that much trouble just because some fans saw your face, right? What's the worst that could happen? Your house has auto-locked doors too, so security seems great. Don't think too much about it. I guess so. Well, it's probably... Oh my god, what? That's... That's our VTuber model. 
Is he a VOD watcher? He's catching up on the VOD, maybe. Maybe he was at work during the stream. Bro, don't watch that one. It was it was balls. There's no use overthinking what's already happened, right? Oh, by the way, didn't you say you broke up with your boyfriend? Oh no! Dude, God, keep your voice down, bro. Why did you? Sorry if I'm being insensitive. We just weren't a good match. Oh, okay. I see. Shit happens, right? Well, if there's ever anything else, you can let me know. Why did she say that so loud? Well then, shall we get going? Huh? What's wrong? Behind you. The guy in the weird raincoat. Raincoat guy. What happened? Don't scare me like that. I'm getting the creeps. Let's go home. Maybe he's just a VOD watcher. Yeah. I think this is a good place to stop. It was great talking to you. Call me again anytime, okay? See you later then. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't she spend the night? Please be careful. Oh no. I don't want to go back to my dark apartment, guys. It's too real. Oh fuck, I have to put in the security code. Yeah, does she even care? I mean, I guess she has her own life. She's pretty busy, I guess. If I die, my blood will be on her hands. She will have survivor's guilt. I will forever change the trajectory of her life. Ah! Jesus Christ! You motherfucker, why did you run so fast? Uh... You can off at this stop too? Uh, you good? Good to see ya. Maybe it's like a Uber Eats delivery. Okay, which one was my apartment? This this one? It's a beautiful night in the city. It's a good night for uh another good stream. Where's my apartment? Is it this one? Okay. can't be late. I'm gonna let all my viewers down. She's got such a nice little... I love her little headphone holder. That's sweet. No wire, too. Bro, everything is wireless. So clean. Her cable management is actually superb. You love to see it. Why isn't she live? Oh, no. I'm gonna open up my stream and just see everyone. Oh. System is locked. Please launch virtual me. Okay. Oh god. Transform! <laughs> it's me! Sid Ranina! I'm just a little gamer girl. Okay, now we open the game. No. Okay. Hey Maybe everybody, she broke up with her stream. boyfriend because he didn't use her VTuber name when streaming and instead just made a nickname from your first name, Sodaing. <laughs> Do you think that's what? And then and then she killed him. Uh hey everybody! Uh welcome in! I'm gonna continue yesterday's game today! It's just me, your old pal Semranina! I'm supposed to help a lady not get caught by the police! Okay. Since you're saving her, maybe she's a princess? Nice atmosphere. And thank you, Ridadaru. You're not going to show your face today? Oh my god, bro. Oh, Jesus. Wait, is this just like a day to day life as like a creepy stalker simulator? Oh no, I can't, can't let the police see me. This is just like Metal Gear Solid. Good luck. Thank you. I love Nina. Uh. Dude, now what do I do? Her chat is so slow. Wait, is this the lady? Do I have to like escort her? Oh! Oh, what? Oh, what? 
I can't read that Tedder's name. Do you help this person? Yeah, I think so. Oh! Pretty cute. Jeez, Joji, you need to go outside. It kind of looks like a ghost. Yeah, why doesn't she have eyes? How do I open the... E? 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 Hello, Mr. Police? Maybe there's a lever somewhere. Yeah, this is kind of reminding me of Perfect Blue. In that movie, didn't the like creepy stalker make like a site, like a blog? Of like all her life updates! <laughs> next, next. Oh fuck. Don't mind. Thank you, Yome. You're always so supportive when I'm struggling in games. I appreciate it. Not like the rest of these people in chat. Just hounding me. <sighs> Sometimes I just don't want to get out of bed. Hate playing video games. I hate it. Where's the fucking button? The music reminds me of the Max Payne 1 dream sequence. Let's kind of have that. Oh, here it is. That PS2 kind of feel. Maybe PS1. Maybe you're supposed to lower it. Uh, you think, Ninjin? I mean, uh, thank you, Ninjin. That looks relevant. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Whoa. What's going to happen? What does that name say? Kichi... Kichi something? <gasps> okay. What about... What's this? There's an arrow that points up. Is that a woman? Where is the woman? I think the woman is back here. A lady? A woman's toilet? Lol? Maybe you bring them... Oh! She's scared of the dark and the police and needs me to help her get to the bathroom. Yeah, we have to bring her to the bathroom. I feel like a knight in shining armor. I'll protect her. Oh god, why is the police officer moonwalking? Don't worry, lady. Lady in white. I'll protect you. What the... What was that noise? Okay, follow me. The bathroom is just over here, okay? Oh, no, no, lady, come back, come back, come back! Okay, hold on, I have to check to make sure the, the, the coast is clear. Okay, this way, lady. Wait, that's a dead end. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. The controls are so hard. This game sucks! <laughs> I mean, it's a really good game. I, I love it. Come on, come on, get to the bathroom. Come on. <laughs> Nina to play Five Nights at Freddy's. We cleared it. Seems like this is the end of this stage. I enjoy the depth of the game systems compared to the last one. Well then, we've cleared the mission, so we will end the stream for today. Wait, really? We only streamed for like 20 minutes. Oh, shit, alright. Damn, she had like over a thousand viewers too. No raid? Yeah, short stream. I'm exhausted? Bro, you play the game for like 20 minutes and then you just ended. I should take a bath? Yeah, she's blowing up, bro. Maybe... Maybe it's good content. Being really terrified. And being forced to play a game every day. Oh, I gotta preheat my bathtub. What is Oi Daki? Oi Daki? Did you see it? See what? Well, while the bath is filling up, I guess I'll watch some TV. <laughs> Oh. 
Is the bath ready? I like this channel. Damn, a 20 minute stream? You would have think she went to a zoo or something. <laughs> Don't remind me, you know. Hey, that stream was like an hour. What kind of flower is that? Oh, is this about the language of flowers? Uropozu. The language of flowers. Panas. Oh, wait, I gotta take a bath. I gotta close the blinds. I don't want any people looking in. Okay, this is the... Remove your clothes? Oh, God, that's so fucking terrifying. Oh. Oh. God. This is too close to home. I don't want to look at myself in the mirror. Oh, okay, she's wearing a towel. Thank God. Wait, what's wrong with her chest? No offense. She's got, like, a, a bowl cut. Wait, does she have a bald spot? <gasps> Alright, I guess I'll shower off before I hop in the tub. Mmm, <laughs> I love having a nice, relaxing soak. Wait, is she not gonna rinse off before getting in? Bro, you're nasty. Nasty ass. Wait, is the door open? Oh. This is a nice little tub. It's so deep. Yeah, I'm soaking all my stress away. Mm, I wonder what I could do for stream tomorrow. Why is that door closed? I wonder what I could do for stream tomorrow. Maybe I'll do a fun challenge game. Get me out. How do I get out of the tub? Get me out of the tub. How do I get... Oh, Yidaki, how do I get out of the, the... How do I get out of the Ofuro? Get me out of the Ofuro! I'm tub stuck! Oh. Okay. Am I clean? She didn't even, like, scrub or anything. Oh, well, I guess I'll... Dry my clothes. What the fuck? I was so scared I couldn't sleep well. Aw, that was a psychic phenomenon yesterday, right? I don't think I have spiritual senses. Should I ask someone? No, bro, you probably do have, like, psychic powers. You can see spirits. What the fuck is this? It looks like a newspaper. I'm Miyamoto, the manager of the condominium. Please get in touch with me at any time if there are any problems. I'm worried about yesterday. Should I call the manager? What are they gonna do? Wait, what the fuck? Is my train clock going off again already? I feel like I went into like a time warp. I'm Miyamoto, the building manager of Chilla's residence. I have a question. My bathtub was yelling at me. Could you please tell me your room number at room 705? You must be Miss Nina. What can I do for you today? I would like to know the history of this room. Oh no, does she think it's haunted? History? Are you asking if your room is a, uh, um, stigmatized property? Like somebody, like, killed themselves in here? Or something like that? No, nothing of that sort has happened before. If there was, we are obligated to notify you before you move in. So there's no need to worry. Oh, okay. But if something unusual happens, it could just be your imagination. Either way, it probably has nothing to do with the apartment itself. But if something does happen, it will be... Downright chilling. Let's say, for example, you get into a, uh, stalker incident. We can provide a consultation on such matters. So if anything else comes up again, please feel free to contact us. Now, if you'll excuse me. It was him. He did it. How did- 
How does he know? Yasu's getting really paranoid. Oh, was it the VOD Watcher? Oh, what's in this cupboard? How come she just has like no fucking food or anything in her house? Does she even really live here? It's sad. Fuck, oh, man. I don't want to stream. I'm being stalked. I hate it. I don't want to play this stalker's stupid game. It sucks. The puzzles are annoying. Okay, I'll use the PC. Fine. She just gets door dash. Okay, that's fair. Hmm. Okay, time to boot up my cute little VTuber avatar. <laughs> Just seeing her smile makes everything better. Wait, why is her, like, neck broken? Aww. It kind of looks like she's, like, topless. Why is that? Oh, God. This game. I'm going to continue yesterday's game today. How about today? Are you showing your face? Face reveal? You got a face? Uh, Ayo? Hufufui? I want to see your face. Is this a convenience store? It looks like it. Seems similar to yesterday. Alright, let's see what we have to do. Uh, face? Are you gonna turn your camera on? Oh my god. Do I have to escort the lady through the convenience store? Where is she? There she is! I found Reiko. Is that her name? Bro, look at her. She's fucking blowing up. Almost 2k viewers. Jesus Christ. She looks kind of different now. That's the same name as my friend. Ah, Reiko is the name. Reiko is the name. I wonder why she calls her Reiko. Oh god, look out. Please. Ah! I didn't mean to walk into him. Clean up on aisle three. Just have to find the lever to let the lady out of the cage. The lady in white. God, here he comes. He's moonwalking lit. Okay. Fuck, it's so dark. Bro, what lighting engine did he use for this game? You know what? I'll say it. This stalker guy, he has like a promising... Oh, here it is. Promising career as a game developer. Why doesn't he like put more energy into making video games instead of stalking girls on the internet? I think he can make a pretty good... Uh, make some good money off of it. Did you enjoy your bath yesterday? How does he know? Yeah, I, lo I lowered the lever. I'm, I'm just trying to find the lady so I can escort her. But where are we... Where are we escorting her to? We have to find the destination. Is it the bathroom again? <laughs> ah! You stalker! <gasps> I hate you! Big spooky. I'm actually so pissed. <laughs> if I ever saw a grocery store giving off these kind of murder vibes, no thank you. Yeah, if I went into this grocery store, I would probably turn 360 degrees and walk away. Ugh. Do I bring her into the darkness, maybe? You have to take the woman to the door? Oh, thank you, uh... Wait, what does that say? Ame... Does that say Ame? No so safe way. <laughs> Not so safe way. <laughs> This isn't Whole Foods, this is Half Foods. Is it this door? Guys, do you know? Is it this one, this one, this one? This one, this one, this one? Rain light. Yeah, it's like a... a Kari or something. It's like Raito. Raito-kun from Death Note. Lower the lever, open the gate, and take the woman to the door. Okay. 
Hey, Waco, are you ready to go to the dole? I came to help. Oh, thank you, kind chatter. Reiko says thank you. Reiko is my best friend. I'll protect her from all evil. Okay, which way do we go? Oh shit, I'm a little- There's a seal. The TV turned on on its own. Is it broken? Maybe my room is cursed. <laughs> Maybe it's haunted. <laughs> As if. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> Just a little prank. Here's the door. Come on. Come on, Reiko. This is thrilling. Oh, we cleared it again. Thanks, guys, for all the, the help in the chat. Are you hungry? Wait, there's someone in here called Nyanya. I saw a clip of Anya watching like something. It was like a fan made video that had like me in it, and she said, Nyanya's chan. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> she just went like, Nyanya's chan. <laughs> it was so adorable. Oh man. <laughs> Who's hungry? Oh, my tummy's starting to get a little rumbly, guys. Perfect timing, so let's finish for today. That doesn't sound like a hunger gurgle. That sounds like something else, Nina. I'll be back tomorrow, so please come check it out. I'll be live at uh, 7.30 again. See you guys then. I gotta shit. I gotta take a big shit. I'm so hungry. I'm going to die? Was there something in the frizz? Uh, no. Pretty sure last time I checked, there is absolutely nothing. Why is the remote on the floor? Nothing in here. Nothing? Of course. What should I do? Uher eats? I think we should. Should we go to the convenience store? I mean, we could pick up some more stuff than just like Uber Eats, right? Maybe get something for tomorrow. Get some lunch. Uher eats. I have to go to the convenience store. She should get up and walk around a little bit, get some fresh air. It'll do her good. She seems to live, live a very sedentary lifestyle. I love her desktop wallpaper. Very nice color coordination. Okay. Hopefully... Oh, what the fuck? Mm. Huh? Is that just like a thing that doors do in Japan? Just, just puts flowers through the hole? What the fuck? Yeah, that was sweet. Oh wait, someone's out here smoking. Just chilling. Hey bro, what's up? I'm being stalked right now. I'm afraid for my life. You just thinking about life? Probably just got off work. He looks like a salary guy. He looks like celery man. You enjoying the night view too? Oh, he is stanced. Got a hand in the pocket. Yeah. Oh, that's the building manager. Oh, shit. You're Miss Nina, is that correct? Uh, who? It's Miyamoto, your building manager. Um, uh, excuse me, do you... Do you live alone? It's dangerous for a girl to live alone. Ugh. What about a boyfriend? Why, why are you asking that? No, no one at the moment. At the moment, huh? Somehow I get the feeling you were with someone until recently. What? What a waste. Why did you break up? Was he a bad person? Was there that bad of a reason? Uh... Oh, pardon me. 
I'm being too nosy, aren't I? Well then, I'm the manager here. If anything happens in this building, you know who to call. Sure. I'll I'll call you and uh give you all kinds of personal information. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe it's just a red herring. Maybe he is just a weird old guy. There's, there's weird old Japanese guys. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh boy, my tummy is so hungry. Can't wait to go to the combini. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Why does it have to be night time? That was a lady? Wait, that, the building lit manager is a lady? Oh. I couldn't tell. Maybe the stalker is a lady. Stalker could be a lady too. Ladies can be creepy too. Women can manage property. Yeah, when they play Monopoly. God, is that the store? Shit, I don't want to jaywalk. Okay, let's cross the street properly. Look both ways. Oh god, a bus! Okay. Wait, do I need to press the crosswalk button? Oh, bing bong! Yay, I can safely walk. Oh, Jesus, man! Can't you see the fucking light? Damn, nice car. What truck is this? Fucking walk in here! Ding dong! Damn, son. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I only came to buy din din. Only din din. I'm starving today, so one is probably not enough. On days like this, I have to buy alcohol and drinks. No, bro, don't drink alone. That's so sad. Oh, what kind of cereal is this? Like Cheerios? Got potato chips. Chunky. Chunky almonds. Chunky. Mmm. Curry noodles. And they got. Is that sour cream and onion flavor? Sour cream and onion. I thought they didn't have that kind of flavor outside of America. Where's that ranch? Wingos. Zen. Zenbu no oishi asameshi. Breakfast. Good breakfast. Butter cookies. High quality butter cookies. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Tamanegi cookie? Ew! <laughs> Are these wasabi flavored chips? Oh fuck. I'm actually getting hungry looking at this. Oh, xylitol, my favorite. What the fuck is that? Can I just get anything? I wanna get cigarettes. Oh, and they got magazine. They got manga! They have love, Nina! What kind of mangas they got? You motherfucker! My fucking heart rate monitor is not functioning.
Is he okay? Oh my fucking... I have my fucking streamer Elgato light thing just started flickering. Oh my god. Pick up some milk. <laughs> I'll get a big milky. Oh god, fuck you, fuck you. Not the fucking Samsung thing. This is Michigan spaghetti? simulator is too real, bro. <laughs> yeah, you can hear all the, the wildlife. What is this? Egg? Wait a second. Ethel isn't at home. Yet. Remember, he's not home. Bye. That's right. He said he needed to go to the gym. What the fuck? Beth, Beth Zero. Namahi. Yanisu. Yuhi. Is this beer? Oh, Chuha. I've heard of those. Aren't they like super strong? <laughs> He's just checking out the, the magazines. Wait, I, I know this VTuber. Their name is Tamaki, right? Inu, Inuyama Tamaki. I think. Who is this? Pretty nice selection of magazines you got here. You like? You like what you see? Oh, Jesus, bro. Oh, God. Alright. I'm gonna get my dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna get my milk. Oh, fuck yeah, I get to choose. Okay, should we get the curry? Just the regular cup noodle? Wait, what is this? She... She call? Taru? I don't know what that means. What that means? Seafood? Ugh. No, thank you. I want the curry. Oh, fuck yeah. Anything else? What is that? Whoa! You are fucking unpredictable and fucking disturbing. Oh. Yeah, I gotta get some beer. Get one of these. I guess the, the ramen went into my inventory. I wish I could do that in real life. Normally you just gotta... Oh my god. Shove it up your butt. That's the guy. That's the guy that was at the fucking coffee shop. Oh, there you go. A nice, reasonable old man. Uh, just, uh, some noodles and this, uh, beer. I think is it for me. Wait, how do I check out? How do I... How do I check out? Do I have to show my ID? What's the legal drinking age in Japan? Isn't it, like, 20? Oh, my God. I want... <gasps> Can I get a rice ball and a sandwich? Oh my god, these look so good. Why can't convenience stores in America be like this? Oh. Cow piss. Cow piss or a green tea or a cola? Or just a water? Ugh, I don't want water. I'll take a, a fresh cola. Oh my god. I want one of these. Oh, there's a nice businessman here. Okay, I have everything now. Ice cream. I want some. <laughs> this is too real. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. I kind of want something sweet. Where's the ice cream at? Over here? Oh, what flavor should we get? Mmm. Can you tell what flavor it is? Cup of cream. I want a little cup of cream. I think this is strawberry. A little cream cup. <laughs> so good. Alright, I got my cream cup. After eating ice cream, I'm going to want something salt. <laughs> oh my god, no! This is the woman struggle. <laughs> this is my lived experience. Why are they doing this to me? I don't like this game. Oh fuck! What kind of chips? Wait, do is I that want? the music in the convenience store? Tempura? Really has that murder is definitely going to happen vibe. I 
swear to God, if they kill me before I can eat my fucking my little girl dinner and my snack, I'm gonna be so pissed. What are these? Potet chip soup. Does that say? Does that say subarashi? That's the wasabi. I kind of want to try the wasabi, but the tempura flavor it looks good. Tempura aji. I'll take this. Okay, I think that's it. Just one last thing. What do you need? Looks good. Whoa. Cookies. Really, these little salty straw things. I don't really like these. They're just kind of meh. Oh my god, this is making me hungry. Just one more thing. I want Pocky! I want Pookie. I want to eat Pookie and read my manga's sticks. <laughs> Bitch, go buy yourself your sticks. I want Chalky. I'm going to get Chalky. This is what I want. Hmm, sticks. Alright, sir, sorry. Just wanted a few things. <laughs> Wait. I need tampons. Today is dinner. Thank you so much. Uh, have a nice night. I wonder where the creepy magazine guy went. Wait, what are these? Vitamins? She needs some vitamins. She needs something in her life. Oh! God! Oh, it's... Was this her ex-boyfriend? Been a while. He's a mouth breather. Please don't run. I have something important speaking, to tell you. But if, let's say, I was your little parasocial chatter. <laughs> and hypothetical speaking, when I had been a bit naughty, how would you? My favorite streamer naughty. teach me my little lesson. I don't... I don't like that hypothetical Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, if I captured you and lock you inside a shipping container... What is it, Rikia? Stop. You're blocking me, aren't you? That's why I came to talk to you directly. Your friend is acting suspiciously. No! I don't want to hear it! Come on, don't say that. Hear me out. Hey, you there. What are you doing? I have evidence. Evidence of what? Send me a message? Bro, I want to go eat my dinner. Oh, Jesus. What? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Japan is kind of weird. They have vending machines where you can buy underwear. <laughs> Welcome to my show, Weird Japan. Today we're gonna talk about all the top 10 things that are weird in Japan. They like Hello Kitty a lot. What's up with that? Someone's following me. The most sane juicer. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm just gonna walk. They walk when I walk. Oh Jesus. Who doesn't like Hello Kitty? I feel like Hello Kitty is a little too big for your britches. I will be just a little bit real. You can tell that she knows that she's cute and it's a little too much. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Bro, I miss when everyone was just like making cartoon characters have sexual intercourse with each other in the TTS messages. What is that noise? Am I being followed? Oh my god, I have to get back to my apartment. Walk towards him? What if he just fucking kills me? The dogs are howling tonight. Something is being carried <laughs> Get over here. No, not the demon voice guy in Degas. Oh, he's running away. Yeah, run away, you little pussy bitch. Maybe he wanted my ice cream cup. He wanted a little piece of her cream cup. I swear I've heard that stock oh, door Spongy noise Boy, before. Hello? 
Oh? Oh, B-O-I. That hits the spot. Yay. Yay. Oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> the worst is when people do, like, a character, like, a cartoon voice, and then put in the sound effect of, like, the, the zipping noise, and then do the, like, the slapping sounds. <laughs> like, Spongebob going, like, Oh! 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 Yeah, the slow clapping. Oh! Ah! Maybe, okay, maybe he just didn't want to have to wait for the, uh... He didn't want to have to wait for the elevator. Uh, you gonna... You going? Uh, going down? Alright. I'll see ya. I'm just gonna go back into my apartment. Where I live alone. I'm gonna eat my dinner alone. In my dark apartment. <laughs> I'm just another... another night in my dark, dusty apartment where I live alone and I can't talk to anyone. I'm being followed. I'm really creeped out. I'm scared. He found my home. What should I do? Please respond. What the fuck is her friend doing? Can't her friend just, like, come spend the night or something? Oh, thank God. Are you home now? Did you lock the doors? Uh... Mm, yes? It's an auto-lock. So it's locked. Should I call the police? It may be better to remember them for now without much evidence. I doubt the police would do anything. Even if they come, you might provoke the guy, so it's dangerous. Yeah, but it might be better to at least consult the police. It's better to go to the police box directly tomorrow while it's bright. Jesus, they're texting fast. Jesus! Oh my god, what is the fucking WPM with just their fingers? Don't stress too much. Be careful. Message me again. Okay, I understand. Thanks. Thanks. Probably the same guy that sent the weird message. Yeah, okay, I'll go to the... Maybe, maybe it's just like a scam call center. Are there others you can trust? Is it okay to rely on just one person? If it were me, I'd get more allies. Well, you're fine on your own because no matter what you do, you're all mine. Oh, God. Should I unblock Rikia? Yeah. Is this really okay? Yeah. Wait, what if it's him? What do I do? God. <laughs> Wait, what if it's the what if it's the what if it's the girl? Keep blocked. Check people. Keep his ass blocked. On uh, second thought, I don't know. I kind of want to hear him out. What was he, what was he talking about at the store? About like the evidence. He didn't do anything. I'll try... Okay, unblock. Is this really okay? No fucking chance? Fuck that guy? Well, I don't know what he did. Let's start over. What? No, bro. Nina, have some self-respect. What do you mean my friend is suspicious? Are you talking about Asuka? I just want to sit down and eat my little cheeky girl dinner. You unblocked me. Thank you. What now? This Why is are you afraid, boy? As well? You clearly unready to take up the task of being of tuber, boy. Of tuber. You are clearly too weak to rip the very heart out of a bad chatter. I think Kratos would be the cutest VTuber. He'd have a really cute VTuber model. And his Ara Ara would be the most kawaii. Wait, wait, wait. Recent- wait, 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 Your face got exposed during a stream. How did you know? I was watching- Fuck, it's so hard to read it while it's still being sent. Wait, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? Now that that's out of the way, 
Let's talk about how much better the two-time back-to-back -back would handle these spooky, scary stalkers with the correct action and kung fu grip of a champion. <laughs> Wait, do you think there's more than one stalker? Maybe it's like... Oh god, they're all in on it. I gotta search Asuka for wiretaps. Fuck, okay. Okay, they're done sending it. Well, even if I didn't watch the stream, the story was spreading everywhere, so I probably would have found out. Were you hacked? I'm not sure. I ran... Blah, blah, blah. What does that have to do with Asuka? I think Asuka-san has something to do with this whole thing. Take a look at this. What is that? I just happened to see her talking to a suspicious guy today? I also don't want to believe it. No way your best friend is. But if I see something like this... Besides, Asuka-san is the only one that can enter your house freely, right? I can't help but find her suspicious. I know it's tough for you, but think about it. What is this guy talking about? She brought me a Niku, uh, stew. She brought me a beefy stew before with lots of peptides in it. Is he gaslighting me? I don't know who to trust. I have no choice. I have to block her? What? No. What? I, maybe just talk to her first? No, bro. What are you doing? Oh, God. What about the building manager? Bro, he took a picture of her just like talking to someone. Oh. What now? Hi, boy Oas. It's me again, your boy Kronos. Kronos. Don't forget to smash that like button, destroy the follow button, and obliterate your enemies in the comments. Era, era. Era, era. Wow, Kratos Chan is so sugoi. Aroa ro koi di suo. I love Kratos' jiggle physics. What the fuck is happening to her VTuber avatar? What's happening? Is any of this real? What's going on? So pitiful? Abandoned by your best friend? Forever alone? Just like me? I'm here alone, living in darkness. You see me, we're the same. No one will come and save you. We are not allowed to... to be with another human being? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is my VTuber model haunted? My whole, my whole rig is fucked. How am I gonna stream? How am I gonna go online and say Ara Ara? I hate this. Did I make the wrong choice? No. No, 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 no. Wait, why is there no people? Or I can't see it. Did I... I can look through the window. <gasps> No. No, 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 no. What do I do? Oh my god. I should be sleeping here. I should be sleeping here, right? Wait. Oh, that. Wait, that's me! Are they gonna backseat me being fucking murdered? No, oh, it's so fucking bad. Oh my god, oh, she ran into the wrong closet. Wasn't there a screwdriver somewhere? Uh. I don't remember. I don't know. It's dark. No help! <laughs> I get fucking stabbed and someone's just like so bad on my glow. Skill issue. They're coming. Oh my god! There's a screwdriver. Where is it? As we all know, all Niners rigs are haunted. <laughs> as long as I'm controlling them, yeah. I'm here. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop! Wait, I don't know where the screwdriver is. I'm scared to open the door. This is my bedroom. There, there wouldn't be a fucking... <gasps> there wouldn't be a screwdriver in the bedroom. I mean, I don't know what she's like into. Not in the bathroom. Fuck. The other closet? Yeah, that one right there. Wait, no, that's the poo-poo closet. The fucking other closet. This one? I'm 
scared. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. I don't know what to do. On the desk. Oh, yeah. The big closet behind the desk. How do I get there? He's right there. <laughs> Are you sure someone broke into your apartment or oh, is it no, an no, earthquake? No, 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 no. Please try, please try, please try. Please. Let me just, uh... My favorite room in the house is the poo pool closet. <laughs> I like to go in there... ...and have a little think while I make a little stink. Oh my god. I was literally just staring at him as he was walking towards me in slow motion. I'm not here, I'm not here. <sighs> Should I go? Out the front door, and then like... Wait, how would I get back in? Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them now. If I can just escape out the window. Where is he? I'm so scared to open this fucking door. He's going in there. I can't run. Oh god. In here? Exactly like, oh my god, it's too dark in my closet. I don't know. I have the screwdriver now. What I know what I must do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Oh god, he's right there. Oh, oh, fuck. oh fuck. Can I, can I like pull back the hood and be like, oh my god, it was the mayor? But then he has like another mask on underneath and I pull that mask off. What do you do after you kill someone? I guess I'll just go to the police box. Oh my god. Bag him. I died from that? That was just a little poke. Oh, it was just a bad dream. Yeah, that was Asuka. Asuka, my dick. A dream? Thank God. She that was scary. In. I slept so long, but I still feel so tired. Oh, right. I have to go to the police. It's already evening. I was planning on staying awake until morning. I have to go consult about the stalker. I have to go before it gets too dark. I'm so tired. I hate my life. But at least it's nice and bright out. They got like... Like little... Like boxes around in Japan where police just hang out and you can go and talk to them there. There's like a litter box. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Nothing scary happens during the daytime, so it's probably fine. What the fuck? That's a white van. Oh, what the bug? What the hell? It's a nice kawaii morning. Most crime happens early morning? Why is that? Is it because everyone's asleep? Quiet. 
Uh, hello? They're probably not even gonna believe me. They're gonna think I'm a crazy woman. Hey there, is something the matter? I wanted to ask about something. Is that so? Then let's go somewhere we can talk, shall we? So, not at the police box? No, no. You'd feel more nervous talking in the station, right? We get people like that often. Don't, don't assume things like that. Go to a park? What? No, bro, this guy just bought a police officer uniform from somewhere. He's gonna kill me. I understand. You may have been hacked. On top of that, you're also being stalked. A hacker and a stalker. They're probably the same person. But sadly, without any evidence, there isn't much we can do. Oh, thanks, bro. If you ever experience being stalked again, please get in touch with me directly. It would take too long if you called the police. I'm always near this police station. I should be able to be there straight away. I'll give you my phone number. Please give me a call. Anytime. I'll be extra careful when I patrol around here. Please do not fear. Good luck with your work. I'm rooting for you. Gee. Thanks. to walk all the way to the fucking park, too. What a blue ball's waste of time. Yeah, that, that helped a lot. Thank you so much, Mr. Police Officer. Is this really okay? I'm worried. Bro. I feel like I shouldn't have blocked one of my only friends. Do you think if you... Keep the guy blocked, the person that shows up at the door to stab you is, is him instead of her. I don't know who to trust. I'm still scared, call Asuka. Yes! Yes! Call her, bro! You're just paranoid. She's so nice, she took you to the cafe and you got a matcha cake and a little strawberry cake together. It was cute. Damn, the cops not believing women? Days. I thought this was supposed to be a fake story. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a little too true to life. I know I'm being selfish, but can you calm? I'm really scared. I want you by my side. It's almost time for me to start streaming, though. Oh, no. If she doesn't stream, she will literally die. That's too real. <laughs> I wonder if I still have some food left. Bro, she ate all of that last night. She was on a bender. Oh, Suka messaged me. Well, it wasn't being marked as red because I was blocked. Don't worry about it at all. I got off work earlier today and I'm close by. I'll be right there. She's so understanding. A little too understanding. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I mean, look at that Asuka. fridge. She might actually die if she doesn't stream. <laughs> she means the money. 20 minutes later? It oh. Did I pass out on the toilet? Oh, shit. What kind of settings you got on this thing? Oh, nice. Bro, this kind of looks like my toilet. Two... Two rolls of toilet paper? Double stocked? I don't know if you can even have a setup like that. Oh shit, I hope that's her. Whoa, Neoners, I'm pretty sure you Neoners. killed most of those people on account of you being a socially awkward eldritch terror. Look at you. I bet you put human souls in your eggs for breakfast, Neon. Well, actually, I can't, I can't do that anymore because the doctor says my cholesterol is too high. So I put the human souls inside of my, uh, my breakfast biscuit instead. It's Asuka. She looks so kindly. Yeah, does she have a knife? <laughs> ah! Mmm! Oh god, she has a... Does she have a handbag or is that her bra strap? I can't tell. I'm glad I could come right away. Are you okay? Were you stalked again? No, that's not it. I just feel very uneasy. I see. Did you talk to the police? I did. I hope they would really do something. They're not gonna do anything, bro. Let's be real. I'm really sorry I blocked you. You don't need to worry about that. I understand things are wrong. Bitch. Oh god. I understand things are rough. I'm glad you're still relying on me like this. I was shown a photo of you with that man. A photo with that man? Oh! 
Are you talking about the time a strange guy spoke to me nearby? I knew something was up, so he was the stalker you keep mentioning. Yikes. <laughs> he came up to me out of nowhere and was like, Um. He's the one who approached me, but he didn't say anything. That's the same guy! When I tried to leave, he would just he would stop me and he wouldn't say a single word. I thought maybe he was lost or something, so I waited, but nothing, and he just walked away. So someone had been taking pictures. I'm sorry I suspected you. See? I knew it! It's alright. Don't worry about it. Anyone would be skeptical if they were showing something like that. So what should I do? I mean, she was just talking to him. Bro, in what reality would your friend be like, Bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay some random guy to, to stalk my friend. I think it'd be a pretty epic prank. You just want me to be here? Yes, please! Alrighty, I really want you to take a break, but that's not possible, is it? It might be a time to consider moving. Yo! Yeah, maybe. She's such a mom friend. You wanna watch the, the show about the the language of flowers or the, the seal show? The language of flowers one is my favorite. Wait, bro, are you just gonna sit here while I stream? That's so awkward. I can't do that. I get performance anxiety. Oh, man. I can't even stream with my door open because I get, like, shy. Like, if, if someone, like, comes up behind me while I'm, like, streaming... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. She's gonna think I'm cringe. She's gonna hear me doing my VTuber voice and everything. And saying, ara ara. Oh god, yes. now what's she doing? Bro, maybe she can make me food. And I could stream for like 10 hours. Okay, load up virtual me. Transform. Don't look at this, Asuka. Don't, don't, no, don't come in here. Hey, sorry to bother. Wait, is she whispering? It's not a bad time, is it? I checked the fridge, but there is nothing to eat. I'll grab something from the convenience store real quick. No, bro, please. Stay, 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 stay. No, it'll be all right. It's very close. I mean, um, but still. I'll be back in a jiffy. Actually, it's called Giffy. I will be right back. Yeah, bro, get ooh her heats. Get ooh her, he ooh her heats. Oh my god, she's leaving. I'm fucked. Me and my decrepit little witch hands are so fucked. Okay, I guess I'll load up the game of today. Hey everybody, welcome into the stream. We're gonna continue yesterday's game today. Hey, Cheetan. Looking forward to it? Me too. I'm so excited to play. This looks real, Leopold. Yeah, the graphics are so... They're insane. I know this place. What does that say? Something Kikun? Popopo, will Reiko be there today? Oh, I hope so. I wonder what kind of game it will be today. Rita Daru says, hopefully you can clear it today. Me too. This game actually kind of sucks. Wait, this is... The convenience store. You'll get fat if you only eat konbini food? That's not true! I, I walk to the convenience store and it burns the calories. Oh fuck, do I have to find Reiko? Wait, this is just like a one-to-one -one model of... Where... Where I live. That's cool. Wasn't there like... What streamer was like playing Roblox and someone made his entire like mansion in Roblox and it was really creepy? <laughs> Like, completely, it's a scale. That happened? Yeah, apparently. Oh my god, the viewers are dropping. I have to- I have to do something funny. Fuck! Oh, go this way. I don't see the police officer anywhere. Wait. Do I just go to my apartment? Oh, Jesus, wait. Don't tell me. This place is... Wait, she just figured it out now? Oh, God. There's no hope for this girl. Ninjin says maybe she knows that place. Uh, yeah. I think I saw it in a movie. Oh, fuck. P. 
Tokyo V, you're playing Dio Gessa and you get like the suite you live on and you have to play it off like you've never seen it before. I wonder where you're headed. I don't know, Yome, but I'm a little bit scared to find out. I'm getting a wee bit sheepish right now. Oh boy! This looks just like my apartment! That's cool! Ria says, is something there? Yachan says, is this horror? Mira says, this room is big. It's pretty, it's pretty mid-sized. What the fuck? That's me at my desk. That's what I look like sitting at my desk right now. Uh... I feel a bit sick today, so I'll be ending the stream early! <laughs> Do you have a stomachache? Yeah, a really bad one. I'm probably gonna be sick for a long time. Sorry, everybody. When the fuck is her friend gonna get back from the store? Come back. No. What is this video file? What did I miss? Turn around behind you? Wait, where? Ah! What the fuck are these noises? Is that is that her in the fucking bathtub? Ah! There was an arm with a camera. I think he took a video of her taking a shit. This is t terrifying. I have to I have to contact someone. Oh god, I don't know who to call! The building manager? Do you think the, the building manager isn't sus, right? But Asuka, she's at the... She's at the convenience store. She's picking me up my girl dinner in my little cream cup. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Can the police even do anything? I mean, that counts as evidence, doesn't it? They were in my home! They recorded the- they recorded everything! Call the police. Should I call the police? For Asuka Trust? Oh, man. I'm gonna get Asuka killed. And I won't be able to eat anything. Fuck, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, girl. You're not gonna believe this. Oh, Jesus. Oh god. Why isn't she picking up Asuka's ringtone? I think it's coming from the- <gasps> The balcony?! Where is she? <gasps> oh my god! Go next door? Yeah. Did she forget her phone? <gasps> why would Asuka's phone be here? Wait, why would it be out on the fucking balcony? Was she like out here smoking? Wait. Did she get kidnapped into the next apartment? <gasps> it's the fucking guy's room with the- He's got the multi- The triple monitor set up! Oh shit, what kind of snacks we got here? Oh fuck. It's the video I saw. He lives next door. <gasps> Is that all me? Ah, she's on the toilet! Oh my god. No. Oh. Can we actually kill him with a screwdriver? Oh my god, where is she? Where is Asuka? Why in the bathroom? <gasps> no! She's tied up in there! Oh my god, bro, are you okay? It's April trying to find evidence of me shitting. <laughs> what is this place? It's the room next door. The balcony was open. But I'm glad you're okay, Nina. Anyway, don't worry about me. Go to the police now. It's too dangerous to stay here. Quickly, before he sees you. Wait, what? No, bro, you gotta get out of here. <gasps> Lope, 
Bro, this is exactly like a fucking nightmare I would have. Where I'm like trying to call the police, but my phone's low battery. Bro, what do I do? What the fuck? I can imagine the Japanese light novel title now. I am a VTuber and my next door neighbor is my stalker. Oh god, no. I'm a VTuber and my next door neighbor is my stalker, but also my child who got reincarnated. Okay, let's do this one more time. No spoilers, no spoilers. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he's gonna kill her. Fuck. What do I do? I gotta go to the balcony and... But we're, we're so high up. <gasps> <laughs> Bro, that face looks like the exact face that I see anytime on my I'm on my fucking phone and the screen goes black and I just see my fucking reflection staring back at me, my sad fucking twisted expression. <laughs> oh shit. I couldn't tell how close he was. Okay, I'll wait more next time. I'll wait for him to go down the hallway again. He does kind of look like a titan. Okay. Okay. Wait for him to shit? Okay. I'm gonna take pictures of him shitting, see how he likes it. So the stalker becomes the stalked. Revenge shit photography. I'll make a whole art installation out of it. Fuck, I'm scared to open the door. What the fuck? Okay, I can't hear him breathing anymore. I hope he stops breathing. Is that the balcony up ahead? Bro, he's just standing there. I can't go out the front door. Do I just wait? Behind. He'll hear me. Oh my god. Yeah, is there a crowd? See? Oh, there is a crowd. Oh, the open window. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta go get the screwdriver. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Give me, give me the fuck out of here. Oh, jeez. What? What the fuck? There's two stalkers? Fucking way, bro. Oh my god. Okay, I just gotta get down there. Oh Jesus Christ. I can run now, holy fuck. Oh, no, 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 please. If there's a fucking elevator jump scare, I swear to God. No, 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 please, 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 please. Down, 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 down. How many, how many fucking suckers could there be? <gasps> you. What's wrong? Why are you in such a hurry? It's not good for a girl to walk alone at night like this. But let's go back to your room, all right? Aw, uh, should I talk to her? Ignore don't trust her. Yeah, I don't know. She's probably giving them information. But my shit schedule. Oh god. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, what the fuck? Wait, that's a police officer. Something happened. It's dangerous for a young lady to be walking alone at night. I'll hear you out. I don't know. I don't know who to trust. Is he. How does he know? I'm fucking running. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Not this fucking music! No 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 no! Please please please! What? I got to the police! I got to the fucking police box! Okay, okay. Please start from uh, from here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here! Okay, so that police guy is definitely uh, a little bit suspicious, right? You're all in on it, bro. It's like a fucking... It's probably like an episode of the Truman Show for them. They're making content out of me being stalked. Be some pretty good content. Oh, God. Yeah, it's for a YouTube prank. Oh god, oh no, 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 no. I... Uh, I can't talk right now. I'm sorry. I, uh... My microphone just broke. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh fuck. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh Jesus, why is he run so fast? He's like that fucking cop from that one video where he's... He's like, I'm gonna get him. And he just runs really fast. Oh Jesus. They were all in on it! Yeah, it's like a fucking Truman show episode. パートの白田詐欺容疑者実行役の無職悪臭今日は容疑者の4名と見られていました警察の調べでは被害者が悪臭容疑者に対して付きまとい屋盗撮ストーカー行為とか悪臭容疑者に対し被害者が悪臭容
No, no, she wouldn't. I made her the Niku Jaga. Oh, wait, that looks like there's like noodles in there. I'm repaying her kindness when she brought me the Niku Jaga earlier. There you go. I poisoned it. Looks delicious. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I just thought the last time I made you this dish feels like a distant past. Those guys. Looks like they got caught. I'm so glad. But who would have thought that they were all in on it? Nina, the things you had to go through. If only I'd noticed how serious it was. Something like this wouldn't have happened. That's not true. Asuka, you're the reason I'm here now. Thanks for putting it that way. Ugh. You should move out already. Yeah. Be careful not to repeat the same thing. Yeah. Of course. Which reminds me. Um, uh, what was it? I heard the developer released a new game. Didn't you mention that the game was too difficult for you? I, I heard the developer released a new game. What was it called again? The convenience store? Oh! That's the... That's the game by the developer of this game. I hear it's not as tricky as Akamanto. It's a Japanese style horror game and I hear it's easy on casual players like you. Oh, come on. She just called me a casual. My own friend called me a noob. Hashtag ad too. Meat and potato? I got the true ending. I'm a filthy casual. I can't even play it. Simple game. Is this the first game of this series that has like a credit song? It feels so simple, even a VTuber could beat it. That was a pretty spooky game. I got, I got a few chills up my spine. What's your chills counter at? I got a solid, I'll read it. Ah, uh, scary meter? Five out of ten? But overall, game meter? Solid. 7.5 out of 10. I feel like there needed to be more build up. My favorite part was how they had Iron units in this game. Yeah. Me, me taking a shit. That's any key to skip. Okay, Sally. Shit. That was pretty... That was pretty scary. How are you guys feeling? Do you feel like you're not alone in your room right now? Do you feel downright chilling? Are you downright chilling right now? Do you feel alone in the darkness? Song skipper? I'm sorry. I'm impatient, okay? I want to play another scary game. Your lights are on, turn them off. There will be no lights on, or giggling, or smiling. Are you ready? Behind you? Oh my god, I hate that the fucking desk setup is like exactly the same. I hate that there's a closet behind me now. I don't, I don't like it. No, it's like, bro, my closet is like cracked open too. I can like look into the darkness. I hate it. I could cover that shit up. Is there a screwdriver in there? No. <laughs> if Ava was in there, I think I'd feel safe. Okay, I guess we'll play the... What's the other one? Night security? More like knife security. Is that one spooky? Wanna watch the bad ending too? Oh, do they have like... Uh, ending compilation on YouTube? Where is social band ending? All endings till this art parasocial. Parasocial. Dangerous stalker game. Okay, hold on. Let me... quit out of this real quick. Okay, this is the... All the endings from the game we just played. I kind of want to see what the, the worst ending is. I'm curious. What is the highest that you guys saw my heart rate get to? I feel like I'm like, I'm too chilled out. I need to drink some gamer stuff or something. What the fuck? Like 72? <laughs> I think I saw it go up to like 80. 
Yeah, my when my heart rate gets high, it's like 80 or 90. That's like a high heart rate for me. I don't know. I don't know what's up with me. I just have... My heart rate's just always so chill. Okay, all endings chills are parasocial. Oh my. Do you know who's in your closet now? <laughs> uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, the boogeyman? The booby man? Oh. Wait, is this from the dream sequence? The boog booger man. He's gonna pick his boogers and force me to eat them. I had a nightmare about that once, and whenever I think about it, I gag. But not in, like, the... the good way, like... Oh my god, that was so iconic, I gagged a little bit. Like, when people on Twitter say that. Like, I just retch, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. What the fuck? Oh shit, you can see, like, the... the Rikia guy. I'm glad Rikia came. Afterward, the police officer who consulted me informed me the stalker had been caught. The man was a fan of Senra Nina. What? Wait, so in this ending... They don't actually get caught? They just make you think it was someone else and just go on doing the same shit? Oh, and she dates her stalker! No... Would you describe yourself as a game freak? I'm a freaky gamer. He staged it. He staged it so he could be the hero and swoop in. Oh my god. I wanna go pick some flowers? Was it him who put the flowers in the door? Wait, so... Do you think he was just like staging this whole thing to like freak her out and then make her like fall back into his arms as like, oh, like, oh my hero, you saved me, so that she would go out with him again? What the fuck? Poor Asuka. Bea said that the boyfriend staging the stalker shows that he really loves her. I mean, Bro, if you think about it, think about all the the expenses that went into that. He got his entire family involved in it. He went out of his way. He he rented an entire fucking apartment. Well, I guess he probably didn't have to pay for it because his mom is the building manager. But he set up a whole like like fake stalking scenario. Just just to prove just to prove something to her. Think about all the effort that went into that. Maybe near two years will pass where he will convince her he is not a foot guy, but he was lying. <laughs> she was walking around with those stinkers out. Those little piggies. Can you blame him? Wait, that's him. Handing an envelope to the, the other stalker guy. This is some X-Files shit. Quentin Tarantino, more like Quentin Terratino. Oh, what happens if you talk to this police guy? Stop right there, criminal scum. This music is so creepy. Uh, wait, is this the... This is the good end, isn't it? Okay, we'll skip. We will skip. Wait, that's all? Okay, so there's the... The ending where... The, the boyfriend gets away with it and then this ending where they all get caught? The other endings are just you being caught. Oh! Okay. Yeah, what if you talk to the... The crooked cop? I don't see that in here anywhere. Or what if you like talk to the building manager lady? What happens? Do they try to kill you? Oh. Just fucking kill you? God, these <laughs> character models are always so fucking creepy. 
I hate it and I love it. Look at this guy. Did he get like buccal fat removal done? Jesus. Where's his doctor? I want to hit him up. This guy looks really smooth, very egg-like. Oh, and this is the mom. <laughs> it looks like he doesn't have any teeth. Yeah, he's got that. The Riz face. Yeah. Okay, let's boot up the, the next game. Next game on the menu, Night Security. I hope this one is even more scary. I hope this one actually gives me a heart attack. I hope I end up in the hospital after playing this. Have you ever played Welcome to the Game? No, what's that? Welcome to the Game? Are you sure you can't... Wait, have I played this before? Have I played this before? I don't remember playing this at all. I literally bought this today. Why does it say my current save data will be deleted? I played Night Delivery, I played the, uh, fuck, what was the other one? The convenience store, and then the one with, the uh, the coffee. Yeah, I can't continue. I guess I'll just go in the game. Wait, why does it say it'll delete your save data? I don't have any save data to delete. Oh, shit. Do I have children? There's a phonograph! It's a very rainy day. Is this also in Japan? It's October 22nd. Oh wait, whose birthday is it? October 23rd? Escape. Happy birthday! Is this in the same apartment complex? Oh, the kitchen looks so similar. Oh, it's a little happy family. Maybe the mom is dead. Oh, a birthday cake. Oh, Tanjobi, oh my ditto. Looks like they're turning seven. I remember when I turned seven. I remember when the world was a lot more simple. Oh, God. Wait, I want to see what kind of bathtub they got. It's probably so big. Big old family tub. And they got the poopoo closet too. Wait, is that his wife? Am I a guy? Wait, does he have night shift? He should kiss his wife goodbye before he goes to work. Who's that? Wonder where his children are sleeping. I see them. Night night. Here, I'll close your door. Wouldn't it piss you off whenever like your mom or someone would come into your room and you'd be like, Can you shut the door? And every time they'd either just like not do it. Or do the thing where they just like leave it ajar so that it's like not actually closed. There's like a foot of space between the door and the frame. I want to play with the big Lego balls. What Lego blocks? Okay, time to eat my shitty dinner and go to my night shift job and lose my fucking mind. Anyone else fucking hate parents and homework? Do you turn a door into a jar? Maybe you should go to trade school and find out. God damn, the rain is loud. Wait, can you turn it down? Yes, I can turn it down. Thank you. No problem. Wait. <laughs> this menu is fucked up! What is- what is that? Oh, uh, Return. Return. Uh, hi. Uh, back? What the fuck? 
What does that say? Mouse zero wa ni des sorry demo shimasu ka? Wakarimasen! I'm clicking you and it's not doing anything! It like opened up the controls. How did it do that? General W A S D Okay. Do I have to like press the key to set it? I'll set it to Z. Okay. I I can't I can't make it less loud! Shit! The only the thing about these games is that they're like They're developed by just like one person, right? They're very, very indie. They're very, very, very indie. Shit. I'm gonna catch cold. Wait, am I at work now? Am I going to work? Is this my work? Yeah, I feel like... Probably makes it a little clunky on purpose, just to add to the stressful atmosphere, I guess. They're like pretty weirdly optimized though. I remember when I didn't have this really nice iron side PC. They would run kind of chunkily. Oh god. Tank control is good for horror games. Yeah, and wasn't it able for... it was kind of... Help that first? It wasn't even for his not like tank to tank controls, but it was like kinda clunky to move around, but like on purpose to add to the the stress. Go, go in! You fuck! Go in the door! Why does it look like the texture isn't all that? Is this what it's like to have astigmatism? I don't have a stigma against anything. Wait. Did you see it? It went to, it went it went clicky mode. It went clicky mode for one second and now it's not clicky anymore. Did I Did I break the game? Larry. Nachos, just be like that. Oh shit. Okay, when it turns yellow, it means you can click, right? Why isn't it? It's not. It's not doing anything. What am I fighting for? He changed it to Z. Oh, is that what it was? Okay, I'll change it to E. E. Oh. Is that the action button? Oh god, this is so fuzzy. Is it because it's through the eyes of an older man? The surveillance room is on the right. Okay. I should check my job. Wait. Why did I change that to... To e. I'm actually stupid as fuck. I want it to be mouse zero. So I can just click. Okay. Resume. Welcome to my world of horror. Oh shit! He's got a radio playing some smooth fucking jazz. Do you think he pretends to be like a detective from like a noir movie? Security seems like it'd be pretty chill, but a little too spooky sometimes. Especially if you have the night shift. I had a friend who worked security at like a an old folks home. And they said that one time. They were just checking the grounds. They worked at night shift too. And they went into this like church on the property. 
Because it was like a whole like old folks, uh, what's it called? Not a resort, but what's the word for that? Like a retreat? Like a... An encampment? A community? Yeah. It was kind of, yeah, like a retirement community. Yeah. With like multiple like buildings and they had a church and they went out one night just checking the grounds with their flashlight. Went into this old church and shined their light and there's just like a really really old like like ancient looking woman just standing there in the dark just walking standing there not like sitting in any of the pews just standing there in the middle of the aisle in the church not saying anything just standing there and staring and they were just like oh do you want to go back to your room and i think she had like dementia or something and just didn't know where she was it, it was terrifying sounding yeah just standing there menacingly maybe it was a spirit check the fire alarms in the back of the rooms and lock the doors turn off the lights in the bathrooms if people are still present send them home okay what kind of place is this is this like a just an office building or is it like a the hands of the clock point to midnight. Fire alarms, lights, and people. Fire alarms, lights. I lost contact with Keigo Ochigi. He used to be a security guard for this building. He probably quit. I'm going to rely on you from now on. This com company apparently has a rule prohibiting any overtime work past midnight. Check the clock, surveillance monitor, and security details before make your rounds. Okay. Check this monitor. Looks like some people are still here. From now, I should go around and lock the doors starting from the first floor. Yeah, and check the fire alarms too. Yeah. And the bath. Oh, what the fuck was that? That sounded like a dog barking. What's your opinion about milk? I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm a little biased. I don't really like the aftertaste of uh, pure dairy milk, but I really do. I really do love oat milk. <laughs> I don't know why I phrased that like that. <laughs> oh gosh, I really do love oat milk. <laughs> I like oat milk and almond milk, okay? And we get this like fair life lactose free milk that's actually pretty busting. Pretty good. I, I really do love it. Wait, no, turn it back on. It's scary without the music. I gotta send these people home. Okay. Ah! I can't do any overtime past midnight. Alright, let's see. Is this a... What is this? Is this a fire alarm? I gotta check the bathrooms and turn off the lights. God, the echoing footsteps are spooky. Oh, shit. Hey, mister. Do you know what time it is? No more worky, it's time for you to go home. It's time for you to go home and get your head pats for doing a good job today. Oh, you're the new security guard. Is it time already? I guess I'll force the rest on my subordinates tomorrow? Baby. <laughs> See ya. Okay. <laughs> Bro, the rain sound at first sounded like a portal opening up and dark and darker. You know the sound when the portals drop and it's like... <sighs> Doesn't it sound like that? I don't want dark and darker on the brain, no. Who was that? Oh, look at these old ass computers. It sound like there's someone on the roof. I hate that. Is this what a Japanese office is like? Cause they just... They, they have like really outdated technology, right? Like... They probably still have this kind of monitor, don't they? Okay. What's in here? Oh, this is the bathroom? I wanna take a wee-wee. I wish I could see myself. Ooh. 
Lights out. Wait, is there someone in here? Excuse me, are you making boom boom in there? These stalls are so nice. I like America a lot, but what the fuck? I like living here, but the one thing about America that sucks the most above everything else, including taxes, is when you go to a public bathroom, they always have a big fucking gap in like the side of the stall door and the bottom. So you just be sitting there doing your, your stuff and someone walks by and you make eye contact with them in the most vulnerable part of your life. Why don't the lights turn off? Or maybe they did already and I'm just dumb. Oh fuck. My flashlight is just too bright. That's the best part. Does it make you feel more safe and secure to lock eyes with someone while... Like your mid chocolate snake coming out of your asshole? Okay, lights off. Nice. Anyone in here? You making a stinky in there? Okay, Mr. Japanese Salary Man, it's time for you to go home. Haven't finished patrolling yet? Yes, true. Time for you to go home and then wake up again in the full hours and go to work another day. Ooh, looks like a little meeting room. How cute. We all shit, so it's whatever. I mean, it is like a shared human experience, not for me, because I'm an intergalactic space creature. What was that? But... I don't know, it just feels so invasive. Wait, this is the same room, isn't it? Did I just leave the doors open? I'm sorry, yo, what? Somebody doesn't know the lore. <laughs> no abnormality. Oh god, I gotta check all of these. Fuck! Forgot! Don't you just feel like a deer caught in the headlights if you're like... You're mid shit, someone walks by, and then you just like look directly into your eyes. Looking directly into someone's eyes is already intimate enough and feels vulnerable already. But doing it while you're... Like doing the act that is like... Possibly the most vulnerable you could be. The most vulnerable state you could be in. That's why like a lot of animals... Like uh, say a cat. Cats like to like maintain eye contact with you while they're shitting just to make sure you're not doing anything suspicious because they, they feel like a predator is gonna jump up on them and they cover up their shit when they're done because they don't want anyone to find the evidence that they did it and find them and then kill them holy shit that's a healthy ass resting heart rate thank you I definitely didn't put on the heart rate monitor today because I wanted everyone to compliment my heart for being very healthy and very strong. I thought they did that because it's stinky. Yeah, because the predators, they can smell the shit smell. And they can see the shit sights. And using those two senses, they can track you down and kill you. That's why I don't shit. I don't trust anyone. Did I go into this bathroom already? I think I did. Ooh, a leash. I got heart. I got a big, strong heart. And it's pumping blood to my entire body right That's now. That's why you just don't look through while going doo-doo. It's like how if you ignore a phone call, it never happened and everything's okay. I don't know. Sometimes, like, when you're on the toilet, you space out. And then someone who is also in the bathroom with you is probably spaced out too, just walking by and just mindlessly... Am I gonna go down? Let's lock the room first. Okay. I gotta lock all the doors, don't I? You gotta focus when shedding. Oh, does holding E lock? Okay. 
Lock. Okay, that one is locked. Did I check this one? Okay, no abnormalities here. Lock this one. Nice. What is this? Oshirase. There's an Oshirase on the door. Yeah, I just started this game. What would your heart rate be at during mid defecation eye contact? Maybe we could do like a Mythbusters stream and we can test that out. You don't have to like show anything, so it's probably fine. Yeah, I think there's one more door to lock. I did it! I did my job! Wow! I'm gonna get a raise! I wonder, does your heart rate speed up or slow down when you're using the restroom? Definitely, like, it'll spike when you're walking there, but when you're, like, sitting down, just, like... I feel like it would slow down, wouldn't it? Because you're just, like, relaxing. Are you guys nervous when you shit and piss? You should be. Never know who's watching. Shit. when I don't? What's the longest time you guys have ever gone without shitting? For me, it's about over a thousand years. Twelve days? Did you have to go to the fucking hospital? Floor two, here we come. <laughs> Bro, did they have to like... Were you like Elvis? Did you have like a huge mass inside of your stomach? Okay, we're on floor two left now. I want to get a boss coffee. Mm. Doesn't it just get reabsorbed? I... I don't think so, no. Maybe some of it does? Oh, Jesus Christ. Why are you wearing shoes like that at work? It's past midnight. Little wage slave. What is it? Oh, are you perhaps? Hmm, you're cool. Let's exchange con- What? I can't leave unless you give me your contact information. I promise you won't regret it. Hee <laughs> hee, you better not ignore me. Goodbye. Ew. He has a wife and a kid! I'm going to follow her home and kill her. No abnormality here. Oh god, these cubicles. Oh look, they got like a hand-drawn picture of their cat. That's cute. I want to see what everyone's cubicle is like. You may be thinking of sperm. Which does get reabsorbed if you don't let it out. Yes, there's a big difference between that and feces. Although, both of them can sometimes come out of your bum. More you know. Look at all these stacks of paper. I think if you just hold in your shit for long enough, doesn't it just turn into like a rock? Don't do it, man. I have been there. Stupid fucking mistakes. <laughs> Don't do it. What do you mean you've been there? You, you have a wife and a kid and... You gave some random lady your phone number? Motherfucker. Imp 
impacted colon. What is like the worst case of impacted colon can you get? Was it Elvis or was there someone else in history that just like... Birth the geode. Oh uh, 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 shit, sorry Nirobar, I dropped uh, uh crap Nirobar. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Dagaz. Shit, hold on, let me reset my heart monitor. My... Did I get too much sweat on it, maybe? If you hold in your shit and get constipated for too long, you can suffer sepsis and die of toxic shock. Real. Please, everyone, take care of yourself. Don't get toxic shock syndrome. And don't get shaken baby syndrome. Believe me, you don't want that. Everyone, please shit. So what makes it more accurate? Yeah, does it, like, make the seal more... I'm, like... I'm feeling my heart rate through my wrist right now, and it does kind of feel, like... 60s. It, like, syncs up with the... the hand on my clock. Actually, it's a little bit slower. Die of toxic shock, more like toxic BB bells. BB bells. He turned a little friends then. Did the goth study abroad? I bet he has studied many broads in his life. This office looks so depressing. But they don't even have Pizza Friday. They should get some exercise balls for everyone to sit on. Maybe do some fun little team building exercises. Oh god. The ambient noise in this one is really good. In a bad way. Thank god offices aren't real. Yeah, this game is scary enough already. Like, nothing has happened. <laughs> <laughs> the scariest part is just walking around in this fucking depressing office. <laughs> Get me out! <laughs> no, let me out! <laughs> it's all a bad dream. <sighs> I'm so glad I play video games for a living. Oh god, I gotta turn the lights off in here. Oh, ah! oh the security guard! Can you please leave the lights on? I'll turn them off. I, I don't trust you. I'm gonna wait here until you're done. What are you doing in there? Should I open up the door? Will I get in trouble if I do that? Isn't that like sexual harassment? I'm about to doctor disrespect them. Come on. Fuck, I wish this was in America because then I could just like look through the gap in the door. Lock eyes with them. Just as they're pinching off a nice girthy log and hear it as it drops into the toilet. Maybe they make a little fart. It reverberates in the bowl. You can hear the plop as it falls into the water. Is this a double flusher? Or maybe just one will suffice. Maybe they'll leave a little little present behind. I don't trust them to turn off the lights. Gosh. These people. Bro, I just got here. You didn't miss much. I've just been doing my, my security job. How come some, some urinals are like this? They're like really, really tall. They're like elongated. But some are just like... They end like right here. Which urinal is easier to use? This kind or the one that, like, is more up? Oh, oh shit. Oh, is it for Fuck. shorter Fuck people? my bad, bro. Totally forgot to put my phone on silence during the movie. <laughs> now, when does the gay Not sex cool, happen? Not cool, bro. Not cool. I think the gay sex part is probably when... Whenever that guy finishes pooping in the toilet pretty soon. He, he's getting ready. Sometimes you just want to dip your wick. Sometimes you don't. What does that mean? If you got a long donger, the tall ones are better. 
Yeah, if I had to use a urinal, I'd definitely use one of these because I'm very tall and I would have a very long dong dongle. And I would probably piss on the floor a little bit on purpose. Because it's funny. Okay, lights off in that bathroom. If I was that guy and like a security guard came into the bathroom and turned off the lights while I was mid piss or shit. I feel like I wouldn't- I would be too embarrassed to say anything. I think I would just get locked in there for the night. I wouldn't want to reveal myself. I'd RP as the ghost. <laughs> yeah. I'd make them think there's a fucking toilet ghost. Ooh. I finished my work on floor two. Alrighty then. That guy better have turned off the lights or I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna hear it from my superiors. The sobbing in the toilet at night is just me. <laughs> yeah, that's just me after eating to poke. Right? You girls know the struggle. Oh. I think all urinals should have a mini game. So you have to uh, do like target practice. Oh, they should have like different like classic games built into them like Duck Hunt. I know like in Japan they got the the usual mini game toilets with like you aim at a target and blah blah blah. They should do like nostalgic gaming too, like Duck Hunt. You have to aim your piss at the ducks. Yeah! Or... Like a game like Quop, Where if you have like a nice healthy stream like aimed in the right place, it makes the guy run faster. Okay, floor three. Let's see what we have here. What is this room? I don't like it. I don't trust like that. I don't know if I want to watch whatever is on this TV. You're typing and you better be done by tomorrow. I'm watching VTubers. What is he saying? It's too fast. Oh no. Is there gonna be a disgruntled office worker? Is he the disgruntled worker? Okay, we gotta check this fire alarm right here. The ladder up here. Workplace bullying? Okay, no abnormality is there. Everything is in tip-top shape. Oh, a little drying race board. Cool. With the magnets on it. Very cute. Whoa. This is another like, like a meeting room. It looks like it's like a police station. Have you liked Chilla's art games so far? I really like all their games. I like the parasocial one was, it was pretty cool. Especially to see like, I don't know, something uh, pretty real subject matter be handled in that way. It was very spooky. But I feel like it needs a little more... A little more girth to it. A little more oomph. I wasn't as scared as I, I thought I was gonna be. Maybe it's because I'm already desensitized to it. This one seems pretty... Pretty scary so far. <coughs> Wait, is someone in here? Who's that? Who's that? Who was that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Okay, bye. Yeah, this one is pretty slow paced so far. It seems like there's a lot of build up. Like you get stuck in like a routine. 
I'm I'm waiting to see. I'm waiting to see what happens. Why did you turn the lights off? Didn't I ask you to leave them on? Wait, what? I thought that was on the other floor. Did they teleport? What's the the skip skibbity toilet? Oh, 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 oh. I hate skibbity toilet. I hate it. Yeah, maybe they didn't like that toilet and they wanted to go a floor up. Maybe they're like a cat. They like to be high up so they can survey their territory. Yay! I'm a good walker! Yeah, he's got to poop on every single floor to christen it. What? What's happening here? There's some kind of malfunction going on with the elevator. What? Did the power go out? Did the beat go off? I think every Chilla's art game has like a part where you're in an elevator and something fucked up happens. Malfunction? Oh no, my functor is malfunctioning. Okay, four four. I have the sound of a science now. What the fuck? Ah, oh, I think something's wrong with the planner. Somebody's pointing out pictures of Osama bin Laden for target practice again. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a lady? Ah, oh, I hate this blasted thing. It never fucking works when you want it to. Someone gonna be shitting in the bathroom again too? This floor? Let's see. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh hey, bro. Bro, I think you gotta go home, bro. It's like 1 a.m. It's you again. My boss wants me to finish this work by tomorrow morning. There's no way I can finish all this. I never thought being a working adult would be this tough. They even told me to clock out on time. You've gotta be kidding me. You're the only one who knows how hard I work over time every day. This guy's gonna snap. He's gonna snap and kill everybody. Seeing you boosts my mood because it means I can go home. So I guess I'm going home. See you tomorrow. Oh. Completely lifeless. He's gonna go home and eat a really crappy dinner that he heats up in the microwave. And then he's gonna go to bed and sleep for four hours and then go to work again. Yay! Yay! Alright, let me just check this fire alarm. Jeez, this place is a mess. Wow! No, I'm no matter with you. Someone's gotta fix this freaking fluorescent light over here. Got some rats chewing on the cables or something. Did you see that picture of the rat that- oh, Need to replace them? Oh, fuck yeah. What? what the fuck? Is that the shitter? I think that's the shitter. Person <laughs> light is about to- Okay, okay, yeah, I think there's more pressing matters we have to attend to. Where, where are the bulbs? Not in there, probably. Definitely not in there. Uh... Hold on, let me turn the lights off. I think I angered the toilet ghost. Uh... If I was a fluorescent light bulb, where would I go? I wonder. Holy fuck, have we really almost been streaming for five fucking hours already? Jump to a whopping 62. You scream like a girl? Shh the fuck up. 
fucking eye door. Fuck you. Wait, hold on. Let me... Let me try to recalibrate it. Actually, my heart rate doesn't even feel that strong in real life. So maybe it is accurate. Am I... Am I a vampire? I think I might be a vampire. Am I a vampire? I'm scared of vampires. Bro, I reset it. It's, I'm, it's 58. What if I... What if I just jump up and down a bit? Hold on. I'm boxing. I'm boxing. I'm shadow boxing. Bro, it is accurate. What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, I got it up to 95 by shadow boxing. I guess I'm just really healthy. <laughs> I guess I'm just really healthy and I have the best heart out of anyone here. Bet you guys are jealous. I bet you wish you had my kind of heart. How do I get a heart like Natasha Nyaner's? <laughs> I eat heart healthy cereals. I have a little oats bag that I wear on my face filled with heart healthy cereal. I eat Cheerios. Maybe some uh, Kellogg's freeze dried strawberries kind of stuff. I have lots of grains. I have lots of oats. Is the toilet bowl still there? Oh god, they're still there. Hi, how are you? I think I'm like almost dead. What, not drinking water does to a motherfucker? Yes. I finished two whole bottles of water. And guess what? I'm on, I'm halfway through my gamer subs bottle, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. How do you like them apples? You probably don't like them because you're, you're being a contrarian little pup. And you smell. Oh shit, I gotta turn my fucking light on. <laughs> I'll turn it on this time, not, not the ghost. Okay. I think that fixes it. God, that's way too bright. It is now nighttime in Los Angeles. And I'm starting to get a little bit freaked out. There. I think that's better. Okay, my model shouldn't be as laggy now that's, that the lighting is better. Speaking of lighting, I need to find a fluorescent light bulbs. Oh, here they are. Obtain the fluorescent bulb. Nice! Fluorescent bulb get. I'd be more afraid to be in LA than in this game. Yeah, the toilet goes in LA. There's just uh, a guy named Paul. Oh god! Yeah, am I doing too much work? I feel like this would be the janitor's job. Bro! What do you want? <laughs> oh god, that's so scary. <laughs> uh, this looks like a face I would see like at night when I leave the TV on and I wake up half asleep. Oh god, should I open the door? They're gone. Guess I'll turn off the light. Is anybody shitting in here? Last call for shitting? Heavy breathing call. <laughs> I'm going to record the heavy breathing sound and loop it for 24 hours. Dude be quiet while shitting. Dudes be like, I'm gonna take a shit and be real quiet about it. Cause real G's move in silence. Like lasagna. I did it! I 
did my job! Is it considered, like, not masculine if you're shitting to make noise? Isn't that, like, a thing for guys? Like, they don't like to, like, make noise while, like, exerting in any way. I feel like it's more manly to, like, yell while you're sh shitting. Well, like, if a guy is getting, like... Okay, imagine you go to the chiropractor as a guy. You're a guy? And you're getting some chiropractor work done. Would you feel like less masculine if the chiropractor like gave you a good pop? Like popped your back for you and you let out like a little like like a a groan or a, a murmur? It's a little dark on this floor. Let's go check the electrical room. Yeah, are the the lights out? Power went out. Only if it was not a high pitched moan. Like a. <laughs> Would you whinny like a little pony? Mm. Oh, here's the box. Fuse is missing. Someone was tampering with it. I scream loud when I shit the bed. I roll my eyes back when I shit. I put my hands up in the air sometimes, saying, Ayo. Regardless of gender, the most base shits are those hyper-pressurized aerosol-like spray water hose ruptures into a toilet. Hyper-pressurized aerosol-like spray water hose rupture... Ruptures and... In... Ruptures into a toilet. Pressurized shit? Wait. I gotta find why there's no power. Like it just sprays out? Yeah, are you on meth? Yeah, this lever won't budge. What's going on in here? Everyone That's is crazy. That's why whenever I use the public bathrooms, I scream as loud as I can. Hmm. Yeah, you have to ward off predators like, like that. Power watch simulator shit. You know what shit is righteous? When you're wiping it off your leg afterwards, how does it get on your leg? Do you do it standing up? Wait, it's locked? Oh god. Tend to be Goku and scream shitting? Yeah, pretend you have like an adversary in the bowl. Your shit beam has to like... Overpower you want to get your heart rate up, Nyan? Give Ethel control of your camera and he doesn't warn you when he turns it on. That sounds awful. That sounds like an actual nightmare. Oh, uh, I'm going to take a video of me, uh, washing my, my feet. Fuck, where's the, where's the fuse? I don't think you'd turn it on. It'd be like that part in the dark night where they're like on the boat and each person has like a little... a little thingamajig to press a button to explode the other boat. But it's just both of us with like a camera that turns on whenever we're taking a shit. I don't think either of us would press it. this hallway. What the f- Is this filled with water? Where is the red water coming from? Nathan would press his own button. He would. It's the red carpet. What's the occasion? Did they roll it out just for me? For little old me? I'm just a little kitty cat. What the fuck is this place? What is this? Why do they have this in a Japanese office building? Is this like the... The brainstorming room? 
Is this where they do the radio calisthenics? It's the blood of the working class. <laughs> this is where the government goes to feed. They all get little silly straws and they put it in and slurp it all up. This is where your tax money goes. What is this? Is this a dead end? It's getting so dark. The red liquid must flow. Mmm, yummy. Yummo. It's like strawberry milk. Shit, am I going in a circle? I can't tell. I'm getting scared. <laughs> Why did the, the ambient noise is getting so loud? It's like vibrating my ears. Don't look back. Okay. Wait. I've been here. This is that weird box that I saw and I was like, what the fuck is that? Right? I don't know if the fuse is in here. Have you seen that video of someone doing like cave diving? And the cave just looks like... Three different genitals at once. And it's just filled with like the most disgusting looking murky shitty water I've ever seen. You've worked night security, this is familiar. Yeah, you go through a a maze-like room with rusty walls and blood. I don't know man, it looked epic. It was actually a septic tank. Septic five? Fuck, I'm... Where am I? Get me out of here! Wait, this looks like a, a different corridor. Pretty much every building has something like this. Wait, what is this? It looks like a treasure box. Is this the... Is this the exit or the... I feel like I'm supposed to get something out of here, but... This is a sorority sewage system. Ew! Whoa! I feel like there'd be... Never mind. Where's the cum? <laughs> yeah, pretty heavy flow in these tunnels. These look like barrels that if you shot them, they would explode and like make everything go on fire. What's in there? I do not want to go in there. Literally just walk back where you came from. I know. Maybe instinctively, my brain just wants me to leave. Because it knows something is not white here. Something is a little strange about this place. You're the only person I've seen get lost at this part. Wait, really? So I'm like, unique? I'm just, uh, I'm prolonging the game for, uh, the content. Wait, this looks new. I don't think I've been through here yet. Should I just hog one of these walls? Yeah, I'm special. You think I have a very special swim? Wait. G -g 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 guys? Guys, which way should I go? <laughs> yeah, all the walls look exactly the same. You try to get out of a rusty wall, period blood maze. 
Then you'll know what I go through every every day of my fucking life. Take a walk on the wild side. Just go alongside one wall? This wall? Right here? Yeah, I need a spreadsheet. Okay, I'm following this wall. Okay. Okay. It's just cranberry juice. It's good for your kidneys. It'll give you good urinary tract health. You absorb all the toxins. Okay, I'm hugging the wall. Okay. Going this way. Okay. Why does the ambient noise get really loud sometimes? Why does it feel like there's someone behind me? Mmm, delicious beverage. Wait! I went around in a fucking circle! Look back? No, 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 no. Okay, pick the other wall. This wall then. This wall. This wall right here. Surely th this wall going this way it will be good. But this is a dead end, I think. Uh, me thinks I'm a little bit lost. Watch out. Watch out for what? I got my tetanus shot. I should be okay. Wait, I'll hug this wall. The wall just needs a little bit of a hug. It needs to be comforted. Okay. Okay. I hug. I hugged. Okay, that was like a dead end. So, do I go this way? I heard someone breathing. Stop. Stop breathing, please. This way? Past it? Wait, past it where? Where, where, where? Where, 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 where? This way? You have zero orientation sense? You try to have the orientation sense when you're in a fucking... Everything looks the same in here, no offense. You fall on the right side of the wall and eventually you should get out of the maze? Okay, I'm on the right wall. I went down here before! Remember? I went down here before and I hugged this wall and it just sent me in a fucking wild goose chase! It just sent me around in a fucking loop! You gotta swim in it? Okay. Can I skip a turn? Okay. Keep an eye out for a turn! This way? This... this way? That's the way back? Right at the shelf? Where's the shelf? The shelf! Oh, so here? Right here, right here, right here, right here! I don't think you'd starve to death in here. You have plenty of nutrients in the in the floor. Wait. Okay. Wait, this is a dead end. So here? Why there's no lights in here? I don't know. I don't think this building is built to code. Okay, the the, the there's the the cum barrels. This way? Wait, this is the entrance! You guys give me the wrong directions! You think I'm bad? This way? This... 
No. Imagine how soggy your socks would be by this point. I'll just take them off and feel it between my toes. Go back to where the pillars are. Okay. The pillars? Wait. Should I go down here? Yeah, I think I went down here before, but... How can a hall that runs into the shelves at a tea intersection then go right and left? I'm so fucking lost. This sucks. Okay, here's the- Oh! Here's the other pillars! Oh, oh, oh. No, right? Okay, okay, okay. Right up here? Stay right, stay right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, and then these shelves right here, right at these shelves. Okay. And then, oh, fuck. Down here? Wait, this looks new! I gotta find that fuse. Wait a minute. Why do they have like a cranberry juice room at this office? Oh shit! There it is! What the fuck? Why do you have to walk through like blood sewage water to get to the maintenance room? Not a red carpet? Bro, listen! You can hear like the, the schlop 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 noise. Unless the carpet is just wet? Maybe it's just a really wet room. Oh god, I gotta go all the way back. Oh no. If I was Golden Ramsey right now, I'd be like, oh fuck me. Oh, cold by me. It doesn't sound like plab plab plab, it's more like slosh. It's like smosh. Smosh, smosh, smosh. Okay, I should be able to find my way back. First try. I'm not gonna get lost. I'm just gonna hug this wall. And squeeze right back. <gasps> Make way for my fanny! Is that the cleaning lady? She's here pretty late. She's just got a lot of work to do in here, I tell you what. She's got her work cut out for her. Wait, does... What does that saying mean? Wait... There wasn't a door here before, was there? Oh god. That was like a labyrinth of hell. I thought when you say you have your work cut out for you, it means that the work is easy because it's already like cut out and like set up for you. Because that's what it sounds like. Yeah, like you have a stencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that noise? What is that noise? What is that noise? No, 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 no. Give me no, bro, no. I have to pee so bad. But I'm scared to get up out of my chair. No, bro. It means you know what the work is, but it's very hard. I see. Just go piss. I'm too scared. I have to put the fuse back. I have to turn the lights back on. I'm gonna die. Okay, it's right here. <sighs> Use cats. All right. Now I gotta go. Ah! Ah! You motherfucker! Random fucking Japanese woman. Fuck you. Fuck you. You stupid fucking idiot. Oh god. Fuck you. Why are you dressed like that? She got her hair parted down the middle. There you are. 
The lights haven't turned on yet, so can you go flip forward the circuit breakers? That's what I was going to do! I'm leaving. Good luck with your job. <laughs> Someone in the chat just says, GET! <laughs> oh my god, Booba. <laughs> Oh my god, sexy woman booba. Let's turn the lights on first, shall we? Holy! <laughs> this is like the most like normal looking woman wearing like <laughs> a fucking standard issue office outfit. Holy fuck. Where am I going? That's the bathroom. Honestly, guys, I would not want to work here. I think it would kind of suck. <laughs> Where was the... Do I have to unlock the door? Where's this door, right? Up here, right? That had the circuit breakers. Yeah, this room, this room. Oh. Okay, now I can pull the, the lever and restart the power. Now the lights will come on and, and I won't hear any of the slashing noises. So like, what's the deal here? What's going on in this place? This is so weird. I think something silly is afoot. Do I have to flip all of them? This isn't even my job! I'm the security guy! I'm not a janitor or a fucking electrician. This is a liability. Are you winning, son? Okay, got that one. How many freaking levers are there? One the flip. What the crunch? Oh, there's one over there. Your mom's a liability? You take that back right now. What's your favorite your mama joke? Your mama is so fat, her ass is in another zip code. I think I restored the power. Your mom's so dumb. She... Came a VTuber. Oh my god. I have to be so bad. But I'm scared that if I just stand here, the, the fucking toilet ghost is gonna come up and... Sneak up on me. Okay, I have my back to the wall. No rogues. Oh god. Oh god. Your mom's so fat, she taller when she lies down. <laughs> Your mom's so big, she's like a dragon. Dragon D's ca I mean balls. Did he fall asleep in the middle of that? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Your your mom's so beautiful chat will ask if she's single. My mom is beautiful. Poor Dagoth, he's sweepy. It's past midnight, Mr. Dagoth. I think you need to go home. We're not going to pay you for overtime. Stupid little bitch. Your mom is so smart. She can build the most complex machine in under 10 seconds. Your mama is so kind that she is very giving and selfless. And would give pleasants to every orphan in the world. The game is one of the best scary game I play. Be careful with your heart. Oh my god, that does that does not bode well for me. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Oh my god, how have I been live for five hours already? It does not feel like that at all. These scary games make time go by so fast. Some spooky dungeon synth music. I did start pretty early, yeah. What the hell? Your mama's so gay, she's a man. 
What? What? Your mom is so important, she gave us you. Oh, Your mama is so nice that she would cook the biggest pizza in the world to cure world hunger. Your mom is so cool that whenever she shows up, everyone's like, Hey! Your mom is so sweet. She had a good influence on who you are. Your mama is so responsible. She always has her ducks in order. Your mama is so kind and loving that she nurtured you so that you could become the person you are today. Your mama is so caring that she would make you peanut butter and jelly however you want it. Are you still there to go to the bathroom already? My lights are off and I'm scared. I'm scared because I know that the lights are off in the rest of the house and I'm scared to leave my room. I'm being honest. Wait, hold on. Let me put the heart rate monitor on the BRB screen. <laughs> True horror. <laughs> I'm scared, bro. You know what? I'm scared is going to happen. I'm scared I'm gonna leave my room. I'm going to like see a reflection or something and then just fucking like scream and piss myself. Your mama's so hot, daddy want milkies. Your mom is so epic that she makes my dad do the dishes. That is real girl boss kind of stuff. I'm gonna white woman jump scare myself. I'm gonna see my reflection in the mirror and that would be the worst jump scare of them all. This sucks more than anything has ever sucked before. TP go. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look in the mirror and find out that I'm white and then I'm gonna have to go on Twitter and make a tweet about it. Get really upset. Your mama is just bodacious. Your mama's... <laughs> A baby came out of your mom's vagina, but it's still so fucking tight. <laughs> I don't want to go to the bathroom. Oh, snarf! <laughs> your mom is so caring. She bought your favorite fruit snacks and put them in the cabinet for you, but I ate, I eated them all when I came to visit. This is a certified sit bucket moment. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Your mama shit real big. Your mom shit so big that it's like Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> Watch for snakes in the toilet. Stop, stop. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Not the snake in the toilet. Not the fucking snake in the toilet thing. I hate that.
my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. I don't even know how to explain this. Oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I got I got fucking jump scared by the dumbest thing possible. <laughs> Oh god! I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom that's like connected to my my bedroom because it has like the nice heated toilet seat and the other one doesn't. Because I just like to be comfortable, okay? And <laughs> earlier today, me and Ethel were looking at like the Bradley T-shirt designs, and he I forgot that he like <laughs> he like draped it over the TV. In the bedroom. So when I was coming out of the bathroom into the, like the dark bedroom, I looked at the TV and I was like, what the fuck is that like reflection? It looked like a fucking face reflected in the TV. And I fucking screamed and like ran back here. I got fucking jump scared by the fucking cartoon dog. Ah! <laughs> It looked like a face, just like, cause it was so dark and the way it was like draped over the TV, like the art was kind of like fucking perverse. The art looked like perverted, like not in that way, like it looked distorted. The art looked distorted. Oh god. Is it like Scoob? Oh shit, hold on, I gotta turn off my dungeon, sh jun jungle music. My dungeon champ. Hello? If you're scared, get ready because it gets worse. I'm not kidding. It's a warning. Stop! Oh, Zinkies! Oh, stinky Zinkies! Wait, when you wear a heart rate monitor... Do any of you guys ever wear a heart rate monitor that like goes over your chest? Oh. If you... Do you guys have a... Uh, I've never worn a heart rate monitor. Shit, I'm just- I guess I'm gonna have to like ask Mouse or something. She's the only other streamer I know who uses like a heart rate monitor for streams sometimes. It goes under your boobs? Okay. Yeah, I have- I have it under. It's like on my rib cage, kinda. Oh, Snuffy too? Yeah, I can't really put it like above cause it's like there's too much fat for the signal to go through. For a heart test, it goes on and around. On and around? It's locked. Oh yeah, that door is locked. Your heart's on the left side, right? <laughs> my, my brain knows where all my organs are, so why doesn't it just tell me? Yeah. It's in the middle, but leaning left. Okay, maybe I'll... It's so tough, like... Maybe I should tighten it. It gets like a good seal when it's like off to the left a little bit. Maybe I don't actually have a heart. I think it's accurate. Yeah, it seems pretty accurate. I'm like, whenever I... Test by like doing the... Finger on the wrist... Technique. And I look at the clock, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, it's about 60 BPM right now. What the fuck is wrong with my heart? I mean, what's right with it? I guess I'm just that good. Oh. I can check all the cams. Okay, let's see what's going on. 2F? 3F? 4F? Okay, looks normal. 5F? <laughs> what about... Certainly when I click 6F, nothing's gonna happen. It'll probably just be normal footage. Okay, <sighs> Oh, I'm eavesdropping on a conversation. Sick. It's pretty good looking, so I made him mine, uh, but... Wasn't he dating her before? Yeah, everyone knows that. Well, except for your... You basically took them by force? That's a terrible way to say it. What? Basically, want him over with my body? Seriously? 
Anyway, so it's no match for me. I'm more charming, so it was inevitable, don't you think? You're a real devil. Women are more popular when they're like... Devil What the fuck? Oh my god, she fell. Thank god, I hope she dies. Someone please kill this woman. Under the hell where she belongs. Strawberry jam. Okay. I can't view 3F and 6F. Wait, what the fuck? Is that a... <gasps> I'm not gonna go to floor 5. Is that? It's gonna look at us, isn't it? No, 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 don't say that. Oh, well, it's another cool little video. This time it's a. What is this? A thing? Workplace bullying. <gasps> Wait! It's a girl ghost, so that. Whoa, it's a vengeful ghost! Killing all the... These fucking bitches. These bitches and whores. Whoa. I want the ghost to win. Did you hear those ladies? They were like... Yeah. Uh, she was no match for me. I just fucked her boyfriend. I'm just a, I'm just a cute little devil. <laughs> This ghost sounds pretty cool. Ghost hasn't been causing me any trouble yet. Wait, what are those footprints? They're going... This way, but they stop. Man, you got some big feet. Those aren't feet, those are meters. Damn, look at those arches. You can tell it's arts because you, you can see there's like a little gap. Hello? Uh, anybody? Anybody? Poopy? Poopy? No? I hope I don't have to go into the bloody labyrinth hallway again. Five minutes later. Oh my god, I can't believe we're in the bloody labyrinth highway. She's not behind me. I'm, I'm I'm alone in the elevator. It's over. No, no, no don't say that. Don't start talking. <laughs> oh shit! Nice. The fucking janitor's cleaning up for once. God, I would hate to have to be the poor bastard that cleans all this shit. Oh, what's up? You good? Damn. Rough day, huh? Get- Why are you getting at her? What? She faded. <laughs> Gonna smack into the Benjamin before I clean up this murder scene. She bad for real? For real? It's the smooth jazz? The hands? 
Damn, look how she's holding that broom. Technique. She's moving. Bro, she's moving. Holy shit. With the vans on too? Yeah, she's got like the holes in her hands like Jesus. Maybe it's it's symbolic. Oh my god. Do not tell me I have to organize all these fucking chairs. I'm gonna be here all night. What about his wife and his kid? What a woman. Mm. Did you see her fupa? Okay. That was weird. Oh. Oh, nice. The music is back on. Oh, there's the water cooler. What are these? Is this where you clock in and clock out? Or are these like... Is this like a meal ticket thing for like the... What's it called? Cafeteria? Yeah, it's ordering food. Oh yeah, you go up and you're like, Oh, I want one of these. And you press it and it gives you like a ticket and then you get in line. Oh! Looks like someone was a little hangry. What's up? What's up in this room? What's going on in here? I like this smooth jazz. It makes me feel like I'm a 1920s detective and I'm about to start like narrating stuff. With the gams on this lady. Is she floating? Why is she sticking her tongue out? Uh. She wants his meat so bad. She's literally salivating. Oh, uh, good luck with that! Guess I'll lock the cafeteria! You... You good? I'm, I'm just locking up in here. Is she getting higher and higher up the... Oh god. Why is she a mouth breather? Well, what if... What I saw on the security camera didn't actually happen. It was just like a hallucination caused by the ghost. And this is too. The ghost is making me go crazy. It's draining my sanity. Yay! Alright, I'm all finished up in here. You good to clean this up? Say hi to the kids for me. Hi, Janet. She's doing a really poor job. I'm gonna have to write her up. I'm gonna get her fired. I'm gonna ruin her life. Yeah, her name is Janet Tor. <laughs> oh no, not this shit again, <laughs> please. She's not supposed to be floating? Really? I kind of like the floating thing. I feel like it added to the surreal feeling. The switch is missing. It might be nearby. Let's look for it. Who keeps finagling with all the electronic equipment in this place? Oh no, caution tape. Caution bog. Looks like all this is under construction. Oh, this part? Have fun? What do you mean? Do you mean have fun in like a cordial, like, good way? Like, oh, you're gonna like that? Why is fucking P 
Pee Wee Herman here. He looks like the paw stamp emo. <laughs> Howdy doody! I got something in my pocket for you. Why don't you reach down inside and see what it is? Ugh. Wait, my fucking heart rate monitor is sliding off. Is the game flipped? No. What do you mean? Flipped. Oh, bro, I peaked at 60. There's another one up here. Climb, never mind. Do I wanna... What the fuck? Reto... Ro... Ning... Kyo... Kyo... What does that say? Wait, what does that say? To... Something to... To... Ro... Ni... Ning... Kyo... Something doll. Retro... Retro doll! Why is he in here? Oh my god, he's looking at me. He... He wasn't looking at me before, was he? Nah, I am not going up there. What the fuck is that noise? Did he move? Anything with dolls, I'm fucking out. I'm out. I'm good. Should I go up? Uh, I think I'll go up the ladder that doesn't have the creepy fucking doll on it. How about that? Fuck you. You're such an impish little freak. Okay, I don't see anything up here. Okay, I guess I'll... Don't go down yet? Wait, why? Wait, what was that? It looked like a... Oh, it's one of the... The arrow buttons. Okay, I'm down. Are the dolls friends? Maybe the dolls are the ghost girl's, like, favorite. She's fucked in the head. This is more messed up than her killing that lady. Yeah, they're friends? Yeah, of course. Oh, here's another button. Anything else up here? Wow. Sir looks cool up here in this dark attic. Ah! <laughs> Fuck you! Why are you looking through? Bro, he's looking up my skirt! This ghost is a part of art! Ghost is perverse. Hey there, buddy. I'm gonna report him. Now he's looking. Bro, the eyes follow you. I'm starting to kind of like this guy. He's kind of cheeky. He's got a little bit of uh, oomph to his step. Why doesn't he have hands? Like... Fear of dolls is called pedophobia. I see. Not bad. 5 out of 10. Yeah, I'd give that like a 4 out of 10, honestly. It didn't really have that much girth to it. It was a very pitiful sounding burp. It honestly sounded kind of sad. Oh god. Yeah, it was like a blip, yeah. Wouldn't even show up on a radar. Oh god. I'm scared. If I have to go through another maze... That's the scariest part of these games, is just having to direct myself with that noise. Did you guys hear that? Am I crazy? I just heard like a thump. I heard like a boom boom. Like a subwoofer. Bum bum. Okay. Anything up here? Hello? Oh, I found another one. Okay, I think there's just like one more, right? 
Are you sure that sound wasn't from in your room? Oh no 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 don't say that. <sighs> asbestos the true horror? Asbestos is the cotton candy that's in the walls, isn't it? Is it not? Okay, that's the uh the, <gasps> the elevator. Do I have them all? I didn't hear the do 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 noise, so I don't know. That's fiberglass. Oh. <gasps> Excuse me, sir. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Why? Why is the walking so fucking slow? Stop fucking looking at me! Fuck you, 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 fuck Get, get the fuck out of here, you fucking doll motherfucker, you doll-like motherfucker, you fucking doll, ball-jointed motherfucker, glass-eye-looking fucking flappy jaw, flappy bird fucking ass. Fuck you. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate... I hate that. I hate that. No, don't close the door. Let me out. 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 Fuck you. I think we're in the clear. I think we're in the clear. Looks like someone was enjoying a little coffee. echoing and what's this room i'm so scared i'm getting a fucking headache my brow is so furrowed i i'm like barely blinking oh god your shoulders bro my shoulders i look like that fucking guy with the suspenders what's his name the like news channel guy that like interviews people fucking uh larry king i look like larry king right now my my shoulders are up at my fucking ears okay uh, okay just gonna lock these doors yeah did he pass away i'm gonna pass away too now, Mr. News, Mr. News guy. Oh, cool. Let's see what's going on in the bathroom. I wonder what's happening in the bathroom. We lost him. Where'd he go? Why don't you keep track of him? It's not my fault that I couldn't do anything. Because they died. Everyone disappeared because of them. I didn't do anything wrong. Everything is their fault. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Uh, me and the ghost, we're cool. We're chill, right? Like, I, I didn't do anything to upset it. I'm just doing my job. Ah! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to turn the lights on when you were taking a shirt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Why are you throwing a fucking tomato at me? All right. I think I already 
investigated this bathroom, right? Okay. Cool. Cool. A bit. It's ketchup. She threw the chop at the door. Chop up. Okay, I'm just gonna lock this door. She shit so hard that she literally exploded. She like explosively decompressed. That feel when you sneeze on your period. Ew! <laughs> you guys are nasty, nasty. You guys are like an upgraded form of nasty. You're like, you're on the fucking nasty skill tree and you're getting like plus five perverseness. You're specking into being a sick freak. Oh god. Did I already inspect this room? I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> I did my job! Yeah, yay! Oh god, one of my ears just... Bro, one of my ears just went deaf for a second when I clapped. I wish a tune played every time I finished a task at work. That would be kind of nice. I wish I was like a sim and I could see like a cue of all the things I need to do. Just in my mind's eye. right now. Please don't knock over the vending machine on me. Why is everything so old and decrepit? Are we like going back in time to like the... When, when the ghost lady was alive? Jesus, this bathroom is... Horrid. A less maintained floor? Oop, that wouldn't be safe. That's not up to code. The floor it could collapse. You could get like a. Oh. You could get you could step on something rusty and get lockjaw. You guys heard that, right? I'm not. I'm not just imagining it. Sounds like someone's going, uh, 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 uh. Ah! Oh my god, are you okay? Did he just fall asleep? He's been working too hard. Yep. <laughs> Bro, he's like a Skyrim NPC. Crap, I fell asleep. It's already this late. What's up with you? You keep coming over and over again. <laughs> Jesus, I don't even know you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I wasn't doing anything while you were asleep. What the fuck? You're standing there every time I wake up. Were you here the whole time? Whatever. Do you know where my boss is? Did he leave already? That damn power harasser said he wouldn't leave until everyone else did. I'm leaving too. <laughs> Good. Fuck your boss. Damn, bro, you keep coming over and over. What's, what's up with you? Okay, just doing my rounds in here. Wait, did I check the, the fire thingy? No abnormality. God, this floor is hideous. Everything is so decrepit and nasty. Ghost is horny. Uh. Is that why it keeps going? Uh. 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 What the fuck? Shut the fuck up, you fucking idiot! I fucking hate you! 
Fuck you! Where is it? Where is the fucking ghost? Where is the fucking stupid ass fucking ghost? I hate it! No! Oh, upstairs is an emergency exit! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I love old women's toes. I love old woman bunions. I love old woman rickety, disgusting, arched feet. Oh no. Wait, I haven't finished my patrol. Do I have to find all the switches again? I hate this. What is this? What does that say? It's something still... Does anyone know Kanzi above like a middle school, uh, elementary school level? Why is it beeping? Request it. Pressed it, now something beeping. Is it a bomb? Are you able to consciously slow your heart rate? Yes, I'm like a monk. I actually can. It's simple, you just hold your breath a little bit. And then this one? Oh! Emergency exit key, let's fucking go. Go 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 to hurt me or anything. Yeah, maybe she's just trying to tell me something. Maybe my shoe is untied. Okay, nothing to see here. Is this the... emergency exit? Let's lock the room first, yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, I ran out of this room because I started hearing... Your your shirt is on inside out. You, uh, uh, you have a toilet paper on your shoe. Has that ever happened to you guys in real life? Oh. Why did that close? I'm not a cartoon character. I think I am a cartoon character because like so many times when I go to like a public restroom and there's toilet paper on the ground, it always sticks to my shoe. But thankfully I've noticed it every time, but I feel like there's going to be a moment when I don't notice it and I'm never going to hear the end of it. So was that? Did you guys... Did you guys hear that? Or was that in the game? Am I hearing things? Yeah, 
Like when I smell a pie that someone put out in their window, I I float up in the air and I follow the scent trails. Same thing happened when I go outside in LA and I smell people smoking weed. I've been taking like uh Tiny fucking CBD, like mostly CBD edible before, right before I go to sleep at night. Cause it helps me, helps me relax and helps with my insomnia. And last night, we were playing like a little bit of Dark and Darker right before sleep. Just to get a few games in, just for old time's sake. And the edible I took hit at like the worst possible time. I was in the middle of like the dungeon. And I just got this like weird sense that like... I was like watching Abel's character like go down the hallway. I'm just like following him, watching him kill skeletons. For whatever reason, in that moment, I thought like I'm on a field trip right now, and I think I'm following the wrong guidance counselor. I don't know why I had that thought. <laughs> like I thought I was like, cause I think it's cause he was wearing like a different armor than he usually wears. He had like a like a weird like armor shirt on it. It didn't look like his character and I was like, wait, am I following the wrong person in game? Yeah, like when you go when you're at the store and you go to the wrong lady and think it's your mom. It was like that kind of feeling. And then for for some reason the game just looked like really low FPS. Like it looked like it was at like 30 frames per second. Like I was playing a PS2 game. That's enough Doc and Daka before bedtime. I took a trip to Poland. I went to Brazil. I took the walk to Poland. I swear to God, if something fucking pops out as I'm going up these dark, rusty stairs. I'm going to be one unhappy little camper. Police tape. This is a crime scene. It's so dark. Oh no, why is everything topsy-turvy? Wait a minute, the, the chairs aren't supposed to be on the ceiling and the lights aren't supposed to be on the floor. What is this? out of order here. What? Looks like the boss gave everyone here a ways. Oh, Jesus. Quick Rorschach test. What do you guys see in the, in the blood blob? I think something right here is a little different. Can't quite put my finger on it, though. I see a bat hanging upside down. Like, here's the eyes, and here's the ears, and there's its wings. Do you see it? Mm. Oh. Wait. Was there another thingy to check? A skull with pants pincers? Oh, I kind of see it, yeah. Oh, yeah, look, it's like... Oh, it kind of looks like a tarantula, too. Tar tarantula. I wish this was a level in Power Wash Simulator so I could just wash off all this blood and grime. Okay, lights off in here. The repetition of like the same like levels and how it gets progressively more fucked up and gross kind of reminds me of PT. Can you actually like still play that game without getting in trouble with like Konami? Wait, have I been in here? No, I have not. I have not. There was a fan remake in Unity recently? Oh my god. I saw there's like a VR chat map for it. Honestly, I think PT... I have PTSD from that game. 
That's probably the scariest game I've ever played in my life. Nothing has come close to that game with freaking me the fuck out. What's PT? It was like this demo for I think a new Silent Hill game. But it never quite came to fruition because I think Konami or whatever was fucking with it. Oh god. Yeah, it was like a playable teaser. To tease like a new game. But the game ended up never being made and they pulled the demo from the PlayStation store, so you're not supposed to you're not supposed to have it anymore. People were like selling their PlayStation 4s that had the game on it because that's like the only way you could get it at that point. Kojima and Konami divorced. Yo, Konami took the kids. So sad. Um, oh yeah, I gotta turn off this light. Ew! Is that hair? This looks like my sink. <laughs> Yay! I finished my wookie! We're on floor 10. Yay, time for a smoke break. Wait. Oh, I guess I gotta go to the elevator. Yeah, it was for PS4, right? Not PS3. That game actually scared the, the lights out of me. I think a part of me is still missing after playing that game. How many floors are left? One more, it looks like. There's one more floor. I wonder what's gonna happen on floor 11. Oh, Jesus. Ah! 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 No, no, fuck this. No, 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 no elevator bits. Please, no, it's not funny. It's not funny anymore, guys. I swear to God. Ugh. Can't read all these moon rounds. What is that? Is that her? Do you guys know what this says? Something got sun night oh my eh no say does it say it's your fault? It's your fault? Something in the yaru Don't look behind you, don't do that to me. It says GTA 6 comes out next fall. Oh yeah, bro, and if you look up on the ceiling, it says Half-Life 3 is coming out in 2024. Oh. Why is she walking backwards? How is she doing that? She's gonna fall down! Look out! <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> you bitch. You... You 
dastardly little fellow. I hate that noise. It makes my head feel hot. It makes the top of my head feel like it's burning. Oh god. Is it my fault? What did I do? Oh my god, I got up to 107? That's a new record. What's the fastest your heart can beat before you just fucking die? your AIDS? Wait, what? 300 for sure? 220 minus your AIDS is the max? 220 minus 30. What is that? Jumpscare will send you to 230 trust. <laughs> you want me to die? Oh, the computers are all having a little circle meeting. Maybe they're doing like a little book club. 190. Oh, little pooters. What's this? Say? Oh no, I have to find the combination. There must be a clue somewhere. No cable. Okay. Uh, he'll get better. God. All these whiteboards. What a waste. These things cost like fucking $500. What is this? <gasps> Blood stain lid? 0369? I think she'll be able to clean the stain? 0369. Is that the whole combination, or are there more numbers? Oh god, it's so dark. It's so dark and it's so red and it's so bloody. 0369. Oh, 369. Three, 719. Give me one more time. Nothing is displaying. I need to find the cable and I need to... Maybe the cable is in the... Turn your line. Twenty one. Twenty one. Where's the fucking code? Wait, what is this? I can wash the lid off. I washed the blood off the lid. The two lines drawn on it. Two lines? Wait, can I can I not look at it? I can't open my inventory. Okay. What does this look like? That looks like a. Looks like a face or a bug. Looks like a birth canal. I did not close that door. Did you see that? That just closed on its own. I'm not messing around anymore. This isn't funny. Like clock hands. <gasps> oh my god. It was a clock! It was a dirty clock! I cleaned the dirty clock off in the sink. Can I put him back? Six, nine. <coughs> Guys, do not say it. Wait, so... Are the numbers six and nine, and then maybe something else? Nine, six, six, nine? Six, nine. Let's 
behind door number three. Have you ever put your butt on like a... a copy machine before? My parents used to have one. And I did it when I was younger for poops and giggles. And I was so scared that they would find out that I did it. I didn't wipe it off or anything. Wait, do you think it's just 96 or 69? Like that? But there's... Oh... Maybe it is just 69. Not 6. I don't know how to do combinations. 6 and then 9? Like, uh... Like that? Wait, no? Uh, 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 it's not working. Do you think it's 96? Or is it 60, 90? 60, and then 90. 60, 90? Or maybe it's 90, 60! Wait, that's 80. I can't see. 60, 90. 6090. Ah! It was 6090. I got a videotape. But don't I need to get a cable? No cable. I can't display the tape until I find the cable. Oh shit. Oh Jesus Christ. I've been tensing up so bad it's making my, my tummy muscle hurt. The locker? Wait, do you think... The locker with the dead guy on it? Oh. oh! Oh, he had it! Oh my god, I didn't even notice. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's pogging. <laughs> Dental plan! <laughs> peek <-a> <laughs> I wonder what's behind this door. Whoa! Hey guys! <laughs> hey! Oh, he's doing the fucking circle hand thing! Good thing he's dead, so he can't punch me in the balls. Okay, put the cable in. Let's see. Maybe more ghost floor? Wait, what is that? Is that the... It's a computer. What is going on? Now we learn about your wrongdoings? Was it really my fault? I don't... I don't see anything. Opens up one of those things on his computer that's like, Hey everybody, I'm looking at gay porno! <gasps> Is that the water cooler? That looks like a police tape. Ah! That's that lady that 
that jump scared me in the, the fucking hallway. I can't say it anymore. Let's get out of here. You think? Now you think that? It wasn't the, the blood on the walls or the, the fucking blood sewer? Let's let's get out of here. Oh my god, the door is locked. Haha. Uh -huh. Is the Wait a minute. The dead body isn't there anymore, isn't it? The dead body is gone. <laughs> Please, 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 I'm stuck in a fucking- <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, mate. I hate you. Holy shit. I got an achievement for dying. Holy shit. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Let's make like a tree and leave. Wait, the store's locked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck off, mate. You fucking... You fucking cunt. I need to walk faster. I don't know how. I'm pressing shift, but it doesn't do anything. It's so loud. It's so loud. I hate it. It's so loud. I hate it. Which way? Which way? Which way? This way? Holy shit. I hate it so much. Oh my god, don't. No, that's the picture that was on the refrigerator. Wait, what? 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 I'm playing with that. <laughs> Like a defensive formation. He was saying like all day, like, oh, I'm so excited for you to play a scary game. And I was like, wait, what? Why? And he just said, ah! Can I move? I can't move. 
I just hear like wet noises and like TV static. Oh, it's rewinding. Was that it? Wait, was that the end of the game? Was that a bad end? Wait, how do I go back? I wanna get the good end! I wanna know the story of the ghost! I wanna know this, the ghost lore! I wanna know the, 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 the ghost Rekishi! Please let me know! You can continue from that floor? Okay. I got ending one. Oh. Reverse, reverse. There's two endings? Why does this just look like real footage? Is this me getting out of my car? The ghost that you saw is your ex-wife? No way. Kego Ochi 35. Okay, this is ending one. It's the Blair Witch. <laughs> it's me, the Blair Witch. I'm going to cast a spell on you and turn you into a newt. <laughs> Wait, so if I hit continue, will I be. Oh! Okay. Easy enough. Wait, do I have to do all that shit again? I think I gotta do all that shit again. I wanna know the other ending. What should I do? Should I go a different way? Should I go... Do I have to make it back to this door, maybe? Whoa! Okay. I know what to do now. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that. <laughs> okay, and the... Can I just put this in without doing any of the puzzle shit? Like, 60... This is like one of those Silent Hill 2 puzzles. It worked! Oh, well, fuck yeah. yeah! I don't need to do any of that bullshit. I woke up to screaming. That was hilarious. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. <laughs> I forgot I put that gotcha sound effect as the as that bit alert. Thank you so much, Erin. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I almost drowned in gamer slugs. That would be a pretty, a pretty good way to go out. I wonder if you took like a gamer slugs bath, would you absorb all the caffeine through your pores? What is this videotape supposed to be of? I don't understand. I hate that fucking door noise. That is exactly what some of our doors in our apartment sound like. That same fucking Damn, squeak. only Ethel recorded that scare on his phone or something. <laughs> he, he probably took a few pictures and he put it on his little his poster board. He, he'll put it up on the refrigerator. I like the part where the Blair Witch gets real and tells kids to say no to drugs. Yeah, when she has like a teachable moment and she kind of like leans down. She like sits on the desk with her like elbows on her knees and just leans in. It's like, okay kids. I think it's time we get real. Say no to peer pressure. Mm hmm. Is this a video from the ghost's point of view? Please no. Please no. I, I love you. Let's rap? <laughs> okay. <laughs> a phantom. Exterior like fish eggs. Interior like suicide. Wrist red. I can exercise you. This can be your phys ed. <laughs> 
that was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Fuck. <laughs> what? How do I? How do I escape this ghost? <laughs> Does closing the door behind you really actually work? It's gotta, right? Right? Just know when you. <laughs> I can't hear you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I can't close the door. I can't close the door. I can't close the door. I, it's, just, it's broken. I can't believe it's... Uh, you can run? It's not dark and darker. Holy shit. I need to kill fast and bullets too slow. Yeah, is there no running? I tried shift. Oh, I could do a little bunny hop there. Hold the action button to run? So just the mouse button? It's not working. You can open the door. Is there a run button? Uh, is there a control menu? Let me see. Run is mouse zero. Should I change it to shift? I'll change it to left shit. But I can't run right now. I think it's just situational. Wait! No! Bro! Now, like, opening doors is set to shift. Why is the run button the same as the... Just the, the doing things button? What the fuck is mouse zero? I think it's the left mouse button. Wait, I'll, I'll try this. <gasps> I can't run! I'm not running! I'm not running, detective. You tell me do things, and I was running. The dead dev. The dead dev. The dead dev, help. Wait. I just go this way, and then. Oh fuck. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm doing some Scooby Doo kind of shit. I'm on my Scooby Doo arc. She's not gonna find me. She's gonna be like, oh, where did he go? What is this? What is it? Okay, it's... Uh, what's the code? What's the fucking code? It's six nine? Something? Fuck! Wait. Yeah, I know I gotta use the keypad, but what's the fucking code? It's the... The birthday! Wait, was it 1022 or 1023? 10... 10, 23. Would you like to give that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Oh my god. Bro, you need to take some Pepto Bismol. Wait, I can advance the text. Bro, I don't think there's even a run button. I think it's just, I think this shit's just busted. Ah! Oh god, it's so loud. Make it stop, make it stop. Please. Oh my god, I keep feeling like there's someone like behind me. Oh, oh, oh. Don't look back, don't look back. Whatever you do, don't look back. Okay, it's 1023. It's 1023. 1023. That's because there is. No. 10. 10. 10. 20. Wait. <laughs> what? Huh? Did I not put it in fast enough? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two numbers that run. Ugh, shut up. Wait, I'm sorry. You're not done once you put in the number. Do I need to oh put in the code and then loop around through here? Maybe and then go out the the escape. Okay. 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 Ah! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh Jesus! Somebody call the fucking ambulance! Oh Jesus! It's so fucking loud. Okay, I'll put in the code, then immediately hang a right up there. I think. I don't know. Oh! 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 10, 10, 23, enter. Oh, Jesus, she's right there! She's right there! What the fuck? Oh, God. Wait, okay, there's no fucking...
fucking run button. There's no run button. You can't run. So I'm just gonna change the run button back to the fucking mouse button so I can actually press things. Because I have to, like, press shift when I'm, like, hovering over your stuff to, like, to do things. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this guard is so slow. I guess he just sits and watches, like, screens all day. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a skill issue. Ah! <laughs> I hate it. It makes me feel like the floor is vibrating. It's so fucking loud. This is my autism nightmare. What the fuck is that? Okay. I, I think I see... I think I see what I must do. Ten... Twenty-three. Okay, she's not gonna catch me. I'm too fucking fast. I'm fast as fuck. <gasps> it's open now. Okay, now I can go here. And now I can get to the elevator. Now I can definitely get in the elevator in time before she comes up and she's not gonna like put her hand on the door and be like, Hey, what's up? Okay. Okay. They make it so it's like one of those nightmares you have where you, you're trying to run but you just can't and you're just moving as slow as fucking possible. Like you're moving through quicksand. Oh, Jesus. I think I got the, the good end. I'm gonna have to go. Go. Who's shuffling? Oh my god, is that my wife and Bo child? Children. Balsasus. <laughs> Why was there such a. D oh my god, no. Ending too. What? Who is that woman? Who is the woman in red? Trivago. This is a nice little number. Your wife, his girl, who gave number second floor, who cheated? Oh my god! It was his fault all along. This game was definitely scarier than the first one. Holy shit. That was fucked. Environmental storytelling. Seal videos now. Yeah, let's uh do a brain refresh with my favorite seal video. Here we go. This one's a classic. This one. This one is good too.
Uh, careful, Leif says, is this an autism thing? Because I don't know what this is, but like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bro, what about this one? Oh, I love this one! This one's the best, actually. What song is this from? Is it like a Mario game? Or like Kirby or something? Super Mario Land? Eating the snow. I want to watch cute miniature dog sand videos to forget everything. I still feel a little uneasy sitting in this dark room. Um, is there like a compilation? Do dog sand compilation? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever seen Rosa the Amazing. Sea Otter? No. Wait, hold on. Rosa the Sea Otter? Otter? Rosa the Sea Otter? Oh! Wait, from the Monterey Bay Aquarium? Bro, there's like a live feed. Is this her sleeping right now? Oh my god, they're. Oh, this looks like the creepy video from the game we just played. It's like grainy ass nighttime footage. Oh, bro, they're like grooming their little footsies. Look, they're all curled up. They're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thank you, Erin Cole. I appreciate it. Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you. Which one is which one is Rosa? Wait, how many? There's I see one right here. I see are these two otters or three? I can't tell. Yes. Watch the new Nukes Top Five Ghost video. You'll be too annoyed to be scared anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's the usual Nukes Top Five experience for me. Day in the life of Rosa the Sea Otter. Did you know the Monterey Bay Aquarium is home to one of the oldest sea otters on exhibit in the world? This is Rosa. Rosa! Despite still looking like a fluffy pup, she is our oldest resident she sea otter. She does kind of look like a fluffy pup. During her 20 years at the aquarium, Rosa years? has raised 15 pups. She to She's date, prolific. she holds the title of our most experienced surrogate mother. But Rosa retired from our surrogacy program three years ago. And you may be wondering what she does now all day long I besides being utterly adorable. <laughs> so let's take a look at a day in the life of Rosa. I want to see Rosa's life! Show Due to me. her advanced age, our aquarists oh, have so adapted old. her routine to better suit her needs. Over Aww. the last few years, she has, she has been slowed by a heart condition Aww. and limited eyesight. No! Rosa's days Rosa usually should start be able to with see. a refreshing ice bucket. Aww. Ice is a great enrichment item, she and it helps cool her it. down, especially on warmer days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Some mornings, you can find Rosa resting in the exhibit. Mm. But don't get me wrong. Rosa is still an active otter. Oh yeah? What does she do? During the day, she impresses the public with her signature swimming style. Oh fuck! Tilting her head all the way back in the water. That's crazy. She also enjoys the delicious meals prepared by the aquarists. Clam is Rosa's go-to seafood. Oh my and God, at her age, clams. she tends to prefer smaller bites. Yeah. And who doesn't like to nap <laughs> after lunch? Jesus God. Fun fact. Rosa usually oh naps God, by the you. largest window in the thank exhibit. You so, much. so, if <laughs> thank you want to you get a closer look, you know where to find her. Jesus. 
Yeah. Training sessions are another important part of Rosa's day. Our otters are active participants in their Thank health care, and these activities teach her how to assist Aquarius in her care. Aquarius? To accommodate her needs, they use <gasps> audio and tactile cues. Aww. Because of Rosa's age, veterinary checkups are also essential They're for her well-being. They're checking up on her belly and her and flappers. Aquarius gently examines her on a regular basis to make sure her health is on track. Oh my god, what is that Rosa doesn't like? mind it, it because like she carpet. always gets a reward afterwards. She's fat. Wow, the that's otter. a busy schedule. The honor, I mean. But Rosa definitely deserves all the special attention and care. She's got a big little belly. If you'd like to learn more about Rosa and our sea otter program, check out these videos. And Wait, don't forget to read the, the description below. The Thanks for playlist? watching, everybody. Is Rosa still alive? Be honest. She's still alive. She's alive? Okay, thank God. She just had her birthday? You just saw her live? Yeah, which one was she? This video is 11 months old. Rosa the sea otter licking the window? This is from three months ago. <laughs> Aww. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ, everyone cold. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Why did I set that? Why did I make that the alert for that? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Cute otters intimately filmed by a spy camera intimately? <gasps> Baby otter rolls down wooden dock to its mother. This is me when I wake up in the morning. He's trying to yeah. What the fuck? Do you hear that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so hard to roll over. Oh. Stop bullying it! Leave it alone! It's trying its best! This is workplace harassment. It's trying so hard to roll over. Oh, oh it turned into a circle. It looks like a seashell. Oh. Yeah, otters made my heart rate faster than the horror game. Are you just oh doing God. that to make it go yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mommy picked it up and saved it. Oh, did you see it rubbing? Bro, look at look, it's rubbing it. Oh, I want that. I want that. I wish I was an otter being carried by a mommy otter. Oh, Joey. Oh, Vancouver Aquarium. Bancuba. Wait, I want to see the intimate footage of the otter. Intimate otter footage. Wait, where was it? Okay, cute otters intimately filmed. Cute otters intimately filmed. And they become a little strange, uncensored. Spy sea otter offers the best chance to infiltrate their world. Whoa, where is this? He approaches slowly. Oh, that's a robot! <laughs> Thank you. Jesus Christ, a, a runkle. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that's terrifying. I didn't realize and it was a robot. And soon capture some of the closest and most intimate views possible. I'm telling you, bro. The reason why our shit got so fucked at the zoo was because all the animals there, they either got like chips in them or they're just all cyborgs or like robots and they have like built in, built in cell phone signal jammers in them because it's like a government base. 
weaponized robot animals. That's so creepy. Oh, patty cake. Patty cake with sea otter. Or is this a river otter? I can't tell. Happy he's harmless. The water gets on with his daily routine. Right above the zoo, really? For like all cell phone carriers? Why is that? Is it because of the mountains, or is there like, are zoos just like that? So you can't Wherever he goes, a spy otter keeps a spying eye on him. Ooh, I got it. Stones are dredged from the seabed. Then placed on their put a chests spy as I'm at them. I'm gonna smash that shit. Oh, Uncle, thank you for giving ten fucking even subs. The toughest shell. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your gift subs, everyone. Look at him smash that shit. Fucking me. <laughs> Damn, look at that big bite he took out of it. <laughs> me trying to open the peanut butter jar. from how scared I got playing that fucking game. When you receive a call for a seal, but it's the ringed seal, which the is native seal. to the Arctic, literally thousands of miles away. Now I'm gonna get you into a big kennel where you're nice and cold. Average. We think that it's the first ring seal ever in Ireland. Ooh, we don't know how she Ireland. got here. We don't know why she's here, but we know we have to help. It's we think that her berry is ish. eight months old, but she weighs only 19 pounds. So Aww. she's very underweight. You have to fatten that seal Seal up. Rescue Ireland rescues sick, injured, and orphan seals. Cloudberry definitely Aww. could not have Look been found snow. by a better Those group of people. Ring seals are meant to be Aww. built like basketballs because they need all <laughs> that so blubber for cold like waters. Oh no, don't, don't, don't dump them out. Stop! No! She does have some wounds on her flippers and behind her neck and on the top of her head. Ooh. I'm really worried about her, but our goal is to get Cloudberry up to 55 Cloudberry. pounds and healthy enough to return her back to the ocean. Fat this Cloudberry is spending all of her time in the tub and showing signs that she wants to eat by herself. That's a really oh. good sign that she's going to put on some weight. We're just water. taking it one step at a time, hoping yeah. that she'll be able to recover. Yeah. Aww, seal in the tub. What will she do? Cloudberry's been with us for about a month now. Aww. She's worked her weight up to 44 pounds. She's <laughs> actually proving to be quite the diva. As her waistline grows, That's so does bitch. her personality. <laughs> She will intentionally That's splash so us cute. when we enter her kennel. Oh, she's so mischievous. Look at her. She's up even to no look good. At her, she just kind of snorts at you. And it's a very Aww, clear that she's, she's saying, and this flapping. is my turf. She's been nicknamed Princess Cloudberry because Aww. it's all about her. Yes, she is the most important seal. Cloudberry <laughs> has started to get Holy so round shit, that you. she's having trouble turning around in her bath. She is well on her road to recovery. 
Today we are going to introduce Cloudberry to the nursery pool for the first time. She'll be able to build muscle mass and she'll learn all of the skills that she needs to survive in the wild. She's hopefully going to take her out to the water and we'll see how she interacts with the rest of the seals. Well, she is now, not going to get along with all them. of our pools. She are is going to be a little bit gray testy. seals and some common seals, oh. which are much bigger than Cloudberry. We need to closely oh. observe and see how she does because the last thing we want is to introduce her into a dangerous situation where the other seals I might pick on her. Like, she's moles. just gotten too but big for her bath, so we have to take moving the Moving around is just like flopping up and down and bouncing on their big fat bellies. I wish I could do that. I gotta get fatter. I wanna be like this. Oh, you can see like her hair is like all patchy where she got wounded. Oh no. Oh After no. a little bit of hesitation, she gets in and she's like a fish to water. Yeah, now she has to swim with the commoners. Ew. And the other seals are a little curious. They are oh. wondering who is this stranger that is now in our pool. I wanna go check them out. I wonder what, what, what they're up to. Maybe we can hang out and be friends. Oh my god, they're fighting. Oh Jesus. Are they playing? After a little bit of harassment, the other seals quickly learn that they oh. want nothing to do with <laughs> Labberry. That bitch. pretty much set the tone for <laughs> the pool from then on. <laughs> Cloudberry's had about another six she weeks in the pool now, bee. and she's up to about 63 pounds. Nice. So it's time to think about you releasing her. It. The goal is to get her as close to her Arctic home as possible. Maybe Iceland or the Netherlands. I'm Damn, feeling really that confident size. that Cloudberry is going to succeed Kinda in the wild. Kind of looks like a chihuahua. There is now 98,023 reported cases of COVID-19 globally. We are continuing to recommend that. Summer is approaching and this is an arctic seal. We can't travel internationally anymore. So the best thing that we can do is try to get her to the northern tip of Ireland Touch and her. release her and just hope that she heads oh, north to the arctic. Oh. Oh. Cloudberry has no idea what's about to happen. Thank you. Oh, she's peaceful. Thank you. But she's about to take a five hour journey north. So we're gonna do the best we can. Five hours? Oh no, she's not gonna be happy about that. We've got Cloudberry here in the back. Oh, the sun crying. is shining. It's the perfect day for me, but for an Arctic seal, this is extremely hot temperatures. We've got to keep the windows up and the air conditioning on to keep her nice and cool. How's she doing? We're going to some coffee. Doing good. Everything with the coronavirus is changing by the day, so I don't know. There could she be doesn't even know what yeah, a coronavirus she's is. She's just a fat the sunniest fucking day seal. in Ireland fat ever. So we've got some ice to cool off Flatberry. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, you so come back it's too here. Hot. Well, maybe I'm a seal. Like actually, I overheat really easily. I'm fat as fuck, and I just go fart a lot. Oh, look at her. Do you think she's thankful? We are one hour away from releasing Cloudberry she's back crying. into the wild. Call Cloudberry. Everything's she's going well. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> so, yeah it just fittingly seems the further north I we get, my the colder and colder fart. it is, which is really Thank good for so her. She seems cool. to be doing just fine. What the hell? Princess Cloudberry is finally as far north as we can she's possibly like get her. She's like a million fucking bits. Seems Ew. that she's very much ready to go. Oh, she's got her nose so We're going to be opening the cage shortly Let and saying know. goodbye to her. Bro, I think when I get older, I don't know if I'll ever stop streaming because playing video games for a living is pretty cool and I love it. But I want to rescue seals. I want to be a seal rescuer. Oh no! To be honest, Cloudberry's hesitation to get into the water doesn't surprise me at all. Look at that. Oh, oh it's so dark. That's your home. She has been dramatic about every stage of this journey, so oh, of course she's, she's going to be a diva, diva till the end. The melodrama of it all. She warms up to the water a bit, and Prima then Donna she girl. kind of just goes for it. She's going back. She's going home, guys. Cloudberry is going back to the sea. No, a shark doesn't eat her. 
Look at it's it. It's just been amazing to watch Cloudberry go oh, from this fun, tiny fun. pup in the trunk to this a pup monster a truck. of a seal. To a big fat fuck. Story of Cloudberry. Good girl, Cloudberry. Aww. I want to pet It's a such a long so journey bad. to the Arctic, but we know she's up for a challenge. Baka, I'm not crying. You're crying. Goodbye, Cloudberry. May I you live long and well. That Idiot. Wherever it's Princess Cloudberry Baka. is now, she is ruling her kingdom. It's not like I care about Cloudberry or anything. I'm glad they were able to fatten her up and set her free. It'll happen to me someday soon, guys. One of these days, I'm gonna get to 500 pounds, and I'm gonna be released back into this the great big blue sea. Fart and fat fuck. Bro, the dodo has some good ass videos. All these feel good videos. I don't think I'm scared anymore. Actually, no, never mind. I looked behind me for a second and I saw my closet that was like slightly open and I could see the dark closet inside. <laughs> and I felt. I felt my heart stop for a second. Mm. Okay. I gotta make dinner. Holy shit, I can't believe I've been streaming for seven hours already. What the fuck? It does not feel like that. I actually had one more game I wanted to play, but I'll either... I think I'll save it maybe for Thursday or maybe... I don't know, maybe play it next week? I don't know. This Thursday? I don't know if I can say yet. I have like a sponsor that I'm gonna do on Thursday for a certain game that I'm really looking forward to. And then we might continue Zelda. I don't know. Even the elders cat fears the dark within the closet? Uh, no. I'm I'm the darkest thing here. Oh fuck. Oh god. Here, let me get some smooth jazz. It's too quiet, it's too quiet, it's too quiet, I'm scared. Stress relief jazz, okay. This will help relieve the stress. Thank you, Arunkul, for all those bits. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, No Hammer. Spooky Night was fun. It was, bro. I've been wanting to play some spooky ass games for a while. The heart rate monitor is pretty, pretty fun as well. Even though my. I have a really weird heart and it's usually at like uh, 40 or 50 beats per minute. So when I, whenever I get really scared, the, the most you'll get out of me is probably like 80 or 90 max, but... I'm, I guess I'm just physiologically very strange. The more you know. Just healthy? Yeah, I guess so. I think I'm just a vampire. Thank you. Thank you very much, Arunkul. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> I said that as the, the bit alert picture. It's me yakking up some rainbows. Glad I tuned in. This is a fun stream. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I had a I had a fucking blast. I am going to be very terrified going to bed tonight though. Yes. <laughs> Special thanks to Ava for almost killing me from a heart attack when he came into my room that one time. Heart rate and brain tick rate are correlated. <laughs> yeah, my my brain graphics card. I gotta overclock my brain. You got me back. Yeah, for that... Oh my god! Because of that one time when we were playing with Soda and Vey, that one uh, demonologist game. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Okay, that's fair. Okay, we're even now. We're even now. <laughs> that's called a seizure. <laughs> Overclocking your brain. Yeah, you got revenge. You're such stinker! Oh my god. What if they're in the stream and Yander's heart rate suddenly fell to zero and she stopped responding? What do we do? I think everyone in the chat would just be like, Omega oh, lol. Omega oh, lol, she died. Omega oh, lol, so bad. This is so cringe. <laughs> and then they'd be like, well, we're finally free. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> Ooh, guys, why isn't she moving? Does she know that she can move? <laughs> Uh, didn't call 911. Epic fail. So fucking bad. <laughs> One guy just says fat bitch. <laughs> that would be pretty 
cool. Yeah, I die and then you just hear the bit alert go off and it's just like, yeah. <laughs> and the goth goes, balls. And then I'm just laying there like, <laughs> yeah. Now it's a force and strength. <laughs> just me sitting there lifelessly and you just hear generating God seed. Generating dream seed. I get so frustrated watching Force and now and I think I like identify with some of you Skill guys diff now. balls. Skill diff balls. <laughs> balls. Thank you so much, No Hammer and Urin Cool. Thank you. I I never really when I watch a streamer play a game, I never really get like frustrated while watching their gameplay. I don't get like the urge to be like, oh you gotta do this, why aren't you doing that? But bro, when I watch Forsen's Minecraft speedruns, I don't even know how to speedrun Minecraft. I, I suck at games, but when I watch him, I, I can like I understand now. I understand how people feel. Watching like sometimes when I'm playing a game and I'm, like, my gameplay is really shit, I can feel like my blood get faster. <sighs> yeah, you want to shit talk him? Yeah, I want to like, I don't know. I just get so angry. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Entire channel is just an ad for Forsen. No, 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 no. Bro, Forsen streams? Honestly, like... Minus the part where I get frustrated watching it lately. It's honestly so nice. Just watching someone just mindlessly play Minecraft. While the chat is just spamming a bunch of unrelated dumb shit. And he's listening to like nostalgic video game music. He like... Bro, he sits down almost every day. Plays Minecraft for six hours, doesn't say a fucking thing for like the entire stream. At most, he'll just say like he'll mumble something under his breath and I have no idea what the fuck he said. He's just sitting there, just not saying anything, blasting video game music and playing Minecraft for six hours. With like 10,000 people watching him. You gotta admit, that is pretty sick. He's living his best life, yeah. It is like a zoo in there, yeah. Going to any kind of chat like that, like XQC or Forsen, is like a little mini Twitch safari. Anyway, I'm gonna go make Din Din. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun playing the spooky games today. I kind of want to play some more. I might play more Thursday before or after our sponsored segment. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what game it is, but you guys can probably figure it out. It's for a pretty, a pretty anticipated game. One that I'm very curious about and really, really want to play. It's not Starfield, no, no. Wait, does Starfield come out soon? I heard that something got leaked from it, though. But yeah. I will most likely be back Thursday. It's not Skyrim 2. Oh my god, I'm so big, I jump scared myself. Yeah, it's something to do with uh, mistruths and urine. Take of that what you will. But yeah, and then on Friday, after Thursday, I will be on Ethel's channel. We're doing a little cooking challenge, so I'm looking forward to that. I still have to decide what I'm going to make for my main dish. I think I know what I'm going to make for my dessert. I decided on making cannolis, but I have to get some special equipment for it. And I'm a little worried that I'm going to fuck it up massively. But it'll be fun to watch at least. Runko, what the fuck? Thank you so much. Jesus! Thank you, thank you. Gabagool? Beef Wellington? We're doing like a movie food challenge. The cannoli is from oh, the Godfather. Oh, fuck yeah, urine. Oh, fuck yeah, urine. You're in luck, I am Lamp. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm walking here. Yeah, I'm doing cannolis from the, the Godfather. I don't know what to do for my main dish. That's my dessert. I gotta figure out like an iconic dinner some kind of movie or maybe does tv count too i don't know if tv breaking bad roof pizza <laughs> american pie fuck i already made a pie otherwise i would probably do that make like a nice apple pie 
from Mrs. Doubtfire. A Hannibal Lecter meal. <laughs> Any anything from like a Ghibli film? Oh bro, like the house moving castle breakfast. That would be pretty sick. Make a sub? Oh, I'll figure it out. And maybe on Thursday we could uh, we could brainstorm some stuff if I haven't figured it out by then. But yeah. Let's find someone to raid and I'll send you guys on your merry way. I hope you guys aren't too scared after all the spooky stuff today. Are you guys gonna be scared to go to sleep tonight? You should be. If you feel like there's someone behind you in the dark, there probably is. I won't be sleeping tonight. Yeah, me, me neither. Learn me? Learn me, wormy? Oh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you for all the bits. On all the, the jump scares from the bits, too. And thank you for the subs and resubs. Thank you for chilling with me and getting spooked out. We got very scared. We got very, very scared. Do you want to read Lermy? We haven't rated Lermy Wormy in a while. I think she got a new VTuber model, too. I think... Is she... Did she get partner yet? I think she's, like, pushing to get partner. Maybe we should... We should help her out a little bit. What is her name? Lermy Wormy? Lermy Wormy is a really nice, uh... Smite developer person. She works on Smite. She actually worked on the... Uh, the Vishojo skin pack. That... That I'm in. Lermy Wormy. She just got promoted? Wait, on Twitch or in Smite? Let me wear me with two eyes. Okay. Yeah, she's super nice. She she taught me how to play Smite too. Like in the what's the mode called? Where it's like League of Legends. The mode that's not the the one where you're just like in the arena. Smite too at her job. She taught me how to play. Conquest. Yeah yeah yeah. She taught me how to play Conquest. Conquest bad for day. Okay, Thursday, possibly more scary games. We got a sponsor and possibly more Zelda. I'm not sure. Friday, cooking stream with Ethel on his channel. And then Saturday, probably more Zelda. Probably finally do the water temple. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for getting scared with me. I hope you guys sleep with one eye open tonight. Check your closet. Maybe look under your bed. God, not the water temple. Ooh. After that sequence in the, the fucking sewer maze, I don't know how well I'm gonna do in the water temple. I'll be real. Look under your bed. Check under your pillow. I'm the reverse tooth fairy. I put a tooth under your pillow and you don't know where it came from. Good night. Goodbye, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.